put down the control. Actually, pick up the controller. And, uh. Hello, Hi. gamers. What up? Welcome to the Gamer Revolution. Today, we are going to be playing video games. Dude, you know all about video games? Yeah, dude. How's it going? Welcome to Last Game Standing, number 25. Uh, how's it going? I don't even, you know, I don't even, you know, check out this customer engagement. Hello. Dude, I typed and it showed up on screen. Oh, New technology. No yeah, one's ever done that okay. before. Chat on screen. How does that work? Well, your brain says it sends a signal to your fingers and you type it. So, okay, yeah, look sure. at that. Look at that. Look Whoa. at that. Uh, how's it going, everybody? Last week we had Javier Perez. Uh, he is a noted uh, lesser than likely expert. Yeah, oh, really? he, he's a character modeler. No, 3D environmental modeler for like Call of Duty, a bunch of other games. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, he showed us lesser than likely, and we got about four fifths of the way through with the game. We're going to yeah. beat it this week, but he's in game development, which means constant crunch time. So he had to go into work this week. Uh. So I was left alone, stranded on my own island. Thankfully, Brian was able to come. And we're gonna beat Lester the Unlikely today. I guarantee it. You're gonna like the way we stream. We're gonna wag our finger at it. I, gu I guarantee it. And then. Where the fuck did I put my box? Where your box? The other one? That was my box. Oh, where did I put my box? Yo, hold know. on to this. Vamp. Vape? Is it vamp or vape? What do you call it? Uh, I think it's called vamping. Hi, this is me vamping. Uh, I, oh, I wish I could vape right now. Uh, I'm a vape god. I like to vape. I say fuck NASA. Alright, we got both. You know, I'm a hardcore gamer. Half-Life 2 is one of my favorite games of all time, but I never played Episode 1 or Episode 2. So, changing that in 2019, 12 years later, we're playing that shit. I can't believe you never played that. Dude, I'm excited. That's cool. Okay, let's switch into the games, dog. Alright, let's, let's get this going. Oh my god, it's fucking cold in here. Someone's playing Team Fortress 2 right now, that's fucking awesome. Five games in one box. Hell yeah, alright. No more dicking around, let's get right to it. Brian wasn't here last week, so he, he missed out. Uh, Hell yeah, dude. Do you know, did you, like, did you tune in or catch any of this? Not really. Fuck. I was working. So, uh, god damn it, dude. This game, what is, what is Ray doing? Uh, this is, this is Brown Man Gaming. Brown Man Gaming Brown, right here. Brown Man, Brown Man's Isle. Hold yeah. On one second. All he needs is a hat. Yeah. Oops. I turned that off. Give me a second. Let me reboot. Every one up counts. Oh yeah, I gotta, I gotta reboot my Super Nintendo. Hold on one <laughs> second. Okay, let me reboot my Super Nintendo. Sometimes, you know, it freezes. I need to get an SSD installed on the Super Nintendo. You know, the the the, the, the original Super Nintendo shipped with real limited hard drive. So we're gonna boot this up. Uh, All right, perfect. That's good. There All right, we go. we're set. Okay, Lester the Unlikely. Uh, this game is bullshit. Just not nonstop bullshit. Okay. So unlikely bullshit yeah. or likely? Oh, it's fucking miserable. Dude, the physics of the animation, I should yeah. say, are really good. Oh, thank or you. Is really good. Thank like you. when he turns left and right, there's like a whole. Oh, like, yeah. Thing. So it's very like frame specifics, all oh, the jumps and shit. Wow. Uh, it sucks ass, but we're gonna beat it. Okay. So there's a spider boss that we beat last time. Uh, I gotta wait for him to descend, and I gotta throw my boomerang through it. Okay. Oh, fuck. Hold on. No, I don't want to take damage. I don't want to take damage. I'm gonna reload. Okay. See the spider? I gotta wait for the spider to come down. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna get through this next part, and then oh, I'm gonna save. Got it. Okay, this part's bullshit. All right. Oh, so we lava. have to run from a fucking lava. Uh, this is where I stopped streaming last time, because I just didn't have time to process this, uh, and this is already... No. Okay. What a whore. Oh, this is what you were watching. Yeah. Yeah. I was watching you watch this. It's like, I guess you gotta, like... Oh, it sucks ass. So, you know what? Uh, I I am gonna save yeah. Scrub so I can, like, actually beat this yeah. game. Otherwise, it's impossible. But right now, we're doing a few... We're doing, like, a test run of this. I just want to see how can I get... Can I get to the end of the cave without it breaking? Okay, I'm just seeing what's coming up. And then... See? Fucking... I got hit in the nuts with that. You got nutted! I got... Yeah, oh, shit. There's, like, not enough time. This... I don't even know how long it's gonna take for us to even beat this volcano part. Uh, fuck. Wow. See, like, even... Oh, it's fucking crazy. Yeah, the chat's just saying, like, what is that damage noise? Oh! oh. He gets, dude. Thank you, uh, Flesk Desk, for being here, and uh, yeah. woke up dead 400 for commenting. Conan's slow. Oh, fuck. Oh, my God. I haven't God. seen you in a while. It's, no, it's this is impossible. Hold on one second. All right, let me see. We got a ghost in the studio? Oh, oh shit. Yeah. See, I'm, I'm learning I'm learning this. It's the ghost of me. Yeah. So, like, you gotta wait for this and then jump up. Yeah. This is gonna be... I don't even think this is fucking possible to be. 
think you uh, hold on. I think no. you got it. Oh, no. no. you gotta you gotta go last second. I think once you skip that first one. Oh. Yeah. Oh, okay. So I I have to like hold on for this and then see. It's, I can like no, run. I, think I can. Have... Yeah. So I can run a few steps off before like I actually fall into yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah. Someone's saying making the save earlier. It's a good call. You know, I can totally do that. I'll, uh, I'll I have an extra continue, so I'll do that. So far, it's not even it's not even like oops, I bent bent down. I just want to learn this. So I I do have to freeze at the very first one, which is totally fine. And then I think once you do that. And then I think once I do, I think the timing for the rest. Yeah, you're yeah, right. And then go. one more. Sally yep. Port. Okay. Great. And then now we're oh, so then I'll have to stop for that one. Totally fine. So I freeze for the first one. Go to stop, and then I can run, run, run. And then, okay. Not Plus, bad. you're also ideally very ahead of it. Yeah, so I think right now we're doing okay. I think oh. that's it. Uh, jump up. Oh my god. Are you fucking serious with this? There we go. That's what's up. I, I wonder if it's going to start chasing us. See, this is, this is, oh, uh, save, says Eric. Nah. Can you reach over, Brian? Hit F5. Okay, good. There you go. See, it's a co-op game. Eric oh, Vador is here. You, Boom. Eric. Three All right. Player, three players. Hell yeah. Three players. <laughs> fuck yeah. <laughs> three Hell players, yeah. one character. Yeah. What the fuck? <laughs> Dude, this game is cool as Does shit. Does this happen in every stage? Is there like Shin and Elizabeth at the end of every stage? Yeah, there's, there, yeah this is American Pie. At the end of Lester, he fucks the pie. <laughs> Your G plays Jason Biggs. Uh, so, Lester the Unlikely is a, a nerdy-ass comic book nerd. He falls asleep once, uh, and he wakes up on a fucking pirate island with, like, a bunch of indigenous people and pirates and gorillas. It's crazy. Wow. Let's see. Yeah. He's horny as hell. Lester the Incel, as people last week uh, coined the term. Poor Lester. It's a very good game. I really like yeah, it. it looks like it's fun. Yeah. Oh, it's, it's a blast. I mean, save Am I supposed to do anything? Can I, can I fuck? Or? Oh, that's just it? All right. Can you f you can. All right. So now her dad's been kidnapped, so we got to rescue her dad. All right. I'm all about it. Mm -hmm. All right. Here we go. Ray to the rescue. Go, Rodrigo. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Can't throw it. Oh, Jesus Christ. All right. All right. You got to be careful of this fucking bear. Every game is just, it's just full of bullshit. Oh, fuck. I got to like. Oh, yeah. I was playing claw style last time. Oh my, oh my god. god. Lester has the worst reaction times of any oh. anyone I know. Jump. Oh my god, you gotta jump way early. Yeah. Alright. Here we go again. <laughs> Alright, we're getting it. Oh god. I dude, it's just Fuck. You're jumping. You know what? Right? Let's yeah. just let's just go through it and then once we learn oh it. Oh my god. Even when he dangles off, he's such a fucking nerd. I'm afraid like the bird's gonna crap on me and take. Oh, oh Jesus! See, I, dude, I gotta learn. This girl's gonna come back. I got. That's the thing too. It's not like Donkey Kong where you press A and you react. It's like it takes an hour to fucking jump. This is awesome. Yeah. Oh my god. I gotta learn like when to hit it. No. Oh, save. All right. Holy shit. I love save scrubbing on these. Uh, it's the only way you can beat it. So, yeah, yeah. otherwise it's too fucking hard. Okay, then we're, now it's it's combining two things of bullshit. Oh. Fuck that. Hold on. Okay, so it's gonna. I gotta wait for it to roll back down yeah. and jump over. <laughs> Are you kidding? Can you seriously get fall damage? Yeah, this game sucks oh ass. Oh my god. There we go. Alright. Don't forget that. Oh, god. Damn it. Yeah, we missed Javier, dude. Javier's oh, at work dude. right now. Alright, here we go. Not trust it. Jump. Yeah! Oh, oh yeah, right. Come on. This just doubles. I, I should have cleared it. Alright, you know, I'm gonna save scrub after I beat this stunt. Okay. Alright, good, I'm gonna save scrub. There you go. Oh! You yeah, know, I think you have to be running to clear it. Yeah, you're right. All right. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, baby. Save. Fuck yes. Yeah, there we go. Save. There we go. We did it, guys. Yeah. We did it. All right. <laughs> Just like that. That's but pretty that's, cool. I mean, all of there these animations go. are cool. Those are gonna disappear. Fuck. <laughs> all right. <laughs> I like that you saved all your tanks. Yeah, dude. 
Oh my <laughs> god! What the fuck is this? Oh my god. Alright, I'm gonna save Scrub after I pull myself up. There we go. Alright, we're safe. Holy shit. Uh, Alright, easy. Go. These barrels suck go. ass. No. Oh. Oh. God damn it. Oh fuck. He's got swagger though. Oh, oh yeah, no. baby. Nice. All right, I'll take it. This this music is so fucking good. Bad. Yeah, good for how bad it is. Oh whoa! Oh, Frank Duckin. That's like some Dark Souls shit. Yeah, dude. Yes, bro. Take a sword. <laughs> Kick all right. him while he's down. On guard, dude. Oh my god. On guard, dude. He looks so lame. He's a fucking pimp. This is the best. Let's well, finally, after 10 hours, I got a gun. Or a weapon. <laughs> How do I shoot? What is this, Romeo and Juliet? How do I fight? <laughs> what the hell's going on? Run away. <laughs> what an asshole. How do you, how do you, oh, X is, A is to shoot. Or, oh. The, the stoke stab. Oh my god, you gotta withdraw, okay. Here we go. This is so fucking <laughs> Come on, come and get it. Make my day. Yeah. Make my day. Death wish. Nerd wish. <laughs> uh, uh! He just, Fuck yeah. Dude, that's he right. He shuffle steps towards you. That's until right. You, until you stab him in the stomach. Fuck yeah, dude. Death wish six. Oh, man. Mm. Bronson's got nothing on yeah. this. Fuck yeah, we're going, dude. Oh, this is so great. It's like how they fought in the Revolutionary War. They would yeah. take like one step at a time. Oh my god. Hey, this is Mark the Champ's first time watching. Thanks Thank so you, much, Mark. Mark the Champ. Welcome to a, what have you picked a perfect stream? Yeah. Have you been to save Scrub? Yeah. Good. Oh, dude. I, oh. I, I, did you ever see Beavis and Butthead do America? Yeah. There's a scene where they're in the casino and they try to jump onto like the girl's tits. Yeah. Okay. Whoa. I, I, you did a cool job. Yeah, I think, whoa. Alright. This reminds me of like Donkey Kong. Do I sell my sword? Yeah, I do. Oh, come on. Are you serious? I'm like low on continues, that's why I have to save Scrub. Uh, alright. Good music. It doesn't matter. Yeah. Let's just get through the game. It's yeah. fun. But like, man, yeah, just Super Nintendo. Mm. Mm. I love this system. <laughs> that was a horny pirate. Yeah, you really hear that? Uh, it's Captain uh, Jack Sparrow. He's at his rub. Yeah. Good music too. Fuck. All these controls mm. suck. Yeah, Eric brings up a good point. Who gives a shit mm. if you use the same state? Good. <laughs> Dude, that's how the game's intended. This is how I played. Like, I never had a Super Nintendo growing up. Oh wow. But I had a PC that had SNES yep. 9X, and I would just save state after everything. Otherwise, you can't fucking beat Mega no. Man X as a Javier, Javier, uh, unless you're Javier or Dominic. Those yeah. are the only two humans you can. All right. And everyone in this game hasn't had an orgasm since 1990. Yeah. Oh, what the fuck? Dude, there are three of them. I don't even know what the hell's going on. Dude, these graphics are so realistic. Yeah. They look like grandmas. Can you... I would say, can you jump over them, but... Do you have a secondary weapon? Hold on. <laughs> yeah, my, my jump is my weapon. I'm gonna save. I'm gonna try some shit. Yeah. Alright, here we go, dude. Good idea. <laughs> oh, what a nerd! I'm, you know what? I'm gonna see if there's a way to, like, not take fall damage on that. You can't. If you oh. run and jump, no, and your sword isn't even out. I think you just have to drop down and start attacking. Alright. Oh! <laughs> that was Dude, brutal. I'm getting horny. That was this brutal. game is turning me on. Uh, mm, uh, mm. Well, that's mm. what like an original Resident Evil like all the zombies making yeah. these noises. Yeah, we did that on the PPS uh, last week. <laughs> Oh, fuck, dude. Okay, I'll take one damage and then pull up my sword and then get him. Yeah, and then, these and then just, book it. Yeah, leg it. As they say. Oh, don't get killed by this guy. Get your sword back out. I'm not gonna get killed, dude. I'm Lester the pirate. Imagine. <laughs> Eric says, imagining buying this game. Yeah. You get home and you put this in, or you rent this from Blockbuster, and you put this in, and you go, what the fuck? That is definitely returned same day for credit on a different game. Mm. Did you ever do that when you rented a oh, game? Oh, yeah. It was just yeah. miserable ass. Yeah. Take it right back to Blockbuster 
and fucking get a whole nother Easy! Oh, I could probably run through this shit. We rent Conquer, alright? Oh shit, no, sorry, sorry, Superman sorry. Superman 64, Eric says. Okay, here oh, we go, yeah, here we go. Mm. Mm. Fuck yeah. Oh man, he's getting a massage. Mm -hmm. uh, horny ass pirates. I never played Mario is Missing, did you? Uh, on an emulator. That'd, that'd be a weird game to load up, sure. Somebody in the chat, yeah. it was uh, Ghostiness, uh, brings it up. That was always a game I saw Ooh. advertising. So, such a weird game. But, it's like uh, a text adventure. Yeah. Oh my god, there's so many fucking pirates. Well, at least the pirates are easy to kill. Mm. Mm. Eric wants to know why you weren't climbing the ropes. It doesn't let me! I totally would otherwise. I wish I could be like Diddy Kong and climb them ropes. Mm. Mm. There we go. Alright. So far, so good. Oh, G Manners, thanks for joining us. Oh, G Manners. almost here. forgot to tune in. Oh, he wow. Came, he was joining us Tuesday night when we did some Big Dogs streaming. Shouts yeah. out to the Big Dogs. Okay. And shouts out to What the hell? To... My fucking controller lagged for a oh, second. Oh, dude. Glitch. Yeah. There we go. Shouts right. out to Saving all after you. every. It's like, this is almost turning into like churn based RPG. This is like the. I would be so bored at how, like, so mad at how boring this game is. Oh, dude, Eric Bedore's dropping the Tormani mode too. Yeah. Fuck yeah. Everybody here shouts out. We have 77 viewers Fuck with it. us. A lot, of less, a lot of less of the unlikely fans. And you know, if you're catching this on the upload on YouTube, thank, thank you, you so, so much. much. Yeah, leave a comment. Leave a like. We're happy to have you here wherever you meet us. Yes. Thank you. Dude, these grandmas. You like, can't even see me, dude. I, I swear to God, I've seen Eric's grandma come over to his parents' house uh -huh. to... One to, step at a time? To, like, drop off a pie wearing exactly yeah. that outfit. Oh, what the fuck is this? Oh. But it looked way better on grandma. Oh, you have to run and jump. Oh! Wait, did you just figure out how to climb? No, you couldn't do it before. Now you can. Oh my god, there's so many buttons. I was just like, is there a sword sticking out of the... There we go. When's the sequel coming? I don't know. Uh, Kickstarter. Yeah. yeah, kickstart it. Develop it yourself. Yeah, really. No, I don't think anyone cares about the rights to Less of the Unlikely. I mean, I, this is kind of like Uncharted 4. You're yeah. climbing, you're fighting pirates, you're collecting treasure. Like, Hell this is yeah. kind of like Nathan Drake. Mm. Mm. There we go. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. All right, we're good. This is so fucking... I would this be so no, bored good. with this mm. game. How slow. This is exciting! <laughs> Dude, we got one cloud up here moving fast. The cloud below is going slow. It's like a racetrack of clouds in the background. That's so much for your imagination. Look at the chat. is full screen. Dude, this is crazy. This is great. This is the hypest stream on Twitch. It is. I want to see Lester at Evo. Mm. Mm. Fuck yeah. All right. Mm. Mm. Oh. G Manners is here. Penn is here. Promisa. I like all the, all yeah. the names in the chat. Hero Pat TV Javier is not developing uh, Lester. That's team. what he's probably doing. He went back to er work early. He probably pitched a meeting. Like, hey, shh. he told us that yeah. secret. Oh, yeah, sorry, sorry. We got a man on the inside. Would Lester be a good Halloween costume? Oh, classic. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. No one will know what you are. Yeah. I wonder. Uh do you think Lester is in um, what up? Smash Brothers somewhere? Probably. Uh, yeah, he, he's probably oh. a spirit. Yeah. How's it going? We got a good game. You guys like you guys like pirates? Pirate? Yeah. yeah. This game's really hard though. Hold on, let me let me. We gotta got fight. Oh, there's too many pirates down there. Uh -oh. What game is this? This is Lester the Un You'll know, Sean? No. Have you been reading your EGM? You're in a t There's so many. They're waiting for me down oh here. Oh my god. You gotta guide them away. Okay, okay. Remember old school platformer tactics. Oh my gosh. I, while you've been yakking away, they have to come follow me. That guy's sleeping? Are they dead? Uh, no, they're dead. Okay. Yeah, they're sleeping. Oh, I gotta. <laughs> Okay, I gotta, I gotta lure them. Make them go all the way over so that you have to wait for them to come back. Yeah, all right. I'm luring them all away. Let's try. Yeah. See, they're. It's like follow the leader. The pirates are all following me. Everyone in the chat says hello, children. Yeah. They say, say hi. You say hi. Hello. Do you guys play Follow the Leader? Is that a game that's? Or is it? Did Follow the Leader get replaced by Fortnite? They don't play Fortnite. No. What do you guys like? None of my kids care about Fortnite. What? Yeah. yeah. I have two kids in middle school. Whoa. They don't uh, care. Uh oh. The big Shit. kids. The Shit. big kids don't care. Do we, are we still allowed to call them big kids? Mm. They are big kids. Oh, yeah. I'm always a call them that. Mm. 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 What does that sound make? I don't know. That's the pirate killing sound. It sounds like half of Garrett's sound drop that he uses for his stream. Mm. Uh, uh, I killed all I would love if there was a wall there, too. Like, you couldn't yeah. get past that, and it was yeah. only to kill those yeah. guys. Yeah, superheroes. Yeah. You guys, uh, we're gonna go. Okay. But we wanted to say goodbye and hello. Yeah. I guess hello then goodbye. Absolutely. Yeah. 
So yeah, we're gonna go. All right. Thank you. We gotta see some less of the unlikely. It's a cool game. Do you wanna play this? I've been playing Spider-Man. Do you know guys beat Spider-Man? I, I platinumed it. It's awesome. Oh, okay. I put it back in after uh, after not on? playing it since yeah. I beat it. I haven't played. Oh, okay. You put it back. You beat it though. I beat it. Yeah. Have you beat it? No. Oh. No. So How did I, I, this I got not that far, and then I forget what happened. But Becca keeps asking me to play it. So we've been playing it this whole break. Yeah. And I feel like I've been playing it for so long. It says I'm forty percent done, but that can't be right. Like. It's. Yeah, if you haven't collected. Oh, I figured out. Uh, yeah, if you haven't collected any of the extra stuff. Oh. Then yeah, there's story, and then there's a bunch of side. Yeah. Okay. Because yeah. like, if I just do this the story, because that's what we're trying to. I'm trying to get kind of go through it. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, the percent is really weird, like because of that. But no, if you're just doing the story, which is totally fine in those games. Yeah. You're good. I think you cool. shoot that door yes. open. Um. See, that's good level design. All the other doors are open. That yep. door's closed. Yeah. You know exactly what it is. Right, rules, guys. Yeah. This is yeah, it's something. Wait, how do I pull you up? You need your item. Yeah, I keep accidentally pulling I, out I my sword. I don't think you're allowed to shoot it while you're standing. In front of it. Um. Yes. All right, let's oh go. Oh my god. How do I? Uh, yeah, please keep playing that game, Sean. Yeah. Uh, I think I think you're gonna like it. No, I mean it's amazing. You know what's funny is I did. <laughs> this is embarrassing. But I'm gonna admit it. Uh, I kept getting skill points. I'm like, oh, that's cool. Not knowing I could upgrade anything. I saw. I was like, oh, cool. I got a point. All right. And so today, Beck and I are like, holy shit, Beck, we haven't unlocked anything. So like, it was like, I'm dying. Yeah. And now it's like, oh, it's because I wasn't like adding any of these fucking moves that now it's way easier. Uh, what am I supposed to do? <laughs> I, 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 yeah, I did, I, I've done that too. When I when I played um, Shadow of Mordor, I think you're supposed to bring the torch in here and light that up on the other side. Okay. Frank, what were you doing? There? <laughs> I'm just seeing what happens. Like, he's got bananas coming you, out. Did you said. drop something on the floor? <laughs> yeah. Um, I don't trust that real. Let's go somewhere else. All right, let's see. <laughs> oh my god, you have to jump over this stupid oh, cannon. Yeah, I wonder time. if you're supposed to go in the other rooms and bring something back. Because yeah, you didn't go in the Oh my rooms. god, the controls are so stupid. All right, what's in here? What made you choose this game, Frank? Uh, Javier suggested it. <laughs> oh, okay. It's a very good game. What do you mean? It's the hottest game right now. This is going to be at the Game Awards next year. I got a spoon. <laughs> Oh wait! Yeah, you can put out the fire. <laughs> this is, this is. I get, like I have no words for how bad this. Is. It's just not even. It's not bad in the way of like, oh, they didn't make a good game. They made a game that's actually it seems fine. They just made a game that like, why would anybody? Ooh, play this? getting all the is help. This is a new game. <laughs> no, this is a Super Nintendo. From, game. No, um, believe it or not, it's from 1994. With all these indie things now, you can't even tell no, anymore. No, yeah, you this really can't. Like, yeah, it's like the. I mean, we called it last week like Dork Souls. It's it looks like a hipster. Like I can see this being released today. <laughs> yeah. Oh man. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Back then, this was nerdy, but now this is just how like. Now it's like I mean, I dress now like it's that. Style. Yeah. Now probably people like Emma's age. Yeah. Would be into this is that oh it's retro yeah it's, uh, it's like listening to eighties music oh my god this hell I need it. Uh, woke up dead is a good qu question what's everyone's favorite Spider Man costumes for me it's later on late in the game you unlock like a comic book costume that's oh, cell shaded yeah. so it looks like a cartoon it looks like Spider Verse that's, I, right. that's my favorite costume okay uh, I just got the negative one today that was kind of cool yeah I got that one early on um, I like the classic though I just like the regular Spider Man. That's what I thought, but honestly, as you go along, you unlock more of the things. Because uh, that, that, that's why I was doing more skill points and all that, right. all the extra stuff, is because all of that helps you unlock all of the all of the skill oh, points, that's you all of the costumes. Yeah, all the it, costumes. It, but it adds substance to the game because you're not just fetching something for no reason. Right. Like, I hate that in, in most... Um, uh, what is it called? Assassin's Creed games. Right. It's yeah. all, yeah, get this feather. What does it do? You got it. Oh, okay. No, like, in, my favorite costume was the one, um, I don't know what it's called, but it's the one where he's wearing, like, a, uh, a leather jacket. He looks like a biker. Yeah, he has, like, it's like a punk. Punk Spider-Man. No, 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 no. It's, uh, fuck. Oh, you get it later on. Oh, yeah. leather jacket. Cause there's a denim one. I'm yeah. I think I missed the water. Spider-Man. Oh, oh, my God. Dude. Yeah, I think you just picked up the spoon. You awesome. missed. Oh, you got it. You had to do it. Well, well, yeah. <laughs> I forgot the name of it. Brian, you're missing a good cutscene. Yeah, you're missing the cutscene. You're missing the story. Am I? Darn. Yeah. Uh, I wore a few different ones. I like like the uh, Mark III armor. Oh, I haven't gotten that yet either. Lester the Invincible. I'm pleased to meet you, sir. 
sure, but you know I'd really like to get back home. Well, our island is far off the regular shipping routes, and we have no phones or radios. But don't worry, I'll think of something. First, let's return to the village and have a proper celebration. Oh, this is awesome. Oh my god. Oh, sick. what the heck a lot yeah. I'm really enjoying what the it. heck now they say it and I'm fine with them saying what the heck oh That's yeah okay. it's funny yeah like I don't I, I've never liked hella that's never been something that no. I well we're from yeah California. especially but a lot of people who go up to northern California uh, from South hell California. yeah Dude. he's actually surfing this is real yes That's that was not like yeah Whoa! punk rock kid and then what happened Lester <laughs> Then this gigantic this the end, right? What else do you need? Yeah, Lester gets two babes at the end. Fuck, dude. Oh, that's incredible. This is a better ratio. That's awesome. Oh man, that's sick. Dude, Lester got cool at the end. The end. Done, done deal. deal. Lester got laid. Done deal. Whoa. Whoa. That's it. We beat Lester. We got the good ending. I think. Best ending. Yeah. Got two, two two says best ending. Wow. I'm gonna try to say done deal more. Done yeah, deal. Done deal. Uh, but yeah, Lester's a lucky. Hello with Hecka. I've always. Oh, Hecka's good. Dude, that's Hecka cool. That's Hecka tight. Oh, my, sweet. my Christian family won't let me say hell at all. <laughs> Someone to know who scored this. Phil Collins. This is the team who, who made this. Sound and music, bite size sound. They put their name on it. Yeah. Great and then to answer whoever's question about favorite Spider-Man costumes, mine was the Spider-Man Last Stand one. This one. Oh yeah. Oh, that's cool. That it's he's got like a I've biker jacket a and a yeah. red and a red like just straight red hood. Yeah. I saw that they did they really release the Spider-Man two. Yes. Like, yeah, the costume. How do, you, how do you get that? It's free DLC. Free. When you you go in the costumes, it'll be in the bottom right. Yep. It's already there. Yeah. 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 It's a, it was a free thing. Every, like, I think at the time everybody was like, well, they should have just put yeah. this in there from the beginning. I don't think anybody realized that it was a licensing issue because it's Fox, Marvel, right. Disney. Like, yeah. Also, that's just a mean. So Yeah. Uh, oh, Dil so. Dildonius donated five bits. Thank you so Thank much. You they did. gave five bits for Lester. Yes. We did it. Yeah. We did it. Great game, yeah. by the way. Yeah. Respect to all the developers who worked hard. Incredible. Shout out to Dan Tam. Yeah. Richard Wallace, Hendrick Lamb, Wings Chung. Uh, John Brazier, Ed Ventura, don't go in there. Uh, <laughs> special thanks to Heather Tika Hook, Tony Caton, Matt Christdale, Al Newberger, for Lisa, Jan, and Liz, Wolf Folk with love. Thanks for playing Lester and Liker. Watch for a lot. Is he back? Is there Lester a will be back. Well, okay, all right. Look it up. Yeah, Lester will. Guys, we need everyone to buy Lester and Likely at garage sales and eBay's. Hold on, it's on PS4. <laughs> yeah, it's coming out on PS4. Uh, incredible. Incredible. Unlikely Jungle? Yeah. Plus to the Unlikely. Dude, he will be back. I can't wait for the sequel. Man, Maybe they'll be announced at E3. Be he, Lester will be back. That's incredible. I Lester was A gone. review from Nintendo Power scored a 3.7 out of 5. All right. That's... the animation, which they noted similar to Prince of Persia. Awesome. And the difficulty. Oh, this has like a Final Fantasy 7 ending where you can't like, you just have to turn the game off. Oh. Damn. That was it. All right, well, I made my, my safe stay at the end. All well, right. we beat Lesser the Unlikely. I'm going to get my kids uh, being distracted out of here, but All right. I'm going to go done deal. That was awesome. See you guys done later. Deal. All right, we guys. beat Lesser the Unlikely. One game down. Done What's deal. next? Mac next is Half-Life 2 episode. No, Half-Life yeah, Half Life 2 episode 1, oh. which I'm very excited about. Boom. Do we oh. need to play that before? That I, play, I played Half-Life uh, Blue Shift, which is an expansion. Half-Life Opposing Forces expansion. Now we're going all the way forward to uh, Half-Life 2 Episode 1. This is one that Portal's on, is that correct? Yeah, that was on Orange Box. I just read something in the uh, de in the development notes for Lesser the Unlikely. Uh, Brian Greenstone of Pangea Software was uh, was somebody who helped program yeah, the Yeah, developer. Game. And they, uh, they said, Lesser was a game I never liked. Don't want to talk about it. <laughs> so we talked about it. Uh, very good. All right, will you be able to update the game to Half-Life yes. 2 Episode 1? I'm going to find his Twitter as when the sequel's coming. Yeah. Can we do a new game plus? Uh, yeah, I mean, I don't know. We'll, Stream we'll just for Eric. Yeah, we'll see, we'll see. Oh, Eric's here? Yeah, yeah. Eric's here. Eric, I mean, friend. we can we can speed run it at this point. 
Yeah. Uh, you know, but you know, maybe next week we'll see. Okay. All right. We're, thanks Bye, so much, Son. All right, we're gonna get into Half Life Two. So now another game where you play as a dork with glasses. Instead of Lester, you're playing Gordon the Unlikely. All right. Gordon, very likely. Eric likes her dog painting. Thank you so much. We should like spray paint Eric with door on top of it. That way. I just feel like that's a like I want to get a painting of that like version for his dog and give it to his girlfriend. Oh yeah. Now, real quick about the dog painting. Yes. Kevin and I found this by a dumpster. Really? How can anyone throw it away? I don't know, but Kevin's theory, which I, I tend to believe, is that it was a picture of a person that gave up halfway through and made it a dog. Uh, That's what we think. I... Oh, jeez. Oh, I, I think it could have been a, a human, and they said, no, no, one, no. One thing that Craig Gleason used to do, like, uh, is he would find awful paintings like this, like Goodwill and stuff like that, and then paint Batman and Robin over it. Like, he oh, would yeah. paint stuff on top yeah, of yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, that's right. They might have done that. Yeah. Because I could see how... It's like a really bad, like a portrait painting of a of a woman like this. Yeah, with hair. Yeah. Oh, it looks awful. Yeah. Looks great. That's the official. You know. You can All see right. like the part in the right. middle at the top. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's a Kevin theory. All right, bye guys. Thanks so much, Sean. All right, Half Life Two episode it. one. I can't wait for Half Life uh, episode. You know, epi Half Life Two episode three. You know, maybe we'll play that in a few weeks. Can't wait for that to come out. All right, I'm excited. So yeah, uh, my history with Half Life. Uh, Half-Life 2 is one of my favorite games of all time, like Half-Life and Half-Life 2. For whatever reason, I just never played Episode 1 and Episode 2. Oh, shit, they're talking. You Are you, and you're starting 1 right now, yes? Uh, episode 1, yeah. Episode 1, mm -hmm. uh, Half-Life 2, Episode 1, right? Yeah. Cool. Just want to make sure mm -hmm. I have the right tags. I thought not. Okay. So the episode, Half-Life 2 ends with you go to, like, the center of Under-17, or whatever the fuck it's called, City-17, and you blow it up, and the game ends. G-Man comes in, and he's like, "Oh, thanks for your work, Gordon. I'll meet you again." Uh, and then this is where it picks up. Spooky. I never played it because my mentality was like, "Well, I'll wait for it all to be done before I play it. I don't want to play episode one, episode two, and then wait for episode three. I'll wait till episode three is out, and then it never came out." Exactly. So at this point, I've given up. Like, all right, that's not coming out. We're just gonna play it. I know the audio is a little bit loud, but I, I want to listen to the cinematic. Oh yeah, we'll turn out the audio in a second. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Speaking of, oh, I have, the, I have the chat box hidden. Hold on. Can you type one thing in the chat? All right, there you go. There boom, boom. Yeah. Hell yeah, dog. I mean, it. It doesn't look awful. No, it looks incredible. Right? It looks incredible. It's like Enter the Woods. So fucking cool. We'll I'm... See about that. So fucking tight. Wow. Hell yeah. Oh, the sound design of these games. Fuck. Alright, real fast, I'm going to tweak one setting. I'm going to turn on subtitles, if that's even available. No, difficulty, I'm going to do normal. Audio. Captioning, I'm gonna do, yeah, I'm gonna do subtitles. Yeah. Great. One second. Okay, that's all set, and then I'm going to lower the game audio a bit. All right, let's let's uh, let's get into it. I'm excited. Yeah, so you are playing as Lester. He got a job at Black Mesa. Uh, yeah, these games are incredible. I'm very excited. I think as a kid, the only way I was able to beat Half-Life 1 and 2 is I had to use the Buddha cheat, which made it so, like, you just never die. You still yeah. take damage, you just never die. Yeah. so worried. Man, the facial animations... Oh, th again, when this game came out, the Source Engine graphics were better than I... It was, like, the best-looking yeah. graphics ever. And, yeah, it still holds up. This is from... I mean, Half-Life 2, which is what these graphics are... It's 2004. Like, this specifically came out in 2006, but, yeah, yeah. this is 2004, like, shit, it's incredible. Wow. And, and, you know, you and I were talking about this earlier today, like, Half-Life is such an influential game that I think a lot of people who grew up just having it around don't realize. Yeah. But I remember using Half-Life as a point of reference to get people into Lost. Really? Yeah, because, like, there, there, there are moments in like the first season, first couple of seasons that kind of are very similar to Half Life, like the G-Man popping up out of nowhere, just standing there and like ominously looking at you. I'm like, yeah, dude, you gotta check the show out. It's got like a fucking Half Life shit G-Man showing up out of nowhere. Well, like, uh, I mean, yeah, because there is like Lost itself is, so, I mean, you, you're like the expert, but yeah, it's science fiction. And again, 
uh, Half-Life itself is influenced by like Stephen King. All right, so okay, first thing here we gotta get, we gotta build a little ramp to get up here. Fuck. Yeah. Sorry, this is already taking me. Fortnite. Yeah, it's gonna take me an hour to figure it out. Oh yeah, but the beginning of this game was all with the gravity gun. Yeah. Whereas the other one, it was like oh you got God. that later at the end, and it was like such a cool weapon. First puzzle of the game is what I need to do. I need to build a fucking bridge to get up here. Uh, first puzzle of the game. How do I get out of here? I think. Oh, okay, yeah, thank you. Yeah. You gotta build a bridge to Terabathia. Yeah. There you go. Okay, good. Oh, uh, but yeah. Physics puzzles like this have never been done before. Yeah. Super tight people yeah. vibes here. Alex? Alex, come in. Oh, the sound effects, everything. Yeah. I just am so impressed with how good the lighting is. Yeah, it looks. I, great. I know you. I know you said it all depends on the machine you run it on, but like, this game is 15 years old now. Yeah. So. Yeah. Uh, in between Half Life Two and the episodes, they released. They, that's when they came up with like HDR. They put out like a little mini episode that was basically a tech demo. Uh, half I forget exactly what it was called, but it was a tech demo where they tested out HDR and there was developer commentary. Uh, and then they released the episodes. And uh, yeah, it's crazy. Didn't, I think, and I think the voice actor Bree just died too. Oh really? Like this year, or 2018, yeah. So again, as like time keeps passing, it's again like I don't need Half Life Three if they ever do a new one. Cool, I'm not waiting on it. I just like playing these games as they are. But yeah, like they left their mark. And again, like Half Titanfall Two is probably the best single player campaign since Half Life Two. Um, yeah, that was a lot of fun. I really enjoyed that. Going in. All right, so we gotta go into the core, otherwise the whole world is new. The chamber will be bathed in radiation. Well, you do have the hazard suit. Of course, if it's Gordon Freeman. If we found a way into the Citadel, it's possible we Alex, could... Alex, no! But, Dad... Is he toxin sensitive to her? I'm sorry, Eli, but I don't see any other way. It would help us evacuate more citizens. We can do this, Dad. Oh, yeah, and the thing that, like, Half-Life itself introduced is, like, all point-of-view storytelling. Like, without cutscenes, never cutting away, like, it's all e this immersive storytelling. Yeah. Uh, which not, now you see a lot. Uh, but yeah, like, with Half-Life 1 originally doing it, like, it's so fucking good. Oh yeah, and then, I think the robot's just called Dog. Dog. Yeah. Let's see if we can find a way into the Citadel from somewhere along the rim. Dog, a little help, please. All right. The other Half Life logo. Oh, dude, he's got a Half Life stick on his back. Okay, boy, pack up and meet us on oh, the far thanks, side dude. of this ridge. Whoa, what a drop! I always like testing. Yeah, you can. Okay. I always, I always love testing limits in video games. Oh yeah. You know, like, wait, can I jump off it? It's like, yeah, you can. But that, that's why, like, quick saving these games is great. Oh, I think yeah. Oh, okay, perfect. Yeah, it's funny. And at the end of Half Life Two, like, your your gravity gun gets upgraded. You get like a super gravity gun. Uh, which is just like in, in Half-Life 2, or no, Titanfall 2 at the end, you get like a super machine pistol or whatever. Uh, they finally give you like god power at the end. Wow. But then we have Half-Life Episode 1, I think it like resets, so you just have your gravity gun. But then again, just like with Portal, it's, it's focusing on like physics puzzles. And I think your model is glitching, that's fine. Alright. Oh yeah, and you can still shoot the car. Yeah, immediately just teaching you back into it. Okay. Yeah, even that fire looks great. at the end of these episodes. I forget. I don't know. The other thing, too, I, I'm excited to play ha episode two because that they introduced, like, open world design for the first time in Half-Life. At least that's what I've heard. It's like, I think you're, like, in a forest or an island and you're just driving around doing these little objectives building towards a big one. Again, never played episode one or episode two, but I'm, I'm excited to check it out. 
And also, these games are short, so I can beat these all over, over across like yeah, they're two not streams each. Ten hours each, I think. No, episode one's four hours. Really? They're they're short. Again, they're like you know episodes. Like they're really short. I, I guess for me, it just like when I was a kid, it felt like yeah, way yeah, longer. Yeah. Oh, there he is. All right, dog. Yeah, normally when I do streams on Fridays, like, I'm talking a lot, but this is a legitimate, like, I guess the term is, this is a blind playthrough, like, I've never played this, and I'm just really excited to generally check it out. Chat's saying they can't read the subtitles because our window's covering them? That's fine, I don't care. Look okay. out! Oh, wait, did it kill me? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's something I even want watching movies with Brian. I put on subtitles for myself. Like, I just like having that. Any extra thing of information, I really appreciate. Yeah. Yeah. Wait a minute. Uh, if the chat doesn't want to know what's going on, it's just like padding. It's 20 minutes of Alex being like, Dog, what's Dog doing? I can't believe what Dog is doing. Wow, what is Dog doing? I can't believe. What's the thing wrong with Dog? That's literally all the dialogue is. Um, it's basically just getting you reacclimated to the game. Yeah, letting you feel it as you. Yeah, but there's no, like, pertinent information. Yeah, I have them on just so I don't miss anything. Uh -huh. I want you to get out of here as fast as you can. Go find Dad. We'll catch up. Don't worry. Aw, cute. See, that kind of shit makes me... I mean, I know this, it's not going to happen in this game, but anytime, like, a robot hugs a human in any form of science fiction media, I'm always nervous that it's like, oh, the, the, the robot's going to hug too much uh, and kill the human. Oh, Steve Bark is here. Fuck yeah. Oh, shout out. Oh, yeah. Shout out to Spuzzwick. Yep. Shouts and again, Andy Andy, Andy Sitz okay, is upset he can't see the subtitles. Write your own fucking dialogue. You can type it in the chat. There you go. Oh, yeah. Right? You can write your own dialogue. Steve Bark is here. That's what I want to see. Hold on. Perfect. If we can play the whole game in a car, I'm okay with that. Good throw, dog. Yeah. Now go, boy, go on. You'll be fine, just... Uh-oh. What now? Whoa. Hold but yeah, just, just like with Half-Life 1, the first, like, 10, 15 minutes is just, like, no actual gameplay, it's just plot story. Yeah. Uh, and then once the shit breaks, then it's like you run forward for it. So that's what... Yeah. Shader's right, they didn't have digital influencers in mind when they designed subtitles. All right. Next ride starts. See, people agree with me about the robots hugging humans. That shit always makes me so nervous. I'm afraid they're gonna crush us. Yeah. See, yeah. All right, I think Alex is, in, is done driving the story. Now Gordon Freeman is ready to fight. Yeah, I think that was all you kind of, like we said, getting Yep. Active. And now it's there, now it's, oh, fuck yeah, back into it. Uh, what about if you if you if you see if you see me stream, then you know like always. Oh yeah, see that's why I love the games like these the exploration of these games. See, I'm just leaving Alex way behind. I don't even care. The scientist gave me the oh fuck yeah, dude. The aliens are taking over. Oh, that looks sick. See, like this model, these two models weren't aren't half like two. They all look like uh, Christian Bale and the Machinists. <laughs> they all got the yeah. little bugs on their face. Gross Lame's asking, do you think they are making a new one? Um, actually, uh, related, today it broke that Valve hired back the writer, one of the writers of Half-Life 2. Again, I, I'm, again, I'm always... Yeah, if it happens, great. But no, I, I don't think Valve is actively making a new Half-Life. Again, it's been dormant for like... 12 years at this point um but val i like gabe newell did a reddit ama at this point years ago where he talked about like they are always engineering and, and trying to come up with stuff and pursuing stuff valve is just like when it's done it's done um i know for a while they're trying to get into the vr market and maybe they're trying to innovate something there even though i feel like that market kind of dried up and stalled already yeah uh but yeah i mean valve is a video game studio i'm sure they have some development but 
Um, but fans have taken upon themselves to remake Half-Life 1 to do the Black Mesa thing. I'm sure once Black Mesa is done, they'll probably start Half-Life 2. Alright, anyways, as usual with video games, I was talking, so I didn't hear what Alex said at all. But I'm just gonna take this and go forward with it. Uh-oh. Oi, nutta! Alright. I died. No, that's part of the plot. You're supposed to die. Alright. Okay, let's go back into it. Yeah, feel free to Brian, because I'm, I'm engaging with the game, but feel free to... Uh, right, let me know what people in chat are talking about. Oh, yeah, they're just commenting on, on what you said. Yeah. Yeah, also, yeah, feel free to ask us anything. Yeah, it's just basically, like, what you, what you were talking about. Yeah. They, they don't, they don't have any need to put it out other than people want it. Yeah. And... Whoa! Yeah, are these bad or good? I can't tell. Oh, I'll find out when they get to me. Okay, they are bad. Okay, okay, okay. See, I don't even know why the fuck I was holding that thing for so long. I don't even know if I need that. Oh, Jesus Christ. See, I like you to shoot these out. I don't want any of this. Perfect. Okay. Oh, and there's a health station right here, too. Oh, yeah. That's how the health was here. Okay. Dude, I feel like I don't even need this. Okay, good. I just want to be safe. No, fuck! Am I supposed to do something? What did Alex say? I wasn't paying attention. <laughs> I think that's gonna do Evan every single time. Okay, I feel like I need to do something with this. Alright. That's also the thing of like teaching the player. It's like, oh shit. Alright, that's fine. If anyone in the chat need, knows what I need to do, let me know. Because <laughs> these keep dropping. It's like clearly, uh, yeah. Do I go up here? Do I leave them up here? Or do they explode something? Chat saying anything, or that's fine. Yeah, no one in the chat is uh, talking right. about what we need to do. You're giving me a roller mine. Okay, there we go. Good. Okay, cool. Thankful, oh, yeah. Okay. Thankfully, the game is designed to tell me. But oh, I'm gonna go here. Boom. Secret area unlocked. Yeah. Have I played Tacoma? Yeah. Uh, I didn't like Tacoma as much as Gone Home. I loved Gone Home, but I liked Tacoma. It was, it was two hours. It was neat. Uh, I thought the way they did environmental storytelling was really cool. Uh, for Tacoma, for anyone who doesn't know, you're like a scientist researcher coming back aboard a spaceship after some incidents happen. You're supposed to research what happened to everyone on the ship. Oh wow! Uh, and you enter a room and it replays their conversation. Uh, actually, I want to get rid of everyone but one. Okay, cool. It replays their conversation and, and like it'll start. Everyone's in the same room and then people splinter off and you can follow them into individual rooms and follow their conversation. So you're repeating, repeating the same incident multiple times, but seeing how the narrative splits across. So that alone was a cool concept, but it didn't hit me as well as Gone Home did. But uh, yeah, Tacoma's neat. You found one. Gone Home was the one where me you're in the house. Right? Yeah, you come back home from school and you discover that your like sister left home uh, and there was your family, his life was falling apart. Like, it's, it's a really cool game. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I remember that now. I keep forgetting what Alex is fucking telling me to do. There it is. All right. Now what do I do? There you go. Woke up dead says they can't stand walking simmers. Yeah, people are very split. I love it. Um, I really like it because I don't have time to play an 80 hour game. So if you tell me a game is, yeah. Oh, if you, if you tell me a game is two hours, I'll play it. And most walking simulators are. I played a great one called Frog Detective uh, by Grace Bruxner, which is excellent. It got nominated for a bunch of uh, independent game awards at the GDC thing. Uh, that game is awesome, and that's a 30-minute game, and I loved it. Well worth the five dollars. Um, but yeah, it's just what you want, and you don't have to like everything. Like I don't fucking, I don't care about sports games. I don't care about simulators. Uh, but that's fine. I don't need to play them. Uh, but I do like walking simulators. All right. And hell, we're doing a lot of walking right now, which I love. All right, another one of them stalker blokes. I did watch Bandersnatch, and I, I didn't like it. <laughs> uh, it's like, again, I, also my whole mentality. I don't want to talk about something if, it, if I don't like it. Like, I'd rather focus on things I do enjoy. Uh, my whole thing with Bandersnatch, I love Charlie Brooker. I like Black Mirror. I don't like interactive films. Like, if I want to play a video game, I want to play a video game. If I'm watching yeah. TV, a TV show, I want to sit back. I want the writer to make choices for me. Like, tell me the story with the, with its, you know, like... With the nerd. Yeah, I, I, I don't... I don't want to fucking play a video game on Netflix. Like, I don't want to do that. But again, it's just not for me. If other people liked it, great. I don't. I just don't care that much about it. Yeah. 
I think that's fair. Yeah, there's a lot of questions. Would you be able to feed me, Ryan? There's so much shit yeah. out there right now. Uh, holy shit. Uh, am I wrong or is a walking simulator a derogatory term for sleep? I think it's how you take it. Yeah. If that's how it describes the game and you understand what he means, yeah. then not Yeah, I think, I think, yeah, again, it's like with anything, uh, yeah, at first people used it dismissively, but then you've now seen developers be like, yeah, it's a walking simulator. Like, that's just the term people use, and yeah, it's divisive. Some people love it, some people don't like it, but I, it, it describes it. Someone else in the chat mentioned Stanley Parable. I love the Stanley Parable. Love and, that one. Yeah, and that's a walking simulator, and I think that's one of the best video games made, like, of the decade. I agree. It's very Charlie Kaufman, like, it's brilliant. Uh, but if you, yeah, so, I don't know, I think ultimately like, there's so much media, you don't have to like everything. Uh, but take effort and find the things you like, promote the things you like, instead of dawning on things that are negative. Yeah, I saw a Reddit, uh, Reddit article, yeah, um, where they were talking, where it was a conversation that uh, somebody had had with uh, Paul Thomas oh, Anderson shit. about, like, you know, doing artsy films. Yeah. I can't remember who it was, but I feel like it was a former uh, former SNL writer. And, and they were saying, like, yeah, you know, that movie wasn't very good. And they're like, you know, you can say you don't like a movie or not, but try to avoid saying, like, a movie was awful. Not yeah. Good. Yeah. Because like, people put money behind that, and if like they think our movies are silly, they won't fund it. Yeah. And and that was a really interesting thing. It's like, yeah, if you love it, try it and put your full effort into it. Don't say, oh, it's just stupid. Yeah, because my response when someone asked about Bandersnatch was like, oh, I didn't like it. I didn't say Bandersnatch sucks. I just said, oh no, I just didn't like it. Like again. Yeah. Yeah, and I, I think it's just changing the culture, changing the way people talk about stuff. Yeah. See, for instance, uh, Woke Up Dead 400 brings up The Room. I don't think that The Room is necessarily an awful movie because I think you can see what the guy was trying to do. He just didn't know how to do it. Yeah. So it doesn't hit, but it's funny because you're like, wait, he really, really doesn't know what he's doing. Yeah. Instead of it being like Andy Kaufman, uh, yeah. which is not knowing whether or not it's real or, or fake. Yeah. So I think that's that's really, really where we're at at this point, is, is trying to get that nose for the difference. I always thought this guy looked like Sean Connery as a kid. For whatever, for whatever reason. He does. Yeah. He totally does. I can't wait to get to the gnome in episode two. That's the only thing I know about episode two, is there is an achievement for carrying a gnome across the whole game. Yeah, in episode two, right at the beginning, there's like a long gnome and you get to, like, I, it was one of those things that made it from Steam to the to the game. Yeah. Like, people would try to carry it through the whole yeah. game on, on Steam and then like they made it an achievement when they brought this to Xbox 360. And this is how I actually finally got to play Half-Life 2, uh, Episode 2, because I never played Episode 2, I only played one. I only played this. Oh my god, oh my god. Oh my god, I'm gonna die, that's fine. Oh no, we were waiting, intentionally waiting for it. Okay, cool. What the hell was that thing? Whatever that was, it's gone now. And then, yeah, with the release of Orange Box, like, they promoted, like, oh, Half-Life 2, Episode 2, everything on one, and no one had any expectations for Portal. Yeah. And that was, like, a huge break, like, yeah. Because, like, these days, like, you could have released Portal as a don't standalone game, but, like, back then, no one knew, and it was, like, smuggled onto this collection, and that became the number one thing that people talked about on it. Yeah, the reason I got this was Portal. I, I, I went over to Eric's house, he was playing this game, and I'm like, what the fuck is that, dude? And he's like, dude, it's fucking portal. Oh, I get my fucking power. Yes. All right, cool. Now I got way more. Perfect. All right. I think now I think it's souped up. Oh, big dick coming out. <laughs> what happened? Oh, it's just loaded. Like oh. every time it starts a new like chapter, there's always these heavy load times on it. Oh wait, do I need any more health? Oh, I got my souped up gravity gun. So that's all I wanted. All right. Souped up grab gun. All right. Thank you. That's what we want. All right, first puzzle of the game. Uh, oh shit. All right. Perfect. Cute. Okay. Oh, thanks, Alex. Oh shit. I, yes. Okay. Cool. 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 I can just blast them. Andy Sid says he went through Bandersnatch with friends and voted for each choice. It was fun, but that also maybe not the truest run through <laughs> that he could have done. 
My mentality with my friends is less serious. Well, no, and, and that's like, and that's the thing. It's like, it's fun to watch bad movies with friends, like The Room, and it turns great. Yeah, I watched Bandersnatch by myself, and I didn't enjoy it. But then I had a friend who watched it with a group of friends and said he loved it. And it's like, oh, yeah, that would be a much better series, you know, kind of thing. Uh, so, yeah, I think also, like, the environment you watch a movie. If I watch a movie in a movie theater, I will enjoy it more because I'm so focused and you're watching at the best possible sound and picture quality. Um, whereas sometimes if you're watching at home, you get distracted or it doesn't isn't, isn't hold you as well. Yeah. Well, there's a lot more distractions. It's the same yeah. reason why I think creative people get work done at night as opposed to yeah. during the day. During the day, there's infinitely more distractions. More people are up and you need to get into a rhythm to really be creative. At night, you have much less of a chance to be distracted. Uh, okay, I need to grab one of them balls. Oh, I need to grab two of them balls. Yeah, and Mexican sunglasses uh, is, is saying oh, he he prefer they prefer the UK version of Black Mirror, and like that, that's the same thing too. I feel like when Black Mirror was on Channel Four, it was its own thing, and there wasn't a lot of pressure, and it was awesome. No one had any expectations. It was great. When it came out to Netflix, and again, I always talk about this, like, I, Netflix just has a dirty stigma to me. Like, it, 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 they were making it for both audiences, an American audience also, and not, it just didn't have the same, like, I don't think the, the, the season three episodes were as cruel, they weren't as black, they were a little bit more poppy, uh, and like, yeah, they didn't hit as hard. I still enjoyed stuff from season three and season four, and I'm gonna watch season five, like, again, I like Black Mirror, I like Charlie Brooker, but yeah, the original, like, UK stuff I, I liked way more. Uh, but again, it's it's just you're getting more either way because of Netflix. So yeah. it's like, yeah, I'll, I'll watch it. I'll still enjoy it. Hey, but I mean, on top of all of that, if if you like Black Mirror, they're rebooting. Jordan Peele is rebooting that Twilight. Zone oh yeah, coming out next year or 2020. I think it's coming out in 20, 2019. Jesus. And uh, they very intentionally, like their whole goal was they didn't want to make it just another Black Mirror. Uh, their whole thing was like. What, like yeah, they they made a choice like if this can be a Black Mirror episode, we don't want to do it. We want it to be its own thing that would stand alone as its own thing. It's uh, awesome. Oh, right there to your left. Yeah, I need, to, I need to get on a different angle. Oh yeah, I need to pick it up and then come from a different angle. Okay, but then there's some bad blokes. But uh, yeah, I'm I'm looking forward to that. Fuck. Uh, they also had like yeah, the writing staff for that Twilight Zone reboot. They have like I'm like I can't really I can't I don't know if I can talk much about it, but uh, it's uh, I'm very excited for it. Fuck. Okay. Oh, I threw away the ball. Okay. I should probably get rid of these guys shooting me, the combines, uh, before I go further with it. Do I need to shoot right there? No. No, I think you shoot into the one on the right. Alright, I'll let Alex take care of him. Yeah. Damn. Yeah, Mr. Ball's on the same page as me. I'm waiting for episode 3 before playing these. I agree. Um, let's see. So again, this is why I'm always, like, hesitant. Uh, oh yeah, wait. Alright. Give me a sec. So, I need to figure out where the fuck I'm supposed to go. So I need to extend that bridge. It's gonna be spawning stuff, but where do I shoot it into? Again, if anyone in the chat knows, like, please, like, you guys are playing the game with me. Yeah. But I know it's spitting shit out from there. There's two red things there, but when I shot it in there, it didn't work. I can try one more time. I don't know, so I'm hitting it from the wrong angle. Did you have to deactivate something then? Oh, I was just hitting it from the wrong angle. Okay, cool. That's one of two. Yeah. Okay, cool. Oh, and then you gotta kind of like bounce. Yeah, I, I was just hitting it from. A, I was just doing it from the wrong. Like a. Oh, I didn't even see. There's this fucking glass thing in front of it. Oh. I didn't. I didn't even see that. Okay. Oh, I think yeah. Now from this other. Yeah. I just did. Uh -huh. I didn't see that. Okay. That's. Uh, okay. Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah. And then just drop it in there. Oh my god. Fuck. It would take forever. <laughs> there, there you go. You All go. right. Can you jump? Yeah, there? yeah, yeah. There we go. Perfect. Now that's good level. Boom. The zoom gun. Alright, cool. Yeah, half of Half-Life 2's physics puzzle is uh, shooting. I love the shooting. Oh, have you seen the trailer for us? Yes, yeah, I've seen it. It's great. Frank's seen it, yeah. Uh, I only need to see one and I'm, I'm good. Jordan yeah. Peele. Uh, is really, yeah, really doing and, a lot and, of fun and, stuff. And I think, like, everyone's on the... Like, everyone's gonna see that movie. Like, we didn't even need a trailer. But again, just already building excitement. Like, fuck. Uh, and again, the, like, horror remix of that song. Like, oh, oh yeah. it's fucking awesome. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nope, okay. And then, I, I, said this, I said this to Brian earlier, but 
it's probably going to be the, the, the most popular thing Tim Heidecker uh, has been a part of. Like, so many people are going to see Tim Heidecker in that, mm -hmm. which is awesome. And again, I'm happy because he's, he's doing a dramatic role. Like, he's excellent, but, like, you know, Tim, Tim's been buried in so much, as incredible and groundbreaking as it was. Like, Tim has always been a very niche performer, and now being in such a massive studio film is really exciting to see. And then, uh, I never remember her name. I think it's Elizabeth Moss from Mad Men. Peggy from Mad Men yeah. is also in it. Uh, yeah, I'm excited. Yeah, Tim Heidecker's in it. He's on. He's he's in the trailer for a second, uh, where it's like, did you hear you got a new boat? Yeah, that's, that was that's the line in the trailer. Yeah, I did see the comedy. Uh, that was interesting. I've seen him in a couple like mainstream movies. Yeah, he said like bit parts. Like he's even in fucking Craig Turkington's in Ant Man. Uh, but he's in some Marvel movie with a cameo. Like, yeah, he it, or no, he's in uh the Wedding Brides or whatever the fuck it's called. He has like, he, he, was that what it's called the what the Bridesmaids? Again, oh, I don't yeah. follow mainstream comedies at all. Yeah, but yeah, yeah, he has a tiny role in that. Uh, but yeah, he's great. Okay, I need to focus on where the f I'm going. Can I, can I drop that? F six, jump down. All right, that's the that's that's how you test everything. Are you fucking kidding? Fuck. I just needed to guide Alex Breen over because she kicks the door down. That's the one thing I hate too with like ugh, shooters or anything that deals with the AI. You have to wait for another player or thing to push, propel you forward. Like, yeah, I, I, oh, fuck, that shit drives me crazy. I feel like that's something that we now don't have to deal nope. with as much. No. But like, we encountered this, uh, Garrett and I, when we played Resident Evil 5 yeah. uh, on the PPS last two years ago uh, for, for Halloween. The AI is supposed to guide you through the game. But we were playing two-player co-op, which yeah. you're not supposed to be able to play until you unlock the game, until you beat the level. Oh, I didn't like, know that. Like, originally, remember, you had to have the level I didn't know that. To, to be able to play it. So it's like, we had no fucking clue what we're supposed to be doing. We're running yeah. around, dying 20 times, giving us some of the best moments on the yeah. PS, because we had no fucking clue what you're supposed to do. And the chat couldn't remember, because the game took care of it for you. Yeah. But then Last of Us was one of the first games that had awesome AI. Like, they, they made that active decision of, like, hey, are we going to make this oh, yeah. be something that you suffer with, or are we going to make this be something that's just this part of the game? Okay, I'm glad I reloaded, because I think I wasted this single, like, energy beam. Oh. Okay, like, because I, I used it, and it didn't respawn, so yeah. we're good now. Oh, cool. Wake Up Dead 400 says, Frank, I want to thank you for your letterbox, and you show me some cool movies to check out. Awesome. Thank you. Yeah, if you don't... Okay, I couldn't tell. Oh, I remember this. Oh, that's cool. Gravity gun it. Oh, am I supposed to? Oh, I am. Good call. Cool. Uh, real fast, would you be able to link the letterbox in the, in the yeah. chat? Yeah, someone said thank you for my letterbox. Yeah, if, if you're always looking for movies, I'm always. I never, like, actively promoting it, but. Oh my god, it's gonna take me 600. Sorry, Alex Green. We'll just do 600 times until I figure it out. Um, but yeah, I'm always. I have, like, lists on there, just, like, favorite movies, favorite horror films, favorite Asian films. I like. Sh Fuck! Okay, I shot the last. Boom, oh, Frank's letterbox. Oh, thank you. Yeah, Letterbox is uh, it's great. I'm happy someone made a better like newer IMDb, cause like, it, yeah, I mean that's just basically what it is. It's a new IMDb with film savvy people. It's positive, like, it's uh, it's it's great. Oh yeah. And like, if you, and if you guys also like, oh my God, I'm gonna, I'm gonna pop in both of our link yes. trees into the yes. chat right now. Frank and I are really gonna be doing a, a bigger effort next year to to keep you guys up to date on what we're like Fuck. watching and oh, yeah. seeing, so follow us on social media. Yeah, what I did on Instagram, I made a story bubble. Uh, I started reading, like, I've been reading The Punisher, and I posted, like, an Instagram story, like, oh, starring The Punisher, and then I made a story that's like, oh, finished The Punisher, loved it. But, like, I'm, I think I'm gonna try to keep, like, a bubble of recommendations all year on my Instagram. Good. Uh, I mean, we're always posting stuff there whenever we're going yeah. live. And yeah, Instagram, Twitter, follow us, and then follow the Mega64 Instagram, too. Yeah. Blah, blah, blah. You know, just follow us everywhere. Just, like, yeah. we're like a virus. Let us infect you like Bonzi Buddy. Uh, I, I want you to... You can't uninstall me. That's just kind of the Frank virus. Okay. You know, you know what you won't want to. It's a virus yeah. you want to keep. That's true. You know, I agree. I agree. Oh, I think you got a ricochet. Yeah. Uh -huh. Like, who doesn't oh, want... Oh, wait, wait. Who, who, yeah, like, who doesn't want porn pop-ups, you know? That's, that's, that's always a good one. I was going to say, can you break the glass? Yeah. I, I do like how satisfying that is. Uh, you got a ricochet. That's awesome. There you go. Because we've all done that with a rubber yep, ball. Yep. So yep. the fact that they built it into a game. Oh, 
Strafe sword said it's high. What? Strafe sword? Strafe sword? Yeah, strafe oh, yeah. sword. Welcome, strafe sword. God damn it. Alex, chill out. How many times has Alex Vance died so far? At least six. She keeps calling it and I just ignore it. I, I died at this part in the game so many times too, but it was because I sucked at video games, yeah. not because I was fucking God damn it, Alex. streaming at the same time. Alex Vance, chill out. God damn stop dying all the time. I like that they do an EKG. Oh, yeah. Like, is, oh, yeah. At the end. Like, yeah. Doo, doo, doo. Uh, Mark, I already missed the name. Mark the Champ. Mark the Champ asked favorite movie on my Twitter and Instagram. I posted a list of all my favorite stuff, but my favorite was Atlanta Season 2. Yeah. Uh, if you haven't seen Atlanta Robin Stevenson, you have missed out on the greatest film TV of 2018. One of the best comedies of the decade. Uh, Atlanta Season 2 is phenomenal. Uh, it's incredible. After that, like, Assassination of Johnny Versace, which is incredible. Uh, the Deuce is great. And then, I think, further down, The House That Jack Built, Annihilation. Those, The House That Jack Built, Annihilation are, like, the two movies of last year that, like, I loved. And then below that, there's other great stuff, like, The Favorite, uh, like, all the movies I listed. But, but yeah, nothing was better than me than Atlanta. I, like, I loved Atlanta. Atlanta was very good. Um... Notable ones, because I don't ever go by best. Yeah, depends. yeah, I always say favorites. Uh, That's always agree with assassination yeah. of yeah. Johnny Versace. Yeah, uh, that was that was really impressive. Um, I also really enjoyed. Uh, what did we watch? Aside from the Deuce, I started watching The Wire, and I was oh, really yeah. enjoying that. But then, like a million things started to happen. All right, what else are we supposed to shoot? There? Barry also came out this year. Yeah, Barry was incredible. That was really, really fun. And I think 2019 starting this year also. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, it's such a fucking incredible show. Yeah. Uh, uh, obviously, Hereditary came out yeah, last Hereditary year. Yeah, Hereditary was great. Uh, Annihilation came out last year. Uh, the fuck? Okay, do I need to kill this stalker? Venom. Oh, I probably have to rekindle it. Oh, I still want to watch Venom. Venom was fun. Yeah. Like, it didn't... It, it, it achieved as as what it was trying to be, and I thought that that was that was all all you needed. Um, does anyone know what the fuck I'm supposed to do? I did watch Burning. It was great. Uh, you know how much I love South Korean vengeance thrillers. Fuck. Okay. What am I? If anyone knows what I'm supposed to, this thing keeps killing it, I don't know if I can. Am I supposed to ricochet? If anyone if anyone knows how I'm supposed to kill that, please let me know. Alex, if you shoot, I'd appreciate it. I push Alex off the point. You might. Fuck. If anyone in the chat knows. Maybe you're just supposed to keep throwing them off. Oh, you know, Brian. You know, let's try it. No, I don't think. Oh, we can try. There, okay, one of them got. I, yeah. I, I was just supposed to keep ricocheting until one of them got him. And yeah, one of them finally did. Jesus. Yeah. But yeah, again, just growing pains of old games. Like, we're so used to having a very clear idea of what to do next. Yeah. And whenever I go back and play... Like, Older games, yeah, they're Okami. a little bit more obtuse. Oh, wow, I've yeah. I'm playing a lot of Okami, and, like, so much of it is... I have no fucking clue where to go. Yeah. They tell you now at every point, and normally I think it's annoying. Uh, watch out. Oh, I think you might have to run out of this part. Okay. Um, but yeah, it's just... I love when shit crashes. Dun, 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 dun. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, just not having... Even here, there's no compass. Oh, dude, I got a fucking achievement. Incredible. Incredible. So, uh, Steam achievements don't mean anything, but so that's incredible. I had to collect all these fucking little dogs in Okami. Oh, like nice. the canine, canine fight squad. But they don't tell you more than just like, yeah, go find them. And so you just go to the areas where there's a circle, uh, and you just run around the open world. And that's not bad, because they didn't have oh, the infrastructure yeah. we have There we go, now I can fucking kill some people. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, dissolve them now. Did I get a gun? Oh, no, I got ammo. They don't want me to use guns yet. Why are they skating all around, dude. It looks like they're deliberately trying to hold them down. Well, yeah, I'm excited to see the open world shit in the episode two. Ooh, this looks like Annihilation. I want to jump into it. God, it feels like our skate ramp. I know. Oh, it's so satisfying. Let's see if we can find a way through the control room. There's a skateboarding mod for Half Life Two. I'll play it. Oh, you know there is. If there is, someone find me one. It's a, a Gary's mod. Yeah, Jesus. Oh yeah, I mean, I used to play Gary's mod a lot. Yeah, you could make. 
stuff and you could bind it to your keys and you could make a little race. My friends and I used to spend so much time fucking with that. So like, that, that was our Minecraft before Minecraft. Somebody said earlier they should make uh, Lester's mod. Dude, I would play that. That'd be incredible. Yeah, so right? Lester anywhere you want. Someone in the chat, too, and I don't even know how to challenge this, because, like, I, I teach film, but it's like, someone in the chat said they liked Roma, but felt it was pretentious. Roma was exactly the movie he wanted to make, and it was great. If that's not your type of bag of movie, that's fine, but I don't think you can fault it for being, a, like, no, it's it's an art film, and it's great. Yeah. Like, if, if you don't like, you know, but it's like, he wanted to make a very specific movie, and it's great. I wonder what I you mean by pretentious. Yeah, I think that, I think maybe it's just a wrong like I don't. Yeah. I wonder what people mean by pretentious. Yeah, and you can say if it's slow or like, like if you know, what, if you want to like. But yeah, what, what, it, what does it mean by like? I don't understand that. Attempting to impress by affecting greater importance, talent, culture, etc., that is actually possessed. It's Alfonso Cuarón who like won all the Oscars for Gravity. So it's like he's not attempting to like the whole point with him. He was in a position where it's like, okay, I made a shitload of money making Gravity. I want to make the most personal film of all time. Right. So it was authentic. Right. And if that brand of authenticity is off-putting, that's fine. But like, yeah. So I, th I think pretension is the wrong word to use. That, there. That's why I wonder. Yeah. Woke up dead said it, the, the, that story is personal. Yeah. So again. I don't know. Every Mexican American I talked to says it was incredible. It was their childhood. It's like that. That wasn't. It was a pretentious to them. Yeah. It was specific. It was niche. Sure. I loved it. You know, like, and even if I sound defensive, it's it's. I'm just trying to change the language yeah, of how we talk about it, film. It's not defensive. It's challenging. Yeah. You as yeah. Uh, as a, anybody as yeah. a viewer, like you have to you have to remember. If Eric's still here, he's the one who taught me this, and I brought this up to Frank. Yeah. Whenever you watch any media, whether it's a video game or film, or a right, stream, or a stream, look at look at this right now. Everything is on that screen for a purpose. Yeah. It was chosen and spe specifically put there, or specifically chosen to not be taken out. Yeah. So if it's there, there's a reason. And likely, if you feel like it doesn't make sense, you probably don't understand it. So you need to find out what it is or learn more about why certain things are in movies. Give it a Doing some Jackie Chan shit. Though. Yeah. Okay. But this is exactly that. I mean, challenging. Are you supposed yeah. to just jump yeah. down? Are yeah. you supposed to do this? Like, like I, I no longer, I don't necessarily, I don't watch like, I don't really watch many old ass movies because I used to watch like world cinema when I was in college studying film. And then now that I'm out of that, it's like, well, I don't need to watch all that because that's not my bag. Like I get it. Like I don't yeah. call them pretentious. It's just, it's a fucking film for like Italian film from the forties. It's going to be slower than one of you, you know, like just record again, it's what we talked about earlier in the stream. It's like, that's just how the media is. Like, it's just not my bad. Like, with, with Charlie Brooker, Bandersnatch. It's like, oh, that's what this is. I'm not mad about it. Yeah, and I yeah. think uh, Mexican Sunglasses yeah. in the chat said it uh, pretty well, or, or, or touches that part of it. I think some people just use the word for anything resembling artsy. Yeah. Um, Random Ortiz doubles that, says that word's been overused a lot lately, especially when someone dislikes an art Oh, movie. there it is. Um, I meant, uh, and then Killer DLS, who actually, original comment. Yeah. Uh, was the original comment writer. I meant pretentious by having long, boring scenes in just cause, uh, in, just because it's shot very well doesn't make it interesting. So that, again, is to you. But that doesn't mean that somebody else doesn't watch that and identify solely with Yeah, and again, and, and like, yeah, you, you expand your point, and it's like, oh, that's totally fine. You know, like, yeah, like, yeah, just, just you, weren't, you weren't into it. Totally yeah. fine. Because if I don't like something, I always try to understand what it is about it that yeah. I don't understand. Because likely... I, it's it's coming in from me internally. Uh, it's some some bit of data, some perspective, or something that I don't that I need oh, that's crucial right to its understanding. Me. That's great. Uh, yeah, because like with me, I love Roma because it's like he's showing you 1970s Mexico City life. Yeah. It's not supposed to be Las Vegas exciting. No, no, she is fucking washing the floor for 10 minutes because that's her job. Yeah. That's her like. It's 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 atmospheric. It's like no, this is her life. Like it's gr immediately gripping. You'd be like, you're in Mexico '70s. The dad driving into the garage and it takes five minutes. It's like, it's it's the texture of it. Like yes. no, this like it's really taking you back. And again, if that's not what you want, totally fine. Mm -hmm. Total, again, totally fine. But like again, it's yeah. What you're saying is, why is it? Why am I watching ten minutes of her scrubbing the floor? Oh, because this is what her life is like, you know? But yeah. also the detail, the authenticity, like, I love it. And again... So, for instance, yeah. a, a, another another great example of that, if you guys have seen First Man, a lot of people complained about how tight the shooting was. Mm -hmm. But it's like, no, the shooting is supposed to be 100%, uh, excuse, excuse yeah. me, 100% yeah. yeah. from his perspective. His perspective. Yeah. You're supposed to feel it like you're there with him, like yeah. you're next to him. You're yep. part of the experience. 
again, they don't put things in movies by accident. Yeah. They, like, think about how many millions of dollars, hundreds of thousands or tens of thousands, Kickstarters you've seen. Movies don't just get put together and things are overlooked. Yeah. Honestly, if something is missing or if you feel or notice something, it's intentional. So that's good. So you're not supposed to feel comfortable. One of the one of the first movies that gave me that feeling, Contact. Oh, what the fuck? Uh, if you yeah. guys haven't seen that Jodie Foster movie, yeah. Robert Zemeckis. Robert Zemeckis, awesome film. I watched yeah. the whole movie, thought it was great. Yeah. And then at the end, there's just this one thing where they're all talking to her and they don't oh, they something. don't go along with it. Yeah. I don't want to give it away, even though it's been out for 20 years. Yeah. But they don't go along with it, and that bugged me forever. Yeah. Because we saw it. Yeah. We, we, we agree. And you're supposed to feel that frustration. Exactly. It drives you crazy. And again, like imagine how scientists today feel when they're presenting data. And it's like, ah, who cares? And yeah, like, ah, so right. think about that feeling of just like being there. And, and think about um, the fact that you were communicating yeah. that feeling. You got a, a snippet, not just to see it, but you got to experience that frustration. Yeah. If you hate a character, you're not supposed to like them. Yeah. Like I always thought about that with with watching Lost. Eric and I would talk about how much we didn't like Kate's character. You're not. There there is nothing redeemable about that character. You're not supposed to like every single character, and if you do, your show is shallow and it's not interesting, or your media dude, is shallow. Dude, yeah, that and not dude. Remember when people on Twitter were bitching about uh, Walter's wife in Breaking Bad? I figured it's it Skyler. Yeah. People were like, oh fuck, fuck, and then people were taking that on the real actress, like, whoa, whoa no, 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 she is supposed to be like the conflict to Walt, like, yeah, people yes. were like, yeah, she's so. Fr it's like, yeah, do you want the wife to be like, yeah, honey, let's do like. She, yeah, you needed that internal conflict at home, like to make him push him out even further. Yeah, you know, like yeah, it was just like people just didn't understand how to read it. it exactly, it's you're supposed to have these roadblocks, and if they just give it to you, again, it's shallow. That's what that's what you see when you watch. Uh, oh, I love grabbing the man oh, axe. Yes. That's uh, what you see when you watch this. what what we call is reality TV. It's all just the conflict and then the payoff. It's none of the actual resolution yeah. or anything that gives you substance. Again, oh, yes, infinite, Welcome infinite. Dead 400, it's called storytelling. You get Fuck. invested because you don't fucking like something, or you like something so much you want to preserve it. And the fact that it's torn away from you, gives it's it's supposed to give you that feeling. You're supposed to feel bad. You're supposed to feel Fuck these man hats. So yeah, you may not like David Lynch movies, for instance, yeah. but you cannot argue that he does not convey an emotion of, of what he's trying to get across. Blue Velvet is one of the most awkward movies I've ever been, like, a part of. And that's what it is. It's a movie experience to be a part of. You feel awkward the whole time. You're not supposed to feel easy. There we go. Uh, someone in the chat asked if I have played Blood. No, but I own it, and that's something I'd love to stream pretty soon. So Is that that game that's banned? No, that's Hatred. Uh, okay. Blood is a... It's, it's, I think it was made on the Duke Nukem engine. It's just one of the Doom clones. Oh. Um, yeah, I'll play that. I want to play that soon. I want to play Redneck Rampage. Like I'm always playing cheesy first-person shooters. Uh, so yeah, uh, just stay tuned. I'll be playing that. Yeah. Now, Promessa EX uh, says, every character in Love Live is likable, and it's one of my favorite games because it's just a great time. Now, I don't oh disagree God, with you. Die. That's fine. Nobody, I saved. I'm going to see where it's going. I don't, I don't think I would ever want oh, all my content to be 100% conflict. I think that's what made, for instance, Parks and Rec, or, um, you know, as it went on and later on in the seasons, what made uh, The Office such an endearing show is that there wasn't really any big long-term conflicts. No, show. those shows are comfortable. Everybody was pretty much likable or had some redeemable quality. But then, yeah, no, when you watch fuck. The Wire or you watch The Deuce... Or you watch Rugrats and there's fucking Angelica in every episode trying to fuck with the babies, yeah. Yeah. It's real, real shit. Like, you're never supposed to like her until they make you like her for that one episode. Yeah. Or Nelson you, yeah, yeah. in The shit. Simpsons. He's the bully. Yeah, there was, like, even Doug did that. Like, they always do sympathetic episodes with the bully. It's like, oh, this is why the kid's all fucked up. Aww. Yeah. He's poor, his dad isn't around, like, there are circumstances. Oh, Mitsuko also asked about Iron Maiden. I specifically bought Iron Maiden in the Seam Summer Sale so I could stream it here. Oh, so I'll yeah. do that in, like, a week or two. Um, Iron Maiden's cool because they did, like, a preview campaign, kind of like what Dust did. Hey, pay 20 bucks now, we'll let you play, like, a few levels. Later when the game is out, you get it all. Oh, wow. So, yeah, I bought Iron Maiden. I bought, I bought so many. First, I love first-person shooters. Uh, and I think it's fun to stream first-person shooters. Uh, um, this is Ben Luck. He says, Doom 2006 is the best shooter of all time in Wolfenstein 2 has the best story of all time in the shooter. 
I didn't play either of those games. To Doom 2016 is excellent. The yeah. feel of it's great. Wolfenstein 2 has incredible like moments, much like a Tarantino film. It's like, oh fuck. Um, but I, I, I even liked Titanfall 2's story better because the whole time this Titanfall 2 story is like Terminator 2. You build this bond with the robot, yeah, and it's incredible. But again, just different. I, I like that kind of James Cameron heart with sci-fi. Wolfenstein 2 is full blown exploitation, like Tarantino. Uh. Boom. It, there, but there are there's two specific moments in Wolfenstein 2. Uh, one involves a head, and the other involves a political figure. Uh, those are the two like craziest cutscenes I've ever seen in a video game, and you know exactly what I'm talking about. So yeah, both games are worth playing. Um, yeah. <laughs> I love Spuswick's comma comment. Roma should have been called coma because it put me in one. Um, and again, if you didn't dig it, you don't have to rewatch it and feel like you missed something. That's fine. Feel free to read essays, reviews. That's something, too. I'll, I'll watch a movie. Uh, like, I most recently watched Last Thing on Paris, and I didn't like it. But then I read a Pauline Kael review from 1973, and at the time it came out, oh, this would have been revolutionary. Watching it 40 years later, this is so fucking boring. But again, I read it, I watched it, and I read a review, and like, okay, I get it. So, Roma, even if you didn't love it, read reviews, see see what people are seeing in it. Okay, you don't need to rewatch it. Just yeah. watch, watch more shit you love. Totally yeah. fine. Um, and again, yeah. So it's yeah. You don't have to. It's it's. And again, that's why Roma's not on my like must see movies of the year list. It's like I feel like if you if you're someone who would appreciate Roma, you would have already seen it, already know. Like if that's not a movie I need to convince people, but I feel like I need to convince people to watch Atlanta, Assassination of Gianni Versace, Barry. These are shows that because they're not on Netflix, people are fucking ignoring and pretend like they don't exist. Uh, God, I yeah. I, I I kind of like am mad at Netflix for monopolizing the industry. Like. Because, sort of, yeah. because people have gotten lazy and don't watch anything that's not on Netflix. I know, right? But but that's the thing. Now there are all these other services. Yeah. So it's just that Netflix is the new cable. Yeah. And that's it, fine. Yeah. You didn't it, have cable yeah. when, when when we realized how boring cable was. It should be here. And like, I think you just jump into that portal. Maybe. Ooh, that's cute. I, I, think, you, I think you dilate it and you jump in. Huh. Oh wait, is that? I don't know. Because there's like this big thing over there. Yeah, if anyone knows... Oh, I think I have to wait. See how it gets smaller? I think I have to wait for the pulse to get small. Yep. Uh, Perfect. Oh, you text. I got I got Yeah, Killer DS, always appreciate talking. Okay. Oh, shit, someone shot me. I got a text, just to make sure. Okay. <laughs> Jordan Jones makes a really good point. People will never not be lazy. People will do whatever is easiest. I don't think that's a bad thing, just how people are. Yeah. There's nothing wrong with that. Yeah. We always want to make things easier. Yeah. But like, I'm willing to work a, a little bit harder to get a better overall experience. And I think other people want to give that effort towards something else. And then they want this like curated, highly curated, they want to be given all the things that they like. But it's like, okay, you won't know what you like until you don't until you know what you don't like. And the way you know what you don't like is you watch everything. Yeah. And you try to understand it for what it is instead of, oh, I didn't oh get my this. God, I didn't get there. So I think that's the hard part. Again, it just asks for a little bit more work for you. But if media isn't important to you, it's not gonna. It's not a priority. That's fine. Like, I think now nowadays we also have to remember that we don't have to just do whatever everybody's doing because there are so many moving parts now. Um, Hell yeah. Hell like, yeah, Eric's here. Fuck like, we have so many different media outlets. We have so many different, like, specialized niche, like, things that you don't have to watch only the mainstream stuff. Just take some time to find what you like. Oh, my God. Which is hit me. So this spawn, is it shooting something? So, okay, the portal's getting shot. Do I need to activate this another one, maybe? That's what I'm assuming. Okay, yeah. so I activated this thing. Oh, now the new, new, new door opens. Okay, cool. Alright, just want to get Up. 
I've played Sunset Overdrive and Lollipop Chainsaw. I really like Sunset Overdrive. I thought the writing sucked because I feel like it appealed to like 13 year old kids. If I was 13, I would have loved it. But the gameplay of Sunset Overdrive was great. They've openly talked about how Tony Hawk Underground was a huge influence on its <laughs> movement. And again, after Sunset Overdrive, they made Spider Man. So if you like Spider Man but haven't played Sunset Overdrive, play Sunset Overdrive. They just put it on PC. It's a great game. The writing's annoying, but other than that, it's great. Lollipop Chainsaw is fun. James Gunn wrote it before he did Guard Guardians of the Galaxy. It's, you uh, wrote it? Yep, he wrote it. Huh. Uh, it's cool. It's a fun, trashy, like. I thought that was a Studio 51 game. Right? They, they work together. Really? Yeah, it's directed by Studio 51, but James Gunn wrote the script. I man, that's so cool. Right? I love that. I played that too. I yeah. love that game. Yeah. It was it was like the perfect beat em up. Yeah, like the music is great, like it's oh, easy, but it's yeah. cool. Boom, Rum Squall said they watched all the Modern Warfare 2 stream. Thank you so much. I think we're gonna try to stream Modern Warfare 2 tomorrow. Uh, maybe in the afternoon or evening. Again, just follow us on Twitter and Instagram uh, if you ever want to know. And then also, Brian, can you link the PPS Discord? Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. We'll also alert people on the PPS Discord, too. Okay. All right. Calm down. There you go. Sunset Overdrive is on Game Pass. Yeah, I'm excited to... I, I think I'm this year I'm going to get an Xbox One X and get Game Pass. Just because why not? I'm going to try it out. Save here. Perfect. All right. Oh, I, dude, I forgot to ask my favorite question. I'm gonna wait for uh, Brian to link the Discord. But after that, I got I got a good question for the chat. Oh shit. But yeah, the other, there's this Discord. Feel free to pop in. Okay. Um. Guys, what's everyone playing? What games are you playing? I always like knowing what is everyone playing. I've been playing. I finished Spider-Man, so I've been playing God of War. I really like it. My podcast game is still Battlefield 5, so Battlefield 5 and Spider-Man, but... No, Battlefield 5 and God of War, but what is everyone else playing? I'm curious. Uh, I have a Mac Air and a, a PS4. Can I emulate Metal Gear? So that's... They want to play that. Spyro and Crash Remaster. Oh, hell yeah. Uh, Ashen, which is a new, like, Souls-like game from Annapurna. Hell yeah. Sir Kevin Mass is almost done with the world of Holy light mode and Smash. Bloodborne. I hear there's more after Zelda, that. Zelda, MGS5. Escape from Shenmue. Tarkov. Wow. wow. Escape, isn't that an NES game? I don't know. Escape from Tarkov? I still need to play Return of Obra Dinn. Mark the Champ is playing Shenmue 1 and 2. Rub Squall just beat MGS5 after two year hiatus. I did the exact same thing, so yeah. Um, L.A. Noir, are you playing that on uh, on the Switch? Sonic Mania. I played it on the Switch, again. Uh, somebody, Sum has been playing Dream Drop Distance. Uh, oh, wow. H. Kira shouts out. Nice to see you in the chat. He's been yeah. playing Shadow Mortal. Oh, cool. You know what's funny? Damn, how long is Shadow Okay, so I played the first Shadow of Mordor, and they released a sequel, like, immediately after, and I had no interest. After playing, like, God of War and Spider-Man, I'm kind of in the mood for a hack and slash, like... I think I'd be down to play Shadow of War Door, or whatever the fuck that new one was called. Yeah, Shadow of War. It, it, it actually, they developed it for a few years after. Really? Yeah. yeah. It, it just, I feel like it just came out way too soon where I wasn't in the mood, and it, now I'm kind of in the mood for it. It came out last November, I think, or October, and it was just in the middle of, like, yeah, all these, well, all like, these the, other games last, last again, now 2017. Yeah, last, yeah, yeah. Sorry, 2017. Yeah. Um, but, yeah, uh, I, I, I hear from, like, People like uh, this has been lucky, and other people have said like it becomes a grind as it goes on. But I remember I love that combat style. I I beat that game twice wow. already because I I beat it on uh, on fuck what's it called? I rented it on GameFly I think, mm -hmm. and then when they released the definitive edition, I played it and beat it again. Oh, wow. And I love that game. So I really wanted to play the new one because it was a full build for the PS4 instead of a PS3 That's PS4 right because that, the old one was developed for both. Yeah. Uh, and then yeah they, they like spent, talked about the Nemesis system on the first one and I never saw them how they followed up with it. Well yeah so the Nemesis system on the first one was, was really cool. was really cool. That was completely removed in the P in the PS3 version. Yeah. So that's bizarre. Yeah. Um, but yeah on 4 you had the Nemesis system but then you also had this like you basically could do like Pikmin controlling of all of these yeah. fucking troops. Yeah, I like kind of that. That sounds fun. I like that, but I'm also like, uh, do I need that in a in in this kind of game? Do I need that? Like, I, I I'm fine with it. I gotta think what the fucking need to So I put that here. That like, I don't know what else happens. So I, I complete this like 
I complete all three. Okay, that's gonna divert power back. But then I can't come up here. Okay. All right. Uh, this going is the back game. To some of the games that other game. people have been playing: Katamari Damacy Revolt, oh, yeah. which is awesome. The Mummy D Master looks good. It's that. Oh like, yeah, yeah. That game yet. looks really cool. Yeah. But I, I just like I haven't gotten around to, to fucking playing that or a bunch of other games. I'm afraid I'm gonna get it and not really dive into it. Um, Borderlands 2 VR that came out. Skyrim in VR. Fuck. Uh, Dota 2. Random Ortiz just 100%ed all of the Spider Man DLC. Oh my god, what the fuck am I supposed to Again, if anyone in the chat knows what I'm supposed to do here, I'll actively play this and figure this out, but. Okay, because it. Yeah, so. Oh! Oh, I'm supposed to shoot it. Yeah, okay, there you go. But again, like, that's as. That's like. Yeah, that, that's how it's designed. It's supposed to make you, like. What am I supposed to do? So that was part of the game. Yeah. Uh, I wonder yeah. what Borderlands would be like in VR. Fuck. Oh, you want you want to hear some funny jokes in VR? Uh, I don't know. I don't know. Yeah. The, honestly, that that was another game where I'm like, hey, uh, writing can take a backseat. Yeah. Like again, Sunset Overdrive and that stuff. Like, man, the gameplay is great. I don't. Shh, 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 I'm good. Not that. Yeah. Not that I didn't enjoy it at all. It's just fucking. Okay. So I. Oh, up there. Where? To the elevator behind you? Are you, saying, are you saying in here? Oh, sorry, I'm pointing at the wrong screen. Aren't you supposed to shoot it in Oh, there? bless you, thank you. Yeah, yeah, there you go. Hell yeah, we're getting it done. Got her, get her done. Get her done, thank you. All right, and that's gonna, now we're one more step to the portal. I don't even, I think we're like deactivating this portal. And then that should open this door, maybe? Let's see. Uh-oh, oh, they're picking up, uh-oh. This oh, looks yeah. like marble. This is how the marbles get made in Marble Blast Ultra. That looks good. It looks cute. Seventy Blesk Desk oh, says he wants to play RE7 in VR and dodge attacks by moving in our, in real life. I didn't know that you could actually dodge attacks by moving. In. That's that's pretty cool. Uh, uh, I, now I kind of want to play Resident Evil 7 again. You can try it. Uh, but yeah. like, I'm still in the middle of yeah. Red Dead. I still want to finish Okami. Uh, I never played Moss. That game looks really cute, but I just, I just never played it. Last of Us Two is coming out this year too. I don't, I don't, I don't think so. It's not. I don't think it's coming out in 2019. There's no fucking. Did I, they announce it? They're or? still shooting. I don't think they announced the launch date. No, there's no. Yeah, people in the chat are saying it's, it's not coming out in 2019. Oh, uh, currently in development and rumored for launch in 2020. It's tw if it's 2019 and they haven't announced it. Yeah, it's, it's coming 2020. Yeah. I'm fine with that. Yeah. I'm fine. Like, yeah. I have plenty of fucking games to play. Yeah. I love that everybody keeps talking about PS5, 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 PS5. I don't think we're... I think we're two, three years away from yeah. PS5. Yeah. And again, it's fine. Like, I'm j again, look at me. I'm fucking just now playing episode one, which is a four fucking 13-year-old game. Yeah. 15-year-old game. Yeah. So, like... Yeah. I, I, I think this goes back to our comment earlier. Like, things come out, you don't have to do it right away. Yeah. You don't have to do it right when it comes Just out. now watch Last Tango in Paris from 1972. <laughs> so yeah, it's like, and, that, and that's the thing too, and I think that's what we've been doing, and that's why I like streaming, is like, games is a medium just like film. You can go back, like, you know, people are just now, just, there's people who only, who've only never seen Star Wars, like imagine kids who finally watched a 1977 yeah. film. Just like with video games, people play Super Mario was one, Brothers 1, like, you don't have to see stuff immediately, it's just whenever you get to it. Yeah. I'm excited for WoW Classic, absolutely. This summer, dude, fuck. I'm gonna play WoW on every stream, every Friday in the summer. This is just gonna turn into the World of Warcraft do stream. It. Fuck it. Um, I'm so ex you know honestly what I could do if I keep streaming here in the summer is like show off some fun games. Then the last hour, hey, we're gonna do a dungeon or just grind or I don't know. I love WoW so fucking much. That's good. Yeah, and then Eric Fedora exactly. Streaming gives you a reason to play a game all the way though that you would have turned off otherwise. 100% exactly like yeah. what I've been doing. That's why I stream Modern Warfare 2, playing Half Life. It's playing games that I otherwise wouldn't be playing, but we have all these people talking. Yep. People are giving commentary. They're helping me out. I, I, we're discovering stuff together. Like less than likely, yeah. I would have not beaten it, but we beat it. Yeah, absolutely. And like, honestly, as well on the back end, it people makes are me, down to join us on WoW. Absolutely. It, well, yeah, and it, and it makes us want to play games more because yeah. it's like, well, now this is my personal game. Yeah. So I play this for myself, and then okay, if I yeah. want to stream this later or not. But um, earlier in the chat, somebody said like. Uh, the containment system's back in place. Uh, someone asked what class. I think. Honestly, I never really played Mage in WoW class. I think it's so hard. I love playing Rogue. Rogue is so fun because you can stealth and pickpocket, and the DPS is really fun. Um, but I always do alts, so I think I'll do a Rogue and a Mage. I've never tried Frost Mage. 
Um, so I might do Frost Mage. Uh, Zatch L wants to know if we would have ever beat Return of the King when we did that on the Big Dog stream on our own. No, I, I no. did. I did no. when I was a kid, but I would have never oh, fucking fuck. played that game no. again. No. No. Why? Like, why would I? Uh, I was thinking about this. I I love Star Wars, the original. Like as I was growing up, I love Indiana Jones. I love all of these movies. I don't need to watch any of them ever fucking again unless I'm doing something with them. I love Lost, and I wanted to watch it again, yeah. so I made a project out of it, and I created a show. Well, and, and that's how I feel with, I guess even streaming, like, I've never seen My Hero Academia. That's supposed to be, like, you know, one of the, like, great recent animes. But now that I have incentives, like, oh, I can watch it and then talk about it on a stream or even make it own, like, an anime show or a podcast about it. It's like, oh, yeah, now there's further incentives to, like, just talk about everything I can see. Yeah. And again, same thing, everyone in the chat, if you watch any of my streams, especially when Brian's here, the chat is part of the show. We Absolutely. like, again, I legitimately get excited when I ask everyone, hey, what's everyone been playing? Like, and even if I come off like snobby or passionate about movies, I like discussing movies. And again, hearing different perspectives, like I love it, I love it. But yeah, I like hearing what everyone's playing, consuming, like it's, it's, it's I don't know, it's, it's very fun. Yeah, and like going back to kind of like managing inputs in the number of games we, we play yeah. or, or have to, what the fuck have to get go? through like, it's like a Bugs Bunny cartoon right there. release a, a PS5 whenever Yeah. but I'm not gonna buy it until a game I want comes out and like even if it comes out I'm not gonna necessarily Run. rush to buy it if I'm not ready or I don't have the time yeah. to play it like Frank and I always talk about like oh what, how, what do we choose like how do we play a game like that we want to play Play the game that you feel like playing the most. So sometimes I pop in Red Dead, I play for a little bit, and I'm like, you know what? I want to be playing. Uh, I want to be playing Tetris instead. So I switch from Red Dead to Tetris, or I, I turn on Okami instead. Um, I think it's just a matter of like, we feel like we have to catch up with everything to stay on top of stuff. We don't. If a PS5 comes out and you're still playing a bunch of other games, play those games. Yeah. Or better yet. This is what I do. Stop buying games until you're ready to play another one. Because the worst thing you could ever do is have a stack this big of games and then go, I don't know which one I want yeah. to start playing. That goes back to play whatever you feel like playing most. Yeah. When you have nothing to play, you start looking for something. Buy that game, play it, oh, go. Fuck, oh, fuck. Well, yeah, I mean, like, oh, what the fuck? Oh, my, my gravity, I'll just reload. My gravity gun stopped being super at yeah. some point, and I just found out. Uh, but yeah, even like right now, I've been waiting forever to read Punisher Max, and I wasn't gonna read Punisher Max until I read Preacher, and since I finished Preacher, now I'm reading Punisher, because I'm following Garth Ennis, and it's like, oh my god, I love it, but now that I'm reading Pre Punisher, now I want to fucking play the Punisher Xbox game again, and like, I want to stream the Capcom game, it's like I've gotten to this point now where I can finally do that, as opposed to like, I don't know, it's, it's, yeah, it's like making time for the things I really care about. Uh, as opposed to just doing things compulsively, like, oh, let's play this because this is what people are talking about this week. It's like, yeah, you can do things on your own speed, and it's totally cool. I just don't let Alex shoot stuff. It's fine. Okay, I'm holding it. I feel like you're supposed to use that for something. Probably. Might be Alex supposed to ma put oh, a okay. magic wand on it. Uh, okay, there's one that I don't need. Did I get rid of? There's two of them. I want to th throw, like, one into the sun. All right, Alex, hurry. Now what do I do with it? She said to do something. Put it in the rigger? Oh, I think, okay. Where is that thing on your left? In the wall? This? No, good no. call, good call. Uh, can you pull off that panel to the left? That's behind. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that thing. Oh, maybe you threw it there. Oh my, this fucking stupid ass one. Oh, so now this is... Oh. oh, I need to get... Fuck, this is so... I'm gonna die. There's two of these here. Oh, wait, I can neutralize both of them. There you go. That was driving me crazy. Okay, now maybe. Now she's gonna do something. That's what we okay. had to neutralize both of them. Oh my god. But again, that's why it's fun streaming video games. Is I'm bet I, I I'm curious how many people have had experienced the same thing. How many people were they figured out right away? They're, I love how dynamic video games are. One thing that I wanted to, to bring up because uh, Random Ortiz said I agree with Brian. I finished the game I'm currently playing, and by the time the next game is on sale, uh, or the next, I'm ready for the next game. It's on sale, which is a very good point. I, I also wait for sales because, like, hey, if I'm not going to play it now, why give them the money yeah. for the full price? So I never pre-order a game unless I know I'm going to start playing it right away. So Resident Evil 2, I'm going to pre-order that. I want to play that immediately. Um, same thing with Red Dead 2. I had that ready to go, downloaded, and I played that. Spider-Man, ready to go, downloaded, played that right away. So, like, just commit to playing them. It's like sitting down and watching a movie, and then you end up watching, like, 
six episodes of The Simpsons and that's the fucking length of a movie. You think it's a commitment that's longer than it is, just sit down and keep doing it. I'm so happy Steve Bark is here. That's, yeah, me too. That, that's all I care about. So Shit. Nice when, when, when we can catch him. I love, I love Steve Barker. Steve Barker for commissioner. What are they, what's the president of England called? The queen? Uh, Steve Barker for king. Prime minister? Yeah. PM. I vote yeah. for Steve Barker. Can I vote? Yeah, yeah, I'd up. vote for PM Barker. PM Barker? I want that. PM Barker. He's the man we need. Dude, I want to... I just want to be part of... Uh, Stevie, is it? Is it the parliament yeah. that like berates each other? Or is that the House of Lords? Yeah, where do you, I just want Steve to wear like a... A wig. What do you call it? A periwig? Yeah. I don't know. Uh, a uh, feather? Uh, yeah. Something I think like it's that. a periwig, yeah. Periwig, yeah. Steve would know. Steve, where's our ring? A periwig. We're not doing All right. It's a stalker. The Court of Owls. The Court of Owls. I don't think it's... No, it's that, yeah. Yeah. I think it's either Commissioner Barker. Commissioner Barker. If you resist. Oh. Oh. One thing that I wanted to point out. Um, that, that Tahitian, uh, whatever his long name is. I buy games if I don't finish them. I know I'll finish them eventually. Uh, it's not a good habit, though. Hey, it's okay if you don't beat a game. Yeah. A game is not like a movie nowadays. It's not like a book. Most games, you're just supposed to pop in and play and play and play. If you don't finish this, that sucks. Because this is a story-driven game, Half-Life. Mm -hmm. But if you don't finish... You know, Battlefield Five, a multiplayer game. Like, like that's the thing. I like having multiplayer games because it's like those can yeah. sit in my whatever stack, and it's like, oh, if I have friends playing, I can play it. Or yeah, again, there's just different tiers of games. Assassin's Creed, Mad Max, oh, all yeah. those, all those collectathon. Yeah, yeah, all those open world collectathon games. It's not about the end game for those. It's about yeah. get as much fun as you feel sixty dollars is worth, and then drop it. Um, I feel bad that we don't have hydration bot on this fucking oh. channel because we've been streaming for an hour and forty minutes. I need, I need to drink, drink some water. Oh, I have it. Tahiti and man goes Arthur. All right, chill out, Alex, for a second. Look at that guy, the stalker. I only buy games when they're on sale at this point. I think Spider-Man and Red Dead Redemption <clears throat> were the only fully priced games I bought last year. I bought a few fully priced games last year, personally. I was, I was well, surprised at how many games I bought. You would be surprised, because uh, I'm going to help you out. I know, you know, oh. you know we're, gonna, we're, we're just going to break it. Uh, you know, not many people know, but I'll give you a little a little insider tip. If you want video game deals, there's only one place on the internet. One. Follow Cheap Ass Gamer. If you don't follow Cheap Ass Gamer... I don't know. I don't know what's wrong with you. Yeah. I got Tetris Effect, discount. Boom. Frank and you know what? Red also... Dead. Discount. That's true. My gamers club still. My gamers club is still unlocked. Street Fighter anthology and anniversary, whatever it's and called. And while you're there, follow the king of deals himself. Discount. Jared Thorpe on three. Shouts out to any big dogs. If you got a Jared Thorpe on, just throw yeah, that. Yeah, I love. I love Jared Thorbon. Thorbon in the chat. Thorbon for mayor. Thorbon for president. The Thor only band I like is Thorbon. Yeah. Dude, I'm playing God of War. I can't wait for Jared Thorpe to show up. Jared Thorbon to show up. The god. The god of deals. Friday Night Doom says, I like the PS4 uh, themes they post on sale. I agree. Jared's always posting. Yes. Always. Yeah, hell yeah. Shouts out. Nice and cool. Says, Cheap Ass Gamer. Whoa, uh, this is sick. Mark the Champ. Witcher 3 is one of my favorite this is games awesome. ever, so I feel like they'll do great with Cyberpunk. I'm just cautious about getting too hyped. Don't ever get too hyped. Take yeah. it for what it is. I'll play it when it's out. That's, that's there it, it is. It will not be Witcher, so do not expect a game like Witcher. Yeah, they're doing first person character. This is the animation from Gnarly. Can you kill this thing? It's annoying. Oh, it looks cool. It looks like it looks like Marilyn Manson. I don't know what I'm supposed to do, Alex. I don't think I can do anything. This is war, dude. What am I supposed to do? No hostage. We, we killed the Look at the animation. That, that was a set from Half-Life 2. She's all wiggling around. Yeah, man. I don't know, Alex. I don't know what I'm supposed to do. Is that what is she wearing? Is that a Nokia cell phone on her hip? Oh, dude, I think you're supposed to gravity gun him off of you. Like, it's not letting me. Oh, wait. You're right. You had to be really close. Cause I don't got my stupid friggin' my powered up gravity gun. I just got the weak orange ass one. Asshole, bitch, motherfuckers. motherfuckers. She's so scared. Fucking get up, bitch. Oh, whoa, Ryan. Sorry, I mean anybody who be just chilling there. Ryan. My apologies. It's not gender specific. If you don't follow cheap ass gamer, you're a bitch. I'll say it. There yeah. you go. There you go. What is going on? Okay, what do I need to do? I don't think she's in the movie. These sound the effects here. suck ass. No, they're great. Welcome to Half-Life 2 Episode 1. Do you use that console or something? Look at these all Steve Barkers, they're all bald. Alright, what are we supposed to do here? I don't Sorry, have a gun. <laughs> oh, just a 
go down there. All right, there you go, perfect. I hope she's still scared. Use the button, fellas, perfect. All right. Yeah, walk away from there so you don't have to hear. No, oh, they look sound. They sound mouth. cool. All right, here we go. Low life. Whoa. We call him low life. Hey, totally fair enough. That was scary. I know, right? I was making a little beat. Ooh! All right, now we're getting somewhere. This is cool. This also this looks great. Oh, head crabs. Okay, this is half. -life. I just want a gun. I'm so tired of using the gravity gun. Shouts out to everyone in the chat. Frank and I both have not beat God of War, so please do not mention anything about what happens with any characters. Uh, I just got. Where am I? Yeah, I feel like I've finished like three major parts. There's. There's, uh, you go to, I don't even fucking, yeah. For me, I, I got through, I went to this world where there were dark and light elves having Yeah, I beat that part, and then yeah. I beat the part after, I, I beat the part after we go to the giant cave, and you go up to the cave, and then you go to a tree, and then I'm kind of just after that. I think I'm, I think I'm right at the same spot you're at. Yeah. But, uh, but I'm glad I didn't finish it, because, uh. I got a PS4 Pro. Yep, and now you can play that now in 60 frames. Now I can play frames. that in 60 frames. And, I mean, watching you play it on on your PS4 Pro yep. was the reason I, yeah. I was like, okay, it's time to get a PS4 Pro. Dude, um, even when I played Half-Life 2, I played on a shitty laptop at probably like 20 frames per second. Yeah. So playing this now, I don't, I don't even think the graphics settings let me tweak it, but like, I'm, I'm assuming we're just playing this at like cap 60. But yeah, yeah. like this looks and runs great. Yeah. I, I, I almost like... At first, felt like, man, I don't have a 4K TV and I don't have HDR. I don't know if this game's gonna, you know, if it's gonna make games really look that much better. Oh, classic! Now this is a first-person shooter. Yeah, it's not a, oh, fuck yeah. It's not a first-person shooter until you go through the vent. Uh, the 60 frames standard. Beautiful. The game looks so real that sometimes I, I mean I know it's still not like the instant realest death. Realest. I want to take a look. Yep. Yep. I bet there's a trampoline at the bottom. <laughs> no. Hell yeah! Spuswick says he loved watching a stream. Thanks so much, Nick. Thank Appreciate you. it. Thank you. I just like this red. This is like the opening yeah. of Stanley Kubrick. Boom. The end of uh. Boom. There was me, that is Alex, and me three troops making over Zoom Dogs what to do with the evening. There's that trampoline. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> hey, uh, that's a new that's a new name. Not K Thanksy. Not K Thanksy. Thanks for being here. Is that Banksy? It's not K uh, Thanksy. Yeah, no, really, like being able to tell the difference between 30 and 60 frames per second, seeing the difference already playing uh, Tetris. Ooh, see, this is way more interesting now. Oh, I, like, I dig all this shit. So again, Half-Life, I always like Half-Life 1 is a horror game. Yeah. Uh, and like, that's why my favorite part, this is awesome. So now I can fucking talk about this shit. My favorite sequence in all of Half-Life 2, I think the opening's great, where you're on the train, and you welcome to City 17, I think the whole opening sequence is great. But I love all the, the horror elements. Oh, please, fuck yes. Chestburster? <laughs> no, I finally got, uh, I finally got a gun. Oh, uh, but, okay. um, but yeah, the Raven Home sequence in Half-Life 2 is my absolute favorite. Uh, Cause it's so fucking cool. I like how I'm sneaking all these, this ammo out. Oh, I love it. That's I right. love it. Oh, I love it. Give me the guns. Give me the guns. Fuck. Yes, this is so cool. Oh, oh my god, I'm so excited. All right. Now I'm all stocked up. This is awesome. Now I'm like Charles Bronson. I'm ready. <laughs> Hell yeah. Half-Life 1 is... is rated. Okay. All right. Can I... What do you know? Hell yeah, sub dude brings up my favorite joke from Half Life. We don't go to Raven Home. Oh, we don't dab in Raven Home. Yeah, we you don't. Know, we don't go to Fortnite. But then you ended up there, so I was like, "What the fuck?" I am down to stream Fortnite in the future. Do a blind Fortnite stream where it's like I'm gonna play this game for the first time and just just try to figure it out. Uh, that would be interesting. Oh my god. 
Where's Alex? You gonna open the door? Yeah, seriously, he is. Enter the fucking code. Oh my god. Ah, oh, the old switcheroo. Nice. See, now this is where, this is what's up. Now I'm ready to play. Hey, and you found a gun. Yeah, I found a yeah. gun. Cause you wouldn't share. Are you kidding me? She was, she had said a gun the whole time. time. She didn't even share. Ooh, what's over here? Oh, oh wait. No, wait, 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 I don't want that. Bring the car back. Hold on. Keep Alex, you go, you, you, you keep, you take care of it. Wait, this is where we were? Oh, this is where we were. Okay. All right, we're gonna go kill, Alex, get out of the way. Where's dog? Is dog coming? <laughs> All right, let's see. All right. Yeah, see, oh, I can just let Alex kill everyone. Perfect. That is like a, I feel like there's so many games. Well, there's probably a game specific where if you run out of bullets, you can trade your gun to the AI and they'll have infinite bullets, you know? Oh. I forget, I forget what game is that? I forget, but yeah, it's like you, if you, you waste all your bullets, instead of getting rid of the gun, just give that gun to the AI and they'll do it. Like any game that lets you swap guns with AI, there's probably ones. Halo 3, maybe that's it. Yeah, where you can give Marines the gun. Yeah, that's probably it. Yeah. Oh, that's, I would always do that as Master Chief as soon as you take, just steal the guy's rocket launcher. That's right. You know, like you would, you would give him the Marines the shitty pistol. Yeah. Okay. Fallout see? does it enforce as uh, Ben Lucky. Yeah. Okay. See, I'm, I see. It's like little things like that. that I'm happy that we can all relate to. It's stuff that oh. no one would write an article about or discuss or even tweet about. But that's such a minute detail that I love doing. See, thank you guys. I appreciate you all. You all get this. Hell yeah. Uh, specifically about Yakuza movies. Wait, let me see. Um, it's a long. Yeah, Wolf Guy. I'm not even gonna. Oh yeah, Seijin Suzuki. His stuff is stylistic, like Ref and Pulse from, but I think Suzuki is a little boring just because like it is from the 60s and 70s. Like it's neat, but uh, Wolf Guy is a film from 73, which is insane. That's a really cool Yakuza movie. Um, that's probably my recommendation. I still need to see Battles Without Honor Humanity, which is directed by the Battle Royale guy. Ooh, that looks cool. But yeah, check out Wolf Guy. That movie is fucking crazy. Uh, it's about a werewolf Yakuza. Like, it's, it's awesome. Werewolf Yakuza. Mm -hmm. I have seen South Korean movie called Mother. I've seen every single Bong Joon-ho movie. Uh, Mother's good. Uh, Memories of Murder is my favorite Bong Joon-ho movie. Battles Without Honor and Humanity. Didn't you see that? No, I did not see that. that, that that's why I just mentioned. I haven't seen that. Oh, okay, sorry. Uh, that, that's that's. Yeah, okay. that that's also the the theme song of that is the bum bum bum, the one that Tarantino used to kill. Oh, yeah. okay. All right. Oh my God. All these them. All these blug, but yeah, bugs. Yeah, bugs. Yeah. Oh, and then I don't know if you've seen this, but Why Don't You Go Play in Hell is a, to, a it's a that's a contemporary Yakuza film from 2013 by Sion Sono. It's incredible. Why don't you go play in hell? It's about a high school film club that, that gets hired to make a documentary about a, the local Yakuza, and then it erupts into a gang war. Uh, it is incredible. Why don't you play in hell? Uh, see that immediately. It's great. Fuck. I gotta, you know what? I'm going to wait for my flashlight to recharge. Like, wait. Let me put the load. Yeah, hold on. I need to watch more Yakuza films. says medical something. Uh, Someone asked if we've ever, a favorite EA Sports big game. Technically, I think SSX were EA Sports bigs. They were. I um, but I, I really, I played NBA Street on PS2. I really liked NBA Street. I think it, because like Tony Hawk, you could do combos like when you do dribbles and stuff. And I, and I, and I think the lineage is I loved NBA Jam, uh, NBA Hang Time on N64, and so NBA Street was kind of the fall up. I never played any of the other EA big games, uh, but I liked NBA Street. I thought those were, I thought that was fun. Yeah. Um, what the hell is that? Ooh, did they introduce new combines? Oh, if so, uh, this is a new enemy for me. Might be, yeah, I forget. That's like a, a, a zombine, right? <laughs> zombine, get it? <laughs> hell yeah. yeah. Hell yeah, dude, fuck yeah. All Good about job. it. All about it. Zombine. Dude, that's sick. You know what? If I, if I was Gordon Freeman, I would say, hell yeah, Alex. I would motivate, I you know? Oh, that's cool. Dude. Whoa, Zombines? Is that really a thing in this game? Is that getting up? No, no, something came down the hallway. Oh, okay. All right, Zombines, let's do it. You gotta shoot them in the head. It's the only way. Okay, let's do it. Zombines. Zombine. Wait, can you really play as, wait, can you really play as Mario and Luigi in NBA Street? I, I, even if someone's fucking with me, I, I gotta research that. I, Someone said that. Hold on. I think you can. NBA Street, Mario. If so, I'm playing that. No way. What the fuck? Hold on, I'm looking this up. 
Yeah, on the GameCube version, huh? What the fuck? Whoa. All stars? Dude, did LeBron James just dunk on Peach? Dude, you got. Dude, Peach just got posterized. Oh, okay, I gotta play this. NBA Street 3. I, <laughs> hey, take a look at this, everyone. Just, uh, like, yeah, take click that link for a second. It's Mario, Peach, Luigi, and NBA Street. Uh, that, how do you unlock that? Hold on. NBA Street. Real fast, I'm going to Game Facts in the middle of the stream. You know, it's very, very important. Uh, that's crazy. NBA Street V3. I'm looking that up because I'm. If so, I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna bring that in. I gotta I gotta I gotta wow. play that. Wow. Is there cheats for that? How do you unlock that? Unlockables. Oh. Legends. Colors. You gotta complete the street challenges. Okay. Wow. The Beastie Boys are in there too. Whoa. Okay. Wow. Okay. Wow. Damn. Looks like I gotta start playing that game. Grilled Cheese Daddy. Thank you for subbing. All right. There you go. Grilled Cheese Daddy. Subscribe. Oh, Grilled yeah. Cheese Daddy. Thank you so much. Awesome. Damn, well, I'm so happy I learned. See, every time I stream, I learn something. All right. No, woke up dead. Yes, thank you for bringing up EA Sports Big. We wouldn't have found that. All right. Dude, how awesome. Damn it. I wish my flashlight was in there. Frank, you can also play as Mario in SSX on tour, so we got to play that. Is it not? I never played on tour. Well, we'll play it on Big Dogs or something. Damn. Did I still need to play Dude, SSX? Music. Yeah, now you can chase, which is kind of cool. Dude, you can also play as Mario and Peach in fucking Mario Party. And Smash Bros. Damn it! Oh! You can play as Daisy. Oh shit. Alright, I'm getting all crowbar. fucked up. Yeah. <laughs> I don't have the crowbar yet. 16 health. Alright. Music. This whole game's been, been fucking stupid ass physics puzzles and throwing. And now it's Half Life. Yeah, now it's Half Life. Oh, I like that you can see the grenades from far away. Cool. Are you still there? Yeah, I'm still here, Alex. You didn't help me out. Fuck. Oh my god! Have that flashlight. Alright, six health. I'll, I'll probably just reload, but I wanna see if I can find some health. Because I don't want to quick save with six health. Exactly. If this is, yeah, uh, that's not enough. I'm very picky. I know what you mean. Oh, it's one of them blows. Oh, Jordan Jones says you can play as Mario in Super Mario 64. Hell yeah, dude. I heard you can play as Luigi. Ugh. Alex is like blocking me. All right, I'll take that. I'm, dude, I hate how limited this flashlight is. I know. Oh, uh, whoa, bro! Oh, there's flares in the ground. That's cool. Boom! Hell yeah! Now we can see. Dangerous perp. I haven't had a chance to watch Wrestle Kingdom yet. I'm in uh, Elder Bay. Damn it, now they have the fucking poison. Those ones suck ass, the poison head crabs. Yeah. They suck. They're not cool. Oh, I missed the flare right here. Is this, yeah, I think yes. I need to go in there. Yeah, yeah. But I just want to see if there's any other things to collect. Any other health? Nope, nope, nope. Okay, that's fine. Alright, cool. Damn it, fucking wait. I just want to see if there's anything up here. Oh! I feel like there's gotta be some shit in there. Oh my god, my fucking. Oh yeah, I can just do this. No, that sucks. Alright, it's real fast. Am I rewarded? Nope. Alright, well, you know what? I tried. Guys, you can't be mad at me for trying. Mm -mm. Ace Combat 7 comes out in a week or so, yeah, so it's been lucky. Oh, fuck. Oh! Some prey shit. Oh, yeah, 100%. That's exactly what I got from. Damn it, that's... Right. But I mean, that's they said it was like a spiritual successor. It's just some shock. Yeah, Prey, Prey is off. Fuck. I hate the poison ones. Prey kicks ass. I really yeah. like that game. Now that, now that I have a pro, I kind of want to play Prey on the oh, yeah. pro. Yeah. yeah, the frame rate will definitely be better. Oh my gosh, there's more. That's right. The head crab sucks because you get bit by the poison one, your health get drops to zero, but then it regenerates. So, so it, it's kind of scary. Oh, full health. All right, I'm going to save. A little bit better than Lester than likely. We're doing good. All right. I'm excited for Crackdown 3. I, it, I, yeah. I, Crackdown 3 is going to be pretty fun. I, I love February. the original Crackdown. Yeah. On 360 going over to Eric's house and watching him just like kick people off the roof and shit. Just for sure shot. Yeah, you're already on it. Did this uh, come out before or after Starship Troopers? Starship Troopers is nine. Play the moon 
crash DLC for Prey? No, I didn't. That looks like it. Oh, wait, I wonder if I can do this. Probably. Yep, that's awesome. That's cool. Yeah. Anthem also comes out this year. That looks pretty good. Yeah, we'll, we'll have early access to that because of EA uh, Game Pass or whatever oh, it's called. Right. So we'll, we'll try to alpha whenever that's available. I gotta hold this up for so long. Oh yeah, new Animal Crossing comes out this year. Is that really? I don't think it's not coming out this year. I don't think they've announced it. Like they announced that they're working on, but they haven't given. It. Oh. Okay. Yeah. Again, like fuck, guys. Again, change the conversation. If they haven't announced a date, don't expect it coming out this year. Like. That's that's a really good thing to, to keep in mind. Yeah. Like I feel like that's how like playground rumor shit we get. To. It's like no, like they yeah they're working on it. They haven't said it's coming out this year. And if, it, and if it comes out, great. Like, I always love being proved wrong, but it's like, don't... I, I think that's what it is. I just get annoyed when people pass off, like, this is coming out this year. No, no it's not. Like, like again, no no offense, but anyone, the person who said, like, Last of Us, can't wait for that this year, it's, it's not coming out this year. And again, if it gets announced, great. But, yeah. like, fuck, like, uh, I don't know. They said they... I think what it is, I don't, I don't want any of my streams to be a platform for spreading false information. Again, it's as innocent as it is. It was just like, oh, hold on, like... Yeah. Yeah, like, I think it's cool to fact check. Like, let's, you know. Guys, I, I care very much about video games. That's why I had to check if, if Mario and Luigi were in NBA Street 3. That sounded like some playground shit. I'm very happy that that's true. Yeah, if Death Stranding, I don't even, I don't even expect Death Stranding to come out in 2020. Yeah. Maybe March 2021. I could totally see it, like. I could see it coming out next year. Like, if they can push it. Because they've been in development on it for, like, six years. Yeah, but, yeah, and they did show some gameplay. But, yeah, like, even that, it's like, like, oh, I will be surprised if it comes out in 2020. Yeah. I mean, that whole thing with Konami went down in 2015. So, yeah, it's been, like, four years development, three, four years development. But yeah, again, these are Paul Thomas Anderson directing a film that's an art house film version of a video game. Yeah. This isn't Marvel yeah, movies. It's also like Sony, like they're gonna let him take as long as like it's like, oh yeah, 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 yeah. Like Yeah, so it's it's not Konami pressuring him anymore. It's like yeah, he can take as long as he wants. Exactly. Okay, yeah, so m multiple people in the chat said that the, the teaser said Oh, really? Fuck yeah. All right, good to know. And Nintendo's usually pretty accurate with their... Reviews. Jesus, I can't believe it. All right, that's all. Well, again, also, yeah, it's 2019. It seems so far away. Yeah, but you and I also have yeah. no pulse on the fucking Animal Crossing. No, I don't care about it, yeah. I mean, I, I love playing it with awesome. people, but I don't play it by myself. Fuck yeah. All right, well, there you go. Guys, we did it. We figured it out. 2019. Yeah. I think that's also the thing where it's like, I don't, I don't, I don't want to get invested in another Animal Crossing. Right. Yeah. Half-Life 3, 2019. Yeah, I want to switch topics. Hill of Cloners bringing up, I remember the GTA, San Andreas, Bigfoot rumor. Hey, guys, I was on GameFAQs back then. I was a fucking kid who wasted so many afternoons thinking he could find, like, yeah, I, I'm sure other people did too. I remember being on GameFAQs, like, looking at screenshots that people took on their cell phones. Uh, Jesus. Yeah, guys, don't you know if you, like, play a hundred token match in uh, Smash Brothers and play a Sonic. so hard if Kingdom Hearts 3 was delayed. I think at this point, they, they gotta just be doing bug testing, right? Right? Like, Doesn't I it come out like April? or when's It, it come comes out? out in like two weeks. It oh, comes so out like then it has right, to, yeah. The, right yeah. after yeah. Uh, Resident Evil. So I don't, I, it's like, no, I don't care. All I want to play is Resident Evil 2. Oh, it's, right. See, this is fun. This is just like getting new half. I mean, 
It is. This is new half. Yeah, it is it's, new, it's, it's, it's for exactly me. Yeah, it's new for me. Half-life. It's like, oh, this is awesome. You this just is fucking cool. It this yet. is fucking awesome. Like, I'm so happy right now. The opening stuff was like, all right, whatever. But this is like, this, this, this is, is just half life. This is new half life yeah. for me. I'm loving it. I love it. So I like I like pushing the car on top of uh, portals. Like that's cool as hell. Oh yeah. That's it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Plug one. Oh, bro. Okay. Oh, cool. That's really what the mechanic is of this fight. Is yeah, just getting all these cars and pushing them down. Can't you also? Oh wait, do you have grenades in this game? Oh yeah, uh, not here. But that's how you do it in uh, in, in Half Life Two. Yeah, you throw grenades in the hole. But here for this fight, you're supposed to uh, push. Oh, you know what? I should probably am supposed to be killing these two. But just doing the car thing. Yeah, it won't let me until I fuck. Oh, keep fine. Oh, teaser. They knew. They knew. Steam exclusive. Okay. Oh, you get killed by these. are so fucking annoying. Great, got that. Oh, uh, let me see. Oh, there's one under that uh, ramp to your left. Perfect. Let's go wait, where? Where's the, oh, do you know where the car is? Oh, oh, uh. No, that's probably upstairs. Oh, yeah. Uh, probably, yep. Even further. This looks like, remember that last level in Tony Hawk American Wasteland? It does. Oh. That's where we got the idea from. Tony is that some Joker Hawk fan art? Tony Hawk Wasteland. You're supposed to open the gate on the second level, or is it that car there? Oh. Get some ammo over here. Someone's saying is the audio and video out of sync? Everyone else, we are playing these with like actual speakers, so and I think I keep my speakers louder, like physically. Fuck. There's only him anyways. So right yeah. Uh, so everybody else is fine. Yeah. Yeah. So there's like a pinch, but there we go. You're right. Fuck. Oi. I am not familiar with Ray, Ray Sipe Lady Gaga. I am familiar with Lady Gaga, but not Ray Sipe Lady Gaga. Uh, I would imagine it's that guy Ray Sipe performing as Lady Gaga. Which is kind of a big alarm. I love it. I love detail. Uh, okay, just to... Fuck! Oh, this is awesome. But this this area does have a lot of health and a lot of like ammo pickups. So yeah, you can hurt the after dogs. yeah afterwards. Uh, okay, now I can click on my goodies. Now I can go- oh, I like that they're still coming up and you can hear that. That's very- yeah, okay, cool. Alright, now I'm gonna collect all my toys. Got some help there. Don't care. Oh yeah. Cool. That's what it's called. People say they like race sight. Cool. Ooh, golly palm is in yeah, if you're if 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 you're watching like passively, feel free to say hello. I, I always like saying new names oh, in the yeah. chat. I know there's a lot of people who I mean we have 88 viewers right now, so a lot of you oh, are, cool. are just sitting there Welcome. not not being active in the chat. We're happy you're here. And that's too. great too. And then again, I get messages from people who watch it on YouTube. And honestly, even if you watch this stream a year later, two years later, fucking feel free to message me. Yeah, I think that's fascinating. All, all these streams too get are uploaded to the Make Store Archives channel. Exactly. So So like and again, if you're commenting on it, your chat is on the YouTube upload, like I don't know, that's why I say like you guys are a part of the show. Yeah. Uh, Golly Pond says hi, Frank and Brian, long time watcher and first time watcher. So ooh, thank you for cool. contributing this time thank too. You. Uh, woke up dead four hundred said I wasn't awesome. active in the chat until a few oh, months ago. Oh, well, I love hearing from Again, you. Woke up dead. We love that you're active in the chat. Yeah. Whether whether you are or not doesn't makes us happy yeah. that you're here. Yeah. But we love to see your guys' names, so we can give you a shout out. G Manners, yeah. thank you so much. Shady R. Oh, G Manners here. Hero Pat TV. Hero Pat TV. Top Puso. Lawrence the Kid is always. Hero Pat TV said. Arc Right. Bird Not. Dildonius, which is one of my I love Dildonius. That sounds like a Guar character. Yeah. Dildonius. In between jobs. Oh, shouts yeah, out. Yeah. Or I'm between jobs. Hell yeah. Mark the champ. Market. Oh, Mark the. I keep reading it as Market. Yeah, yeah, Mark the champ. Market Heat Champ. Market Heat Champ. Market Heat Champ. I used to love doing shit like that. Oh, like reading yeah. Words, mispronouncing. Or yeah. reading words within the words. 
like theaters, there's like the the eighters. I was a kid. I remember yeah. reading shit like that. Yeah. Oh yeah, Jesus. It's like Bugs Bunny shit. Yeah. Oh f- yeah. I, yep. I know exactly what you're talking about. Spuzz oh Bay, yeah, of course. Perfect. Yeah. You're lucky you've got that hazard. Haha. <laughs> yeah, it was poo water. Poo water, dude. Ew, dude. Septic five. Oh, drink it. Ooh, that graphics. Look, that's fucking actually rad. He looks cute. I don't have a crowbar. Nope. Look, how, look at that smile. Look at that. He's handsome. Army Dan. What yeah. was the name that I had for me? Bobby Poopface. Alex, get out the effing way. I don't know why, but I just think I want to like blow this up. One of my favorite things to do. Alex. In uh, in Red Dead is once I clear whatever I do, I pick up every single character, and if there's a fire, I just throw them all on the fire. I oh, heard Alex, stop moving! Every the, single I'm trying to up. fucking put the crate. Down. I don't even need to. Well, no, I, I, I want to do a science experiment. Put the crate here and shoot it. Alex, keep knocking it down for whatever reason. Oh my gosh. Okay, that's why I hate AR part. It keeps rolling off the barrel. All right, nothing happened. All right, I wanted to try it. Now I know. I guess I think that's what you were supposed to do. No, because you can, you can go here, but I just wanted to see what would happen. Because I wasn't sure, like, at first, like, oh, if you blow that up, what happened? What she shoot? Oh, she opens the door. They're just waking up. Oh, now, yeah. Oh, where's my uh, shotgun? Kip, oh, shoot. Kip wants oh, to know what oh, you okay. Horn dogs with documentary on half life. Oh, it was awesome. It was fucking awesome. Fuck! Fuck! Alright, I died. Oh, yeah. Uh, I watched every no-clip documentary, I love Nina Dwyer. Um, yeah, I thought it was funny. It was just in the zeitgeist collectively. Because like, I had started playing Half-Life, Blue Shift, and the Opposing Force on this stream. And then, yeah, coincidentally, it was the 20-year anniversary. Dan Edward did his, and that made me scratch to even play. That made me itch to play uh, this even more. Uh, yeah, again, if you don't f check, if you don't follow Dan Edward, uh check out his no clip. He's awesome. He supports the Mega Four Patreon also. He's a super cool guy. I really look up to him. Uh, Dan Edward kicks ass. Yeah, and his, his documentaries are incredible. Uh, and he's starting a weekly podcast with like kind of the Mark Marin uh, format. He's gonna be interviewing someone from game uh, the game industry every single week. I think. Uh, yeah, I don't know what it's launching. He he he. Yeah, I'm, I'm very excited. Yeah, the Android is great. Oh. Perfect. I have not checked out the Netflix doc Shirkers. I didn't even know that was a uh, documentary. I've seen the poster and it looks cool. What is Shirkers about? I don't know what Shirkers is. But I've seen a few critics I follow uh, recommend. It. Yeah. There's a lot to stay abreast with, so it's really hard. Uh, there is Civil War on uh, Netflix in HD, so I think I'm finally going to watch the, the uh, Ken Burns Civil War. Uh, Ken Burns' Vietnam War was one of the best films I saw last year, uh, and it gave me so much, like, context for U.S. political history that I'm, I'm excited to watch the Civil War. And then after the Civil War, I'll watch Deadwood. That would be perfect. I'm really excited for you to watch Deadwood. Mm -hmm. uh, Gollipon, thank you. He says, I'm planning on watching these streams more. I'm oh. hoping I'll catch the bumper I made a few years ago on here someday. Oh, a few years ago. Oh, dang. Well, hopefully they got it. Otherwise, send it uh, again. Feel free to tweet at them again. I'm not in control of the bumpers. If it was years ago, then I don't think it's still on there. It, feel free to just tweet at them again and be like, hey, use the bumper. It's highly likely that it was registered and then, like, popped into a folder somewhere where we haven't looked at it since. Yeah. Uh, I know Rock is in charge of all of, yeah. of that. But, yeah, feel free to uh, tweet at them and be like, hey, here's the bumper I made. Um, I also know Rocco cycles them out, so feel free to, yeah, message me. I have seen Wild Wild Country. I loved Wild Wild Country. I'm way into cults. And again, also, I really like, like, I really am fascinated by, like, ethnic identity and cultural identity. So the film goes, like, touches with, like, Indian Americans, and, like, it's such a specific story. And I, I thought it was so cool. Wild Wild Country is really fucking cool. Uh, it's on Netflix. It's about, like, a, a, a like a, an Indian... No. Dude, it's, it's like, even... It classified, but it's a it's a it's a it's a sex cult in Oregon in the 80s. Uh, but they kind of came. They were in Oregon, which was like mostly white, and there was this kind of battle, and it's like crazy. They poison everyone in the city. Like it's it's fucking rad. Yeah, check it out. Yeah, Guru, the bag the bag the Bhagwan. It, it kicks ass. Oh, I can see why you read it as market, because in the on the screen. Yeah, I can it's see his market. Lowercase. That's what it is, yeah. Yeah, on, uh, on the actual chat, it's yeah. written correctly, Mark the Champ. Yeah. Because I read it, and I was like, oh, Mark it, new name. Nope. Yep. But Mark. he says Danny O'Dwyer does also do a Formula One oh, podcast. Oh, my God, yeah. Podcast, so. 
I'm gonna you're into that. I'm gonna make our a pinch smaller. Damn. Here? Yeah, I'm still here. Yeah. yeah dog. Fuck, my God. flashlight. I'm like almost tempted to look up a cheat to make my flashlight infinite, but I'm okay. But it's just like fuck. It's such an annoying. Like, yeah. Thing. So I, got, I ain't got time for that. It's called Shift F1. Yeah. He does it with uh, Drew oh, Scanlon, also former yeah. Apple. Oh, I need another water. Yeah, go for it. Need anything? No, I'll do the thing. I need a fucking flat battery for this flashlight. Oh, oh. oh. oh my god. Alright, I gotta wait. Skylar Yaz here, welcome. Yeah. Someone watched Dave Sean grow old. Jordan watched it. Market the champ. I love Market the Champ. Alright, waiting for my FN. How long was Lester? Dude, we beat Lester in like 20 minutes. Oh, fuck. Oh, this is like this low battery time. I bet. I bet there's a. Uh... Oh, fuck. Nope. Fuck. This is so frustrating. Thank you. There you go, I got the light. I, I knew there would be a light somewhere. Did my game crash? We're good. Hey, Holy shit. We got it. Let me know too if, if the game audio is too loud or quiet. I honest, I haven't checked or asked the whole stream, so I hope you guys can hear me. Uh, I'm assuming you guys can hear me. How terrifying would it be if no one could hear you? I did see spy. Okay, cool. Uh, Kip the Sungler asks, oh, I'm gonna die probably, because the grenade is on me. Uh, I did see Spider-Verse. It was great. It was it was really good. I normally don't care for A, superhero movies, B, animated, like, family comedies or whatever. This was great. It was really good. I mean, it's it's Phil Lord and Chris Miller who produced it. Uh, yeah, it was clever and fun. I really liked it. And then I beat Spider-Man, like, the same week. So, yeah, it was very good. Um, I'll watch a sequel if they do one. I'd like to see a Spider-Verse game, like, if they do the Spider-Man, but in that art style. But, yeah, it was, it was fun. On stream, no one can hear you scream. I did see the Clone High reference, and there was also a Shaun of the Dead reference. This guy with the grenade sucks ass. Fuck! God damn it. Weird. Oh. <sighs> Thank you so much, Mark. Mark the champ. Yeah, uh, we really. I don't know. I feel like the whole the, I, my whole mentality with streaming is it's like the equivalent of inviting friends over to play dumb video games. Like that's what I did as a kid, and, and I like passing that. Ex Fuck, this is so frustrating. Uh, I'm gonna get out of this room. How about that? That sounds like a way better idea. Um, yeah, I look at it. I look at streaming as like inviting friends over to play some video games. And the chat, effectively, is my friends in the room with me playing these video games. So, yeah. Um, that's, that's how I do it. And I think, too, like, I like that the chat is good. Everyone's pretty chill. And so even if there's stretches where, like, I need to focus on gameplay, like, right now, because I keep dying and my flashlight sucks, uh, I know that the chat will enjoy just watching me play without me having to constantly talk and build that air. The, the flashlight thing sucks, but that's how the game is designed, so I won't put a cheat. I need to find more flares. Dude, that's why. I'm, I'm a dummy. I'm not a dummy. Alex died? That can be a fail state in this game? I never knew that. Oh my god. It's so cool. I won't pass the controller. I'm, I'm tired. I'll keep streaming. Oh, you know what? This part's frustrating. I'm gonna, eat. I'm gonna finish my burrito real fast. I'm gonna finish my burrito on stream. Very, very important. Alright, I'm getting fuel. This is gamer fuel. Hmm? Guys, we're eating, eating a burrito.
California burrito. M is a new, uh, new, new name. Snack Plaskin. That's a name I haven't seen in a while. I did spill my burrito. All right. Uh, Louie M is here. Uh, someone in the chat asked if I saw Gabe Newell, what would you ask him? I'd be like, hey, Gabe Newell, can I do an interview with you? I was on the spot and I did an interview. Hey, it's Frank with Neighborhood Game Club. I'm here with Gabe Newell. Look, everyone asked you about Half-Life Episode 3. I want to ask about that. I want to ask you, what are some of the first-person shooters that inspired you while making Half-Life 1? Were you a big Doom guy? Was there? Were, did you look at other games? Like, what What was your influence for Half-Life 1? Yeah. Uh, my influences were I wanted to create a game that people could immerse themselves in. And uh, I'm Gabe Newell. Can you give me free Steam games? I uh, can, but that's not up to me. Alright, thanks so much. <laughs> uh, any update on my Anime LA plans? I'm not sure. Uh, if I end up going, I'll probably tweet, and then feel free to DM me, and we can maybe meet up somewhere in the arcade room or some shit. I don't yeah, know. That'd be cool. Yeah, I don't know for sure yet, but if I decide to go to Anime LA, I'll tweet about it. Hell uh, oh yeah. Somebody earlier asked how you grow a good mustache. Don't cut it. Damn. You I, don't, like, I really don't know how to tell you. Like, don't cut it. Don't give up. That's it. All right, back into it. I need a burrito. This part was fucking so frustrating. Alex died. Like, that's there was a fail state. It said Alex died. Really? Yep. Because you were just like... Whoa! Whoa! Who threw a brick at Alex? That's not cool. Back. Okay, I'm going to save. It was that one zombie with the, uh... Shine your light on that thing. Yeah, I'll shine the light. Shut up. Uh... Where's that up? It was... Fuck! Cinder so blocks to the cranium. Up. That's how she died. Oh, I hate this! This part <laughs> sucks. The fucking flashlight sucks. I wish I could upgrade my flashlight. Whoa, it need him in the nuts. Just fucking need him in the nuts. Oh, yeah. Flesk desk, I don't... Did Gabe Newell actually like hunt sharks with a knife? That doesn't seem like something that sounds cool. He seems like a pacifist, honestly. I'm Gabe Newell. He is someone who played a lot of WoW. There's a picture of Gabe Newell playing World of Warcraft on like a massive HD TV. Really? Yeah. Uh, I mean, that's not surprising. Yeah. Gabe Newell was really cool. Ha! Nice. Zombie Q. Yeah, he has a knives collection. Oh, does he? Yeah. That's cool. N knives are fun, but then, like, at a certain point, it's like, yep. There it is. I'm Gabe Newell. Uh, there's a sharp point. Or there's a sharp part that cuts. Or there's a point. Dude, there's so many fucking zombies all of a sudden. That's about it. There's so many zombies. Oh, I'm out of ammo. Uh, oh, okay. There's hit markers, so I am shooting something. No, get away, bro. Get away. Don't pull out a fucking grenade. Oh, I told you not to do that! Fuck! Fuck. <clears throat> oh, I wonder if, like, I'm supposed to... It, she did mention an elevator. Gravity gun. 
Yeah. But I wonder if I'm supposed to, like... Oh, I am supposed to just leave. Okay. Because I was like, yeah, why is this shit so hard? All right, later, Alex. Don't care. Yeah, okay, there was some spawn infinitely. Oh. Holy shit. Yeah, I was like, this is not how it was. Yeah. Ooh, that's cool. I got an achievement. Actually, I'm gonna read. I'm gonna read what the achievement was. Guys. I just have the achievement called Elevator Action. Make it to the bottom of Citadel's main elevator shaft. Okay. Oh, survive long enough to get in the parking garage elevator. Okay, great. Uh, my first achievement for this game was January 5th, 2010. <laughs> it's a... So, so uh, nine years later, uh, getting some more achievements. There you go. Chivo boys. Hell yeah. How, how you doing? Do you got to take off or are you still good? Oh, no, I'm good. Okay, okay. I'm, having, I'm having fun. I hope it's still light out. <clears throat> get away, bro. Is that a high school down there with the hose? <laughs> Hell yeah. Look at some cool band posters. Thank God. It's still day. Are we going into city 17? Oh, good, good pacing. Any deep cut recommendations for spy slash detective films? I'm trying to think of anything that wouldn't. Oh, man. Damn. I know, like, good detective comics. Uh, spy films. I know. I've never really been too into that kind of shit. I mean, like. If you haven't seen the original Mission Impossible, it's fucking awesome. It's Brian De Palma. Oh, dude, it's great. Yeah. You have to see it. Um, yeah. Those phones haven't worked in years. Oh, hell yeah. Yo, millennials doing... Don't... <laughs> Yo, what, what is this, Brian? Brian, what is this? What is this sci-fi shit? It's like a giant iPhone? What the fuck is that? What is that, dude? Is How that... do you dial out? Is this like an iPhone charging station? Where's the actual phone? How do I use the Facebook app? What is this, dog? What does it mean, phone? Phone? Like iPhone? Hold on, there must be some way to what, is, what is this? What is this? I don't understand. Oh yeah, Leon the professional, I guess. Oh, oh yeah. All right, Alex. What are we supposed to do? Oh, you can throw away the trash. I appreciate that. Damn, dude, we almost made it out alive, but we were foiled by this fucking gate. I wonder if it's still around here somewhere. Are you kidding me? What a stupid puzzle. What does she need? She needs this crank. That's it. See if the crank still works. I'm trying to put this crank on, dog, but it won't let me call anyone. Yeah, what if I try that? No? I, I, Alex, I don't know what you just want me to do with this crank. It's not it's not letting me call anybody. What if I put the crank on the trash can? No? Why isn't it? I don't understand. This game is broken. I can't believe they released a broken game. Crank call. That's. <laughs> Hila Cloner, thank you so much. I appreciate that. Wait. Okay. Let's get to the train yard before the Citadel blows. <laughs> Alex, you better run here. All right, Alex, go make it. Take a sweet ass time. I'm gonna take this phone with me. Just, you know, you never know when you need to call a friend. That's a pretty shot. That's cool. Oh looks like that looks cool as shit. Oh, then the Striders. Fuck yeah. Hell yeah, this is cool. This is what I'm into. Yeah, again, the game I've still looks so fucking good. Thanks again, everyone, for watching. Yeah. Seven, seven seven viewers. Viewers. Alright, Alex, where do we go? I'm falling. Fuck, dude, she's falling. Yeah, no worries. Uh, probably this. Still, I cannot overstate how important oh, I'm probably supposed to watch this whole, whole fucking our thing. Humanity. Only this will allow us to hold together as we must for their inevitable return and what is certain to be unimaginable retaliation. So, no, right yes, if you missed any part of this message, it will loop repeatedly until there is no point in looping it any longer. 
Is this like the original area you walked in the first one? No, I mean this is like the city, but this is a new environment, okay. like this specific, yeah. What's that, Eli? But yeah, when you get off the train in Half-Life 2, you see this giant thing, this that's where Breed is like. This has been Dr. Isaac Kleiner, formerly of Black Mesa, now simply a citizen, like all of you of Earth. Let me just add to all those who can hear me now, as we struggle out of the shadow of our malefactors, welcome back to the light. Hell yeah. Now, where did I put that calculator? <laughs> what a nerd. That's cool. Alright. Alright, Alex. Here we go. Careful, Lamar. Oh my These God. lamps are quite hot. <coughs> Is this on? Yes. Alright, where do we go? Let's go. So we come out of here. Ew, I don't want to go in that car again. Alright, we got it. No, I think yeah. yeah. Oh no! That's right. Probably us. Yikes. Busted. Yeah, dude, anarchy. Slammed on the thing. Oh, oh. The building falls. Yeah. So don't. Oh wait. That's cool though. Woke up dead. Four hundred. Just got pizza. That's fucking. Dude, I'm Woo! jealous. That's all. I love pizza. That's how Brian and I celebrated New Year's. We ordered pizza. Yeah, that's incredible. Yeah. Who's this? Friend. Yeah. Oh yeah, in the original Half-Life, or in Half-Life 2, you get AI people who will follow you. Oh, that's What a right. shitty parking job. Alright, there we go. Oh, fuck yeah, that sounds good. Yeah, I remember when X-Play reviewed this game. <laughs> I gave this game a 5. Out of 5. Oh, you gotta... Yeah, yeah, yeah. You gotta cover up the hole! Oi! Cover it up with a hole. Oh, I'm trying to cover up the hole. Yeah. Okay, I'll, I'll take it. Nice. <clears throat> Remember when x would give every anime game a 1 out of 5? Damn. I never cared for their ratings. Yeah, I feel like... Yeah, again, like, it's a review score. It's just like, oh, sh uh, X-Play was legitimately cool because it's just every week it's they just showed new gameplay footage of stuff. And yeah. Like, okay, cool. And they would make jokes on it and riff on it, and it was cool. The score itself didn't matter. You knew if you wanted to play a game or not. Like, they reviewed Dynasty Wars and probably gave it a 2 out of 5, but I loved, you know, it's just like, okay, cool. Just, yeah. show, me, just show me cool games. And for the time, that was before YouTube, so it was great. I really liked it. Legitimately, yeah. Judgment Day. Right? That's what it was called? What? Was that, another, was that Tommy Tallarica's thing? Yeah. Oh, wow. Judgment Day. I don't know because I keep There's an like, electronic playground, but I think there was another thing. Yeah, so maybe. Yeah. That sounds familiar. There's electronic. Yeah, no, yeah I, 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 I just can't here. remember if that was the joke we made of the name or if that was the actual name of the show. <laughs> I think the I think the show we made. Oh, no, because Mega 64. Night. Yes, they did yeah. a skit where Derek played Tommy Tallarico. Yeah. Yeah. So, so yeah, so Judgment. Judgment Day was the actual show, and I felt like that did a really good job of legitimately reviewing the games and the mechanics of the game, and they talk about, like, certain features, and they break it down. Um, but, yeah, I feel like I feel like everything else on that channel otherwise was just, like, pandering to yeah. the industry. This is cheat! Why don't we show you cheat codes? They had an American Idol contestant post a show called Cheat. Oh, that was cool, actually, because yeah. I learned a lot of cheat codes there. Yeah. 
Damn. Damn. Remember the fucking Half-Life 2 episode of Cheat. Alright, Alex. What yeah. else do we need to do? Like, oh. cover, cover up the holes. Cheeto's here. Rob Smith is here? Yeah, he Where said Judgment Day was what Fuck yeah. I turned Welcome, into. Welcome, Rob. How's it going? Dude, thank you. Coming in with the knowledge. Hell yeah. Mm -hmm. Alright, where do we... Oh, no. Okay, I covered up the cars. Or I covered up the holes with cars. No, I want I you to follow me. does make a good point. The E3 coverage from G4 back in the day was really good. Like, it was nice. They had, like, floor coverage. It was so much more cohesive yeah. and, like... Bunny hops, oh, yeah. You know? Now there's just, like, you just follow whoever your favorite person is and they'll give you their report. Why can't I... Oh, fuck. I never... I, never, I didn't press E on the door. I was, like, shooting it, like, thinking... I just never... Oh, oh Frank. All right. Oh. Excellent pod. Extravagant pod. Dude, somebody posted that on the subreddit. D like fucking the will I am cut together. All the all the choice phrases he makes. Yeah. If you don't follow the Mega Sixty Four subreddit, yeah. uh, subscribe. It's fun. I'm on there from time to time, popping in, letting people know that it's actually me uh, when they think they're talking to a fan, which is great. Uh, but yeah, somebody posted a nice cut together clip of all of the uh, yeah, Will I Am Will I Am is. Isms, yeah. And man, this fire is just eternal. I right? think okay. somebody somebody left a comment that I felt perfectly encapsulated it. That was just you think the boys are embellishing how you know how moronic he sounds, or they make it up and they like really put like you know put put it on that he's dumber than he actually is. And then you watch this video and you realize no, he's just he's just not he's like really uh, oh, we gotta do fucking another physics puzzle. Oh, no, Alright, this I, is the bread and butter of I think you can move oh, the yeah. whole thing as oh no yeah, it's got, yeah, 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 just do some physics. All about right. it, dude. All about physics, y'all. This is the this is what half life is made of. Gotta get some chairs. All about the physics puzzle. Hi kids, I'm gonna come all over do some physics puzzles. Just take the body. Yeah. I wish it doesn't let you do that. It didn't? Nope. I thought you could move nope, bodies. Nope, nope, not in this game. What? I think Thank you, all. Jordan Jones, for linking the uh, subreddit. Oh, boom. Here's a big ass chunk of rock. It's a damn ass rock. I put this gay ass damn ass rock. Want me to piss on it, dude? This is a fucking gay ass damn ass rock. All what? Right. Oh, you need the fucking water heater. Uh, probably. Jumping. Damn dog. Fuck. Alright, we're gonna figure this out together. Any in the chat? No, oh, let's see. Uh, Rum Squall saying Craig, Craig Leeson's uh, career is popping off. Hell yeah. Glad to hear that. Oh, it's insane. It's it's like uh, over 120k. Says you can hop it. Wait, really? Right. Yeah. Alright, I put a lot of physics on here. It looks pretty good. I messed up my physics, dog. Wait, where am I actually too late? Is the rock even on the bar? Oh, wait. Let me see. Oh, damn. Neither is the other. What kind of the other chair? And yeah, you could put it further back. <laughs> well, let's see. Let's see. See, I, I, there has to be like another solution to this, but you know, I feel like it's pretty good so far. Oh, okay, cool. That worked. And then I turn off the fire. Jeez, why was that the hardest puzzle in the game? All right. Thanks, Alex. Appreciate it. All right. Craig did a Primus poster that sold yeah. out. Dude, all of Craig's shit sold out. Yep. All of Craig's shit sells out. Yep. Craig himself is not a sellout. It's true. He's and a, even he's if a he hard was, working genius. He fucking deserves it because he's a hardworking artist. Yep. If you guys don't follow Craig Gleason, follow Craig Gleason. I, I own, proudly own, a, a piece of actual Craig Leeson art that he, uh, that he hand-painted. Hell yeah. Um, and I'm happy to. Honestly, like, support your friends, especially if they're artists, but just support them in the stuff that they do. Like, 
I, I see that, and I, I mean, at the time he had like 10,000 followers oh on my Twitter God. or on Tumblr. Instagram. Instagram. Jesus yeah. Christ. And uh, and now he's got what? Close to 100,000 or something? Over. Uh, over he's 100, like 118K, 000? I think. Which is like well deserved. Like yep. that dude is a hardworking artist. He's he's really fair. He's really fair with people. Yeah. And like he really tries to do his best to make some uh, simple stuff. So I wanted to support his his uh, his stuff. And later on down the line, when people revere him for all of his work, like boom, first of all, supported him when he was younger. Yep. Oh and shit. And two, I got some I got some original piece ass of work. Oh yeah, I can shoot those down, those will automatically like attack. Oh shit. Gross Lane shouts out. He says I have a Craig Gleason tattoo. The ghoul no way! Okay, that's incredible. Dude, yeah. let him know if you haven't already. Yeah. He loves what Yeah, I bet I bet that. he's already at yeah, Craig always like retweets yeah. on Instagram. He really, like, really loves awesome. to see how other people interpret yep. his work, even if it's not one to one his. He yeah. prefers that. He loves yeah. people's takes. Please. That's oh cool. yeah, so good you sent it to him. Um how did we meet Craig. I met him through Frank. Yeah, he uh, went to my high school. Uh, and he was, I think, one year older than me. I was, like, one of the only other people at school who listened to Devo along with my friend Evan. So we just bonded over, like, our love of, like, for, like, Joel Biafra, Devo, and just, like, goofy, weird 90s shit. Mm -hmm. uh, in, in Rancho San Margarita, I just needed people to make videos with, and Craig was always down. Again, he was, like, such a creative genius that, like, at a young age. Yeah. He was always down to make stuff and pitching. He would always pitch great ideas, like... Super fucking smart. Again, like, he's just... He's a genius. And so, yeah, we made a bunch of silly little videos together. Uh, and then, eventually, he moved to Arizona. And then, moving to Arizona, like, he just found this art scene and him and his brother. And, like, they just flourished. Uh, so, yeah. But, yeah, he used to have a punk band called the McDaniels. They used to go to his shows. Wild. It was awesome. Yeah, Craig, Craig kicks ass. Uh, right now, um, I'm linking, if you don't already, uh, all of Frank's uh, YouTube... Sorry, I'm trying to type and talk yeah, at the same yeah. time. Frank's vids with Craig. Uh, so this is Frank's entire channel where you can see videos. Yeah, if you go to my shorts and sketches playlist, uh, my favorite video with Craig, we did a video, I think it's just called Juggalo Riders. We did like a Juggalo rap uh, in Craig's bas backyard set to the Crash Bandicoot theme song, which is good. Is that the video you showed me last week? I think so, yeah. Yeah, that was a great video. That's a very good video. All right, new puzzle. So I need to get this ladder down somehow. He also did the summer semester shirt, if you yeah. saw that. Uh, that's one of my favorite shirts. I wear that all the time. So, yeah. Shouts out to uh, supporting your artists, uh, friends that are artists. All right. Later, Arkwright. Thank you so much. Peace out. Arkwright's the number one bit donator yeah. on the world. He's donated 100 bits. Only 100 bits if you want to dethrone Arkwright while he's off playing Dungeons and Dragons. Yeah. You won't be able to bust. That's true. Birdknot, number two with 50 bits. Dildo anus for five bits. Thank Dildo you so much. Anus. Dildo anus for five bits. Thank you so much for the five bits earlier. Oh shit! What are bits? They are like Twitch's equivalent of like tip things. Like, yeah, the, it's their internal tip currency. Yeah, and so you can do donate to the stream. It helps Mega sixty four out. Uh, Penny, thank yeah. you for donating. Oh, Penny bits. owned destroyed Arkwright. Penny is now number one with two hundred bits. Thank you so much, Penny. Dangerous Perp says, Brian, the video where you make your friend shoot you to prove he loves you is one of my all-time favorite videos. Oh, um, that's a video I think I put on Eric's channel. Uh, and I can't remember how we came up with that idea, but I fucking love that concept. The idea was that to, to I believe that I was unbreakable and I wanted my lover, who was Eric's younger brother, to, uh, to prove that they love me by shooting me I would not. Great video, great concept. We only cast Kyle because we couldn't find a woman because uh, we didn't know any girls who were available to act. So we uh, we didn't we didn't let that stop us and we cast Kyle. Shouts out to Kyle. Oh, also real fast, what we're talking about uh, bits and donating and all that. Uh, check out Shop Makes Four. I think we have three new products available on our store. I got the link right here. You can check out, we have the Megasaur Skate Deck for pre-order, $45. We got the, what else did we put up? Oh my god, the Elite Sweatshirt's already sold out. But we have the Charm Shirt you can pre-order. We also have the Mind Control Hoodie back. You can pre-order that. We got some shirts, some blushes, the hats. Anything you buy, also check out Mega64 on Patreon. Uh, we just put up behind the scenes, well, yeah, or extended outtakes of uh, Todd and Aaron. 
Uh, so check it out. Uh, you get a dollar and it gives you access to a bunch of outtakes, uh, friend dimension stuff. Uh, and we'll be putting a lot more stuff on Patreon this year. And then you can also subscribe. And if you have Twitch, Amazon, if you have Amazon Prime, you get a free Twitch sub. So you can throw it to Mega 64, which helps us out, which helps fund, you know, everything we do here. PPS, Last Game Standing, Rocco's Future Probe on Twitch, the Mega 64 videos on YouTube, the podcast, everything. Any way you can to help Mega 64 out. And also, even if you don't have any money, just you watching helps us out. You leaving comments on YouTube, you thumbing up our videos, all our videos, podcasts, everything we do. You liking our tweets, you following us. When we post on Twitter, hey, we're going live, click like, retweet if you want. That all helps us out uh, in a huge way. So there's a way to always support us without even you know doing it monetarily. Um, okay, so I got some free shit and I'm gonna go up in here. Yeah, yeah. He's like a single head crab falling. Alright. I can't believe we beat Lester on stream and you guys are all here for that. Yeah, that's that's incredible. We beat Lester. How, I, I'm, what I know, I'm probably proud. Bizarre game. Yeah, holy shit. Whoa! Alex sniped him, that's cool. 82 viewers. Thanks everyone for watching. Someone said Lester aside. It's not lucky. Dude, Mark the Champ donated 500 bits. Thank you so much, Mark the Champ, for donating. That's greatly appreciated. And then I don't know exactly what the Twitch setting is here, but I know like the leaderboard stuff. I think it's typically rotate every seven days. So Mark the Champ, you'll be number one for a whole week. Thank you so much. Oh, and then uh, I think we're doing a podcast this Sunday. Yes. So tune in Sunday at... Do we do 6 p.m., right? 6 p.m. PST? Yeah. 6 p.m. PST, we'll be back with the Megas 4 podcast. So check that out. And again, if you miss anything, it's all on the YouTube slash Megas 4 archives. Uh, oh, fucking... Dude, Garrett, uh, you guys did so many bonus PBSs because you guys beat Resident Evil before the new yeah, year. Yeah, those are all up right now on the uh, Megas 4 archives. And you guys just did Tetris Effect also. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Guys. So that should be coming up soon. Just out the, uh... who, who needs G4 when you got Mega 64 TV? Yeah, right? So much. So much shit. Let's see. Oh, fuck. He's shooting me. Too many people. I don't know what the... Oh, I'm going on the wrong way. I am. Okay, that's fine. I'll re-die. Re-die, respawn. I don't even know where the fuck I came out from. Version 4 when? I don't know. Ideally, 2019. I, I believe so. Talking uh, to the wrong people. Yeah, I'm not in charge of that, but I do know stuff is being worked on for that. So, yeah. I'm just, like, the goal was always to get it out in the current year. Oh. But uh, I should be... Holy shit, Thorax, 1,000 bits. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank kind. you so much, Thorax. Appreciate it. Tetris Effect got Giant Bomb's Game of the Year. Wow. Yeah, it did, yep. Really? Yeah. I, okay, now, now I want to see what their review of it is. Yeah. Because that that is my game of the year. It'll yeah. probably be my end up being my game of the decade. Wow. Yeah. Uh, nah, not really. My game of the decade was probably Breath of the Wild. Wow. So uh, far. Yeah, I got, as I said, like because of my my backlog, Persona 5 was my game of last year, or 2018. Yeah. Uh, what else did I love as much? Man, what was... What did I, I'd have to look at what I really enjoyed the previous year. In 20, what did I play in 2017? I 2017. Loved all. I like have it. Honestly, I'm gonna check I real fast. I, I'm gonna check because I posted this on Facebook and it's like one of the last things I put, actively posted on Facebook before like abandoning the platform. So give me one minute. I'll tell you what my favorite game of 2017. Okay. Well, you look that up. I'll answer a couple questions. Pillow cloner Brian, what's your number one Tetris tip? Number one Tetris tip is uh, stack them in a block and don't make jagged edges because you can't fit pieces in jagged edges. So what I mean is, as they're coming down, try to build up a stack and never give yourself too many places where they can't fit evenly. You're always trying to create a level and then slide one eyepiece down the side. Next question I got. Oh, okay, my favorite game, wow, holy shit. Yeah, it's true. My favorite game of 2017 was Neo. I fucking oh, yeah. loved Neo. You talk the shit out I of that I love Neo. Uh, and then after that was Nier Automata, and then Resident Evil 7, and then Prey, and then Everybody's Golf. Narc? Narc? Okay, that was the first time I played Narc. Here's my 2017 game of the year. Games of the year. You I even, hadn't played Narc before that? Uh, not start to finish. Wow. I don't even know if that link will work. Facebook sucks. But, uh, yeah. yeah. Um, 
I also played Alan Wake for the first time. 2017 was a lot of good games. So. Neo, yeah. Nier, and Resident Evil 7. And then, yeah, Persona came out there, but I didn't play it. But, yeah, Neo, fucking, I love Neo. That scratch, that scratched it well. Yeah, it does. All right. Um, let's see. Uh, let's see. Hero Pat asked if I saw the video where the pro Tetris player played Tetris Effect for the first time. Yes, I did. Wasn't surprised that he could do very well. Uh, the, the basic principles are the same. The reason why this Tetris is Whoa! so good is that they added the experience around it. That's really, really fucking yeah, and Even the sound design. Yeah, that's what I mean. Like, the experience yeah. around it. The game itself Kevin Mulbach, 200 flawless. bits. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Um, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. G Manners, thanks for joining us. He's out. He's gonna get some dinner. Uh, better vote for Half Life for next week is what he. Yeah, says. if we don't beat Half Life episode one on stream, then it'll, it'll definitely be back for next week. Uh, this has been luckily. I don't think you, I tried to do infinite spins last night. Okay, I don't I think you can do infinite time. spins in Tetris. Or not last night, but on the PPS we played it. Um, will we be able to vote for Lester? Well, I guess they. You have to play this next week. No, yeah. Uh, again, if you ever seen Last Game Sand before, if we beat a game on stream, then it's done. Yeah. So we beat Lester. So uh, looks like the only, uh, you know, Half Life Two does take place in the future in authoritative government. There's only going to be one person up for this election. That's be Half Life Two Episode One. So you can vote. Or you can choose not to vote. But you know, that, yeah. that's what that's what it's looking like. We'll see. You know, we'll see. We'll, we'll let you know later on in the yeah. show. Yeah. Hero Pat uh, brings back up the guy playing Tetris. Uh, he played it in VR and he was able to get faster. Now one of the main reasons this is I so got fucking annoying. Back, really but one of the main reasons I got a PS4 Pro was because it makes the game run faster on the VR headset. So you can actually play it faster because your response time is quicker, like it said in the video. So I'm really excited to hook the, uh, the VR up when I get home tonight. Did he just not dot? Yeah, he had to like dump a whole clip into the motherfucker. But uh, yeah, really excited to do that. So. Uh, oh, uh, okay. That's why. Sniper? No, I, I can take off. See, I wasn't doing that before. Oh, oh, and then Alex can snipe him. Oh. I just wasn't. I just wasn't paying attention. There you go. So yeah, this is a sniping set. Oh. Shit. Okay. Chill out, bro. Uh, Rum Skull says there's absolutely zero backwards compatibility. Correct, but they have released several games as well. PS Now is something that looks really, really, really interesting. I think if you stick with it and get it, um, you're going to be pleasantly surprised. I, I think that's where the future of gaming is going, in all honesty. Yeah, I mean, that's what Steam's been doing, like, pretty much, like, you know, yep. all digital licenses. Yep. I think uh, Xbox just did it with their uh, Game Pass. Game yeah. Pass. Yeah. I Nintendo's think... even pushing it with their Nintendo classics. Yep. Uh, I think things are going away from having a, a machine that ha that has the highest ability to push out you know great graphics. That's why PS5. I think it'll come out and it won't be that big of a thing. It'll just be like, hey, if you don't have a PS4 Pro, you can't run this online server for PS Now. I really think that's the infrastructure they're building because isn't that what we're all already fucking doing with, with media, with film, with music, we have Spotify, we have iTunes, we have Hulu, we have Amazon Prime. I would absolutely buy into a Game Pass. I did it with Gamefly, I would do it with digital if it was way easier. Someone asked about Destroy All Humans. Yeah, I want to stream that, uh, whether it's on this stream or my personal stream at home. I, I did buy that game, I do want to stream it. So I'll definitely, and again, the best way, just follow me on Twitter when I go live, whether it's my personal, can you also like my personal Twitch on, in the yeah. chat too? But yeah, follow, follow me, I'll stream that in the future at some point. Again, I'm never gonna stop streaming, I love it. Uh, yeah, we'll be, so we'll I'll, I have just a massive stream. list of games to be playing. But yeah, Destroy All Humans would be fun. Uh, next week, my girlfriend Audrey will be in town, and uh, so we might stream, I don't know exactly what we'll stream next week. Probably some N64 game. Uh, more episode one if we don't beat it. So yeah, I'm looking forward to it. Mark the Champ wants to know how we vote. At the end of the show, we will put in a poll and show you how to vote. Otherwise, yep. it's yeah. hangout, chill, and chat. Yeah. Yeah. Fuck yeah, pop them. Did you ever play combat games like Combat Desert Storm, Desert Storm 2? No, I played the Ghost Recons. Oh I, yeah. I never played, yeah. I never played any of those what at all, but I heard Ghost Recon was actually pretty dope. You know, dope spelled backwards. Can I get in here? Oh, like, it's just like an infinite people coming out. I'm just gonna go for it. Okay, I can. Oh, and that was the last. Okay, I was like so confused by that encounter. Like, it just seemed like there was infinite pouring out. Alright. 
Sup, dude, I'll see if I have an agreement with Garrett to hands off Resident Evil and Metal Gear. I don't know what you mean by that. I, I don't know if you mean like to hand it off or if you mean for me to not play at all. Um, Re-ask your question. I want to answer it because that seems like an interesting question. Um, what was like the Roma pretentious thing? It's like, what, what, what do you exactly yeah. like? What do you mean by it? Uh, when Chino says, I feel like consoles are going to go the way of iPhones as in quicker iterations with smaller steps and hardware power. Yeah, I mean, there's already lot. there's already rumors that Nintendo's are going to push out a new Switch model. Yeah. And it's like, again, and that's fine. It's just like, yeah, okay. Again, everything's going online. Online is going to be everywhere. And oh, man. with that, we're going to be able to, to patch into any server or download games and whatever we need to do. The accessibility will be there. Collectors will still want to collect and they'll want their physical copies and that will never go away and you can buy a console for that until it does go away. But like, there will always be people who want it. Don't look at the video game industry as any different than fucking music. Records came back, right? Retro gaming has come back. 8-bit gaming is now in mode, like, or in, like, fashion. So. It's all cyclical. It's just a matter of what we have and don't have. Uh, Subdate was saying, he's asking, uh, in terms of games I can play on Last Game Standing. I can play whatever I want. So I can do Metal Gear Resident Evil. Like, it's my show. I can play whatever I want. So mm -hmm. uh, Garrett's stream is his own thing. Uh, but we're always communicating, like, hey, I'm going to be playing the game this week. But no, we both love Metal Gear Resident Evil. So it's like, yeah, the more the merrier. Yeah. I really, I really want to stream Dino Crisis. Uh, yes. I'm dying to play Dino Crisis. I think that's the other thing, too. I've played the, I've played the Resident Evil game so much. And, like, I can't, I just, like, don't, to the point where I don't even want to touch them anymore. Like, I, I played them so much. Exactly. Again, I'm always, I want to have new experiences. So, I've never beaten Down of Crisis, so that's why I'd rather play exactly. Down Crisis. Exactly. I also want to, Down of Crisis 2 made me cry as a kid. Really? Uh, the ending I thought was, like, so, like, like, it's, it's like cheesy time travel shit, but I loved it. And as a kid, it blew my mind. I cried. That's so cool. Uh, and so I wanted to play those and then play Down of Crisis 3, which I've, I I've never I cried at the played. end of Spider-Man. Hell yeah. The, the, this Spider-Man that came out, like... Just with the decision making at the end and all of that, like not to give anything away for those who haven't played it, but I know you just beat it and like, yeah, I, I remember like the end of that game. I, I felt like it really. Dude, but, I I didn't know that what was what happens at the end of Spider Man. I didn't know that was gonna happen. The oh. whole time playing it, I was joking with Audrey like, oh, bet I bet this is gonna happen, and then it happened. I'm like, oh, oh. And yeah, I was like, oh, this is actually great. Like, it's such a good... And then the post-game, like, the post-game teaser in the yeah. credits, it's like, oh my god, I can't wait for the sequel. I can't fucking wait but for the I sequel. But I think that was teasing, actually, the uh, the DLC. Oh, really? Does Yeah, the DLC... It... Have you played the DLC yet? No. Oh, okay, I want to know, like... I'm, I mean, yes, but yeah, is Miles Morales, like, in the DLC more? I, I would assume. That'd I don't be awesome. Know, That'd be but, awesome. like, that, that's the thing. Uh, the Aquabats uh, just released or will be releasing yeah. a few of their albums on vinyl. Don't quote me on which ones. I have no idea. They've confirmed their. Well, they just released the Fury. They're putting out like another soundtrack of their the music from the show, and then they just recorded their live uh, Fury of the Aquabats. So those are the two they're putting, and then they're also working on a new album itself. Yeah. Hell yeah. Brothers in Arms, uh, I've heard Hell's Highways is good, and that's also on Steam. That's super low priority, but Dude, I, I, have a, I have a friend who loves those games that I'd like to play. Tahitian mentioned Tenshu on the PS1. Yeah, I love it. I love, Dude, I love those Tenchu. games I were love so them. much fun, creating levels for your friends to run through. Oh, I love, I've always loved this game, uh, this gun. Yeah, that gun was always my favorite. It's so fun. It's like the bullpup in Counter-Strike. I love it. Yeah. Is this the one where they disintegrate too? Yeah, the the, yeah. the alt fire. You shoot that ball, and it, it's like the I, it's such a cool gun. I love any kind of like pulse rifle, yeah. rifle like this. Yeah, I thought oh, there's. Oh, it took so long, but you finally have all your guns. Yeah. Yeah. Again, like we've been playing this for a while, but it's like I I love Half Life. The way it feels, the way it plays, like it's so. Uh, again, as a kid, it blew my mind. Like it's. It, I, again, it's 2006, but this game is excellent. Like, I, like, I like this more than Modern Warfare 2 or, anything, or you know, way more. Like, it's so It's so fucking, like, Victim. the sound design, everything, the graphics, the physics, the monsters, the sci-fi, the world, I just, it's like, I love it. I fucking Hello, love Hello it. Hello Cloner brings up another um, perennial FPS at that time, Black. Yeah. Uh, he oh, said, yeah, I've never played it that. a big game. Uh, I think it was controversial or something. I think it was the first game where they gave physics to most objects. So you could destroy everything in the stage. And that was like, whoa. 
That's cool. The one thing, the only thing I heard of Black is I, I think it was like one of the first games that had like surrounds. Or, 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 there's something with the sound design where it's like yeah. we shot real guns and recorded it. Yeah. Uh, but I never, I never played. It, it. it was something on the technical side and less on the like achievement in like gameplay. Yeah. But that's not to be diminished. Like I feel like, hey, LA Noir, love it or hate it, it. it the forged, facial animation. Forged to have yeah. the better facial animation in video games. Okay, the guns sound great. That's what the thing with Black is. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Now, you, t you talk about the physics stuff. That, that's specifically, I think, with the Red Faction. That's yes. where you can blow everything up, yeah. Oh, yeah, these big dudes. Okay, I don't want to deal with the kind of fuck. Yeah, it's just fuck. like... Fuck! It, it's so crazy because now we take all of this... All of the physics in the whole game for granted. Or, in my case, you're fucking used to old video games like this, and you play Red Dead, and it has too much fucking realism, and I'm like, please, please don't make me trip over a rock. I don't wanna, I trip over shit in real life, please don't make me do that in a video game. Or like, slip off my horse, or some, some weird shit where I like, fall off because I clicked something, or whatever. Um... I hate Holy stamina shit, the fuck video games. Yeah, well, like, yeah, because right now I'm running on sprint stamina. And it's just like... Dead, finally it's dead. It's just like, why? Just make it finally. a game mode. Holy shit. Either I'm fast oh, or Oh, there I'm was not. fucking ammo. There's an ammo box. All right, cool. Uh, I think I think one thing that, that game designers need to remember is while simulation and realism is cool, we play video games because we want... We want to be in the Matrix. We want to bend the rules of what's real. And so, like, I want to be able to sprint forever. I don't ever want to not be able to sprint forever. I know, like I said earlier, it's intended you're supposed to not do that. It's, it's gameplay limitations. You know, maybe that makes it so that you, you know, they can load games better. Because maybe that's why you can't run infinitely in games. If you are able to run too, fa too fast, the textures can't load uh, up later yeah, on, yeah. and then there's issues in tearing. I don't know. Because there are times in Red Dead when it's like, hey, there's a fog here that is basically making the game unseeable. And I know that that fog is a gameplay mechanic to hide that they haven't loaded the textures or rendered the game in that part yet. Because in that, in the world, and all the AI is so big. Yeah, Louis M says, I felt like GTA 5 was a good step back from the overly physics space of 4. I agree, and I feel like RDR 2 pushed it back to too much physics. And I'm and I've kind of been having an issue with that personally. Um, I'm really enjoying it, but I just feel like why are you making it this difficult if we don't have to have it be this difficult? Oh my god, there's so many this fucking they really like this car gimmick back then. Oh I did get an achievement for killing him. Oh you do it. You get an achievement for killing a certain number of cars. Oh, I see. But there's another car. I say it says a lot of people enjoy simulation in games, though, even if they are inconvenient and annoying. And I don't disagree with you. I think it's really cool to have simulation games, like WWE 2K, whatever it's on now, is a simulation wrestling game, and it's perfect. But I also want my arcade experience. And if the game is so rooted in that, which all of those games were, Eric told me he went in and booted Red Dead on PlayStation 3 and said, this game is faster, man. Like, they slowed everything down for Red Dead 2. That's what I'm talking about. Um, but I get it, because George Jones brings up that very important point. Red Dead 2 has a lot more, a lot more for you to look at. They slow stuff down to make you look and feel like you're part of the world more. It's more cinematic. So they want fun, you to fun. take it slow, and, and I get that. Ultimately, though, it is a game, and it's about the game's experience, about it being fun for me. And that's where I feel like they might miss a step if they keep going too, too real. But the main narrative in the story is great, so...
But yeah, there are things like holds X to open drawers literally takes two seconds to open a drawer. Like that is annoying when I'm playing Red Dead and I'm trying to do something and it's like, there are six things around me and now I hold the square and nope, I picked up the wrong person. Oh, I should press R1 uh, to toggle through. I, 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 I've been on like media blackout with Red Dead because like that's a game like I want to make my own opinions on whenever I play it. So yeah. I'm not like, I'm not fever secure to anything about it. Um, but I know with Giant Bomb, that was really split. Some people loved it, like Jeff Gersman, other people hated it because of that. Yeah. Uh, but again, it's like what we talked about with Roma. Some people love that, some people, some people love that kind of immersive shit. Yeah. Um, but I know what you mean, like when I played GTA 4, it was like, oh, this, why is it, like, turning, like, that's why yeah. I love Saints Row, because it was so arcadey. Uh, again, like, I don't care either way. Whenever I play Red Dead, I'll play it. But exactly. it's just like, I, it's the kind of thing where it's like, what am I playing now? God of War. I'm son that game came out in April. I was on a complete media blackout. Now I'm playing God of War. I love it because it's all a surprise. Yeah. So even like with Red Dead, I'm just like mentally tuning out because it's like I don't want to hear about it. Yeah, exactly. And 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 I think that that's a great way to do it. Like that's how I typically. You blow the glass. Up? No, I think I have to use it somewhere else. Uh oh. I'm curious if I'm supposed to like take this because I want to explore this whole vent. Oh wow, well, I'm, I'll go up here first. And then Saints Row 1 is another game I'd love to stream. Yeah. Like that. Saints Row is a series I was immediately like into. I, I yeah, love, I, I, I only Saints played Row. the third. You and Eric oh, played fuck. one and two. I loved, yeah. But I, 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 I never got into those games because there were just other games that I was God. playing. Yeah, I love them. Saints Row the Third was the best. It was the perfect. Somebody in the chat said it earlier. Yeah, they they hit it their was peak GTA with it. GTA Four. It was the perfect like. Well, yeah, I I even felt like with Saints Row One, it was like, oh, this is better. I like Saints Row One better than San Andreas. Like that's yeah. how much thing. And then Saints Row Two was even better. Yeah. And then yeah, Saints Row GTA Four came out like this is good. But then yeah, Saints Row, G, uh, Saints Row Three was even better than GTA Four. Yeah. Um, ah! Dead. Oh, that's fine. Okay, it's not that typical back. The character customization was really cool, Mark mm -hmm. Champ. Mm -hmm. That yeah, was I one made of my I made things. Alien for Spring Breakers in my oh, oh that's cool. Oh, this is awesome. It's like in Jane's Hunt Bob Strike Back when they have to go. It's like in the Dark Knight. Harvey, everything's gonna be over. That's fine. Isn't that Maggie Jones on that? Yeah. They replaced. Oh my. They replaced uh, Katie Holmes because. Someone says I, I like Saints Row, but one was not great. You're showing me one and not two. No, I love Saints Row one. As cheesy as it was, I love Saint. Like it was, I lot. I thought it was funny because yeah, it was such a blatant San Andreas ripoff, but I didn't care because it was fun. Yeah. The, the third person gunplay action was so much better than GTA four. Uh, like you know, I I again, that's why I want to stream GTA one, or sorry, uh, San Andreas. Fuck, it's all the same to me. That's why I want to stream. Uh, Saints Row 1, because I, I think I'm going to drown and die. Uh, I love Saints Row 1. Uh, but yeah, 2 was better, and 3 was even better. But no, I I, I unabashedly love that. Yeah, I'm going to drown. Okay, that's fine. Oh, no, no, I can just go up here. Oh. I think you're good. Ooh, yeah, yeah made it. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's one of them blokes. I thought the humor in three was fine, but yeah, there was definitely a, a line. And then with four, they crossed. It was like, all right, I'm over it. But uh, no, I, yeah, I, I liked it. Uh, yeah, I liked, I liked it too. I, I felt like it was that perfect, like, 
comic book. Yeah, the comic, exactly. They made a video game-ass video. Like, it was so... Yeah. yeah that's really perfect. It was video game. But then, uh, oh, somebody else just fuck. brought it up. This has been lucky. Thank you for bringing up another open-world game that did it pretty well. The True Crime series. Oh, my God. And then, uh, how that evolved into, um... Sleepy Dogs. Yeah, Sleeping Dogs is I, that game's great. That game was great. I flattened the trip that. The yeah. only issue I had is once you got guns, all of that fun combat that you had spent so much time developing was so much less utilized. And it was all about gunplay. That's my only complaint. Also the game was maybe five hours, ten hours too long. Oh man. Well I couldn't get enough. But when I was younger, I was impatient, and I just wanted to finish shit. Oh, yeah. So I'm, I might have enjoyed it. I'm probably also, that was one of the beginnings of having open-world open, open world fatigue yeah. in games. So I probably did too much instead of just, like, playing yeah. through the action. Uh, Rumskull asked, the, the game, the John Woo game is Stranglehold. That's another game I, I will stream. I want to go through John Woo's filmography. I have a book, uh, John Woo Interviews. So my plan is I want to... Fill the gaps in John Woo's filmography, read the interviews, and then stream Stranglehold, and then discuss Hong Kong cinema. Uh, and then I want to do the same thing with Jackie Chan. I have jo Jackie Chan's autobiography. I want to read that, fill the gap uh, in his filmography, and then stream the Jackie Chan PS1 Hell game. Yeah. There's also a Jet Li game. There's, Dude, there's a, yeah. Oh, know, motherfucker. Let me know when you get to the point in the Jackie Chan book where he talks about being addicted to Tetris. Oh, is that? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. At the end of Jackie Chan Adventures, he talked about how he had to like get rid of his computer. Mm -hmm. He had like gotten wow. like the full setup so that he could play Tetris on his computer, and he would just play, 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 play. He had the Tetris effect, where when he would close his eyes, yep. he would see yep. the Tetraminos falling down, yep. and it was like he said it got to the point where he wasn't getting any work done. That's awesome. Which makes sense, like a, a guy who's so like. Yep mastered in his, yep. in his art. And like, precision. He, yeah. like, that's all martial arts is. Yeah. I, I, I think, like, I always tell people, I, I think it's um, it's managing inputs that makes it so much fun. Mm -hmm. It's, like, so nice to see them fall into their little square. Yeah, it's, sad. it's crunchy. It's satisfying. Yeah, uh, some dude asked Jackie Chan how to game. Yeah, it was uh, Jackie Chan's Stunt Master, the PS1. It, it's kind of a shitty, cartoony brawler. Beat him up for PS1. But that's why I want to play it. It's funny. We should play the Jackie Chan Adventures game on the oh, Game Boy. I lo I, I, Kevin and I loaded that once. It looks. It's... No, it's actually a really good game. Oh, uh, is it? Fuck. Yeah, the Game Boy, the Game Boy Advance Jackie Chan Adventures game was a fun. That was the uh, beat. Is that the beat em up? Yeah, it was a fun side scrolling beat em up. I I had it. I played I played through the whole thing. Jesus. I beat it. Yeah, Hill wow. Cloner it, it, saying it was pretty good. He played it. Another really good, surprisingly uh, good game was the 3DS Fuck. Jesus Christ. I know there's so much explosive shit so the 3DS uh, uh, Attack of the Clones or whatever it was called. Uh, Fuck I hate the mom <laughs> so this sucks. What was the last episode? Return three? of the Synth or uh, yeah, Return Revenge of the, the Synth. synth. Oh, fuck. Oh my god, I'm so tired of all this shit exploding. It's so, being Gordon Freeman makes me so fucking exhausted. Rogue Squall wants to know what you think is so great about the new God of War. Uh, it's, I love the God of War games, and this is like God of War meets Resident Evil 4. Like, that's great. Yep. I mean, everybody yeah. everybody else said that. I'm sure you're yeah. reading as you're going yeah. along now. Yeah. I know, uh, yeah, like I said, I'm a, I've played all the God of War games. I love it. This is, they rebooted God of War, so it's it's more of the shit I loved with the old ones. Like, crazy, visceral, violent combat. Huge, over-the-top moments where he's fighting massive bosses, pushing boulders and shit. But then you have this Last of Us Naughty Dog thing with like a legitimately good story, this father-son dynamic. The whole game is one simulated sequence shot, which is unprecedented. Like that's fucking incredible. The world, like when I first started playing it, I thought it'd be a snowy mountain. Instead, you are transporting into different worlds. It's so it's gorgeous playing at 60 frames per second. You're constantly like getting XP, you're leveling up stuff, you're crafting stuff. All the little elements in games I like, there's even Dark Souls elements where you're you're finding bodies, picking up scrolls and treasures. Like they spent five years on the games and it's just like Every good game in one. I don't know. I really like it. They it's did really a good, good. job. Yeah. They ex they executed the game that yep. they that they wanted, and that's yeah. why you saw Corey Balrog crying when it was getting ten out of ten yeah. perfect scores. Ron Skull says, "Fuck the description's insanely good. Thank you. I mean, yeah, like I like talking about the things I like. Again, that's why I don't waste any time talking about shit I don't like. I will talk about stuff I enjoy." 
Um, yeah. The boss fights feel otherworldly, says uh, this yeah. has been and, like... and God of War's always done that. Like, all, all of God of War's boss fights are just, like, fucking so over the top. And, like, in a great way. Like, it's fun. And then Woke Up Dead, of course, the cultural aspect of it, they did yeah. make a meme from it. Yeah. Yeah. Boy. Yeah. Like, it's great. Like, now that I'm playing, it's like, oh, yeah, it, it's... It's Boy. good. It's good. And again, playing with it where it's like they will play up scenes for comedy. Like, like the kid is naive and the dad's so serious and the kid tries to, like, dad, come on, make it, you know, like. Yeah. He, and like, it's it's self-aware. It's it's awesome. It's awesome. Oh, thank you. Thank you. The whole show. Can you guys hear us better now? Oh, yeah, the whole. No, no, this is the. Oh, yeah, yeah, you're right. You're right. The whole time the mic was on backwards. Thank you so much. There you go. Uh, what was I reading off? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Why does a single take matter in a video game? The camera has no limitations. I don't think that's impressive in the slightest. I think it's impressive because you're telling one single story without cutting. Exactly. Like, that's it. Like, the idea. also, Half-Life does it, too. I think that's incredible. I, I, I will now challenge you guys to go look up, look up a one no-death playthrough of that game. And, and you'll see why it's so cool. Like, no, no cuts are cool yeah. or simulated no well, cuts because it makes it, like, you never have that break. That's what we're yeah. talking about in this. So uh, yeah, and even in God of War, when like you have to cut some, like there's just the way the camera will fall along action and just follow the character. It's just cinematic and cool. Yeah. Like again, not g games don't need to be designed that way, and it's fine if you don't like it. But again, as someone who's obsessed with film, as someone who loves long takes, I've done sketches with that are long shots. Like my friend Kelly Marie Tran and I did an anime sketch. It's a four minute one, four minute long cut. It's fun. It's exciting. Like I, I, I think it's so cool when you start blending like video games give it cinematic. That's why I love Naughty Dog games. That's why I like Half-Life. I think when games step up and try to really like achieve this higher level art, I think it's really cool. And again, it's yeah, it's unprecedented. Like it's it's a really cool achievement and I love seeing it. It's just natural. It's not like yeah. showy either. It's just you don't think about it. Plus know? in a video game, typically we yeah. have cuts so that they can put in a full motion video that looks yeah. better than the Or cut to a game, different but... character's perspective or anything like that. Right, yeah. right. Yeah. So like now we have a continuous cut, so you can't tell the difference between the real game and the cinematic. Yeah, and, and like Red Red Dead GTA, they do such a cool job. Like you have a cutscene and then the camera will pan and then you're playing. And then, like, Last yeah. of Us, like, a oh, lot of games do that. But yeah, when, Last of Us when, and Uncharted When, really when that's it. handled well, again, like, yeah, back then there was a hard cut difference between cinematic and then the thing. And again, like, with Half-Life being immersive, Titanfall does it too. It's like, oh. But yeah, I don't know, it's just, it's fucking cool. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, and Dante's Inferno is another game I play on streaming. Uh, I'm very excited That's a game it. that, uh, again, at that time, I just couldn't get around to playing it. Yeah. Oh, MGS5, yeah. All of Ground Zeroes is a tracking shot. Oh, that's true. Ground Zeroes opens, like, panning in, and the whole, yeah, Ground Zeroes is like that, too. And again, Hideo Kojima, someone who's obsessed with movies. Yeah, like, every, every everything is a tracking shot. Yep. It's always from... Yeah. Yep. Yeah. That's super cool. Oh, dude, I'm so excited now with my pro to go back and play Ground Zeroes. Yeah. Like, it's short, whatever, I'm, I'm ready to play it. I, I never really dove into any of the side missions mm -hmm. stuff. Like, I, I, I'm sure some of you guys out there have this, but, like... Especially when I was younger, when a new game what would come fuck? out. And it, How what? long have I had this? I probably had this in my inventory for so long. I never. I just realized it. Yeah, when a when a new game comes out from a series that I love, like, and it's kind of different um, than the previous games, I like I get intimidated or kind of scared to die. I think everyone in. gets scared. Right? Like, like yeah. it, it's. Where, where am I supposed to go here? Um, Jordan Jones, I would love to get a PC, I, but the upkeep on it is is insane, and I have no place to really set up a PC. Uh, um for that so yeah i would love to but it's just not accessible for me right now so i'm okay uh get that plug thank you do i need to unplug this thank you thank you sup dude too you're my favorite thank you in between jobs was right behind it i'll give you credit too thank yep. you did i finally unplug all the fucking mines this level sucks this level sucks oh, okay fuck that was pissing me off so much oh my god hell yeah that looks cool hold on Yeah, oh, I forgot how satisfying a crossbow is. No, there's another fucking mine. Fired up. Oh, stop shooting, dude. Don't throw a grenade. It's not allowed. You can. <laughs> Alex got hit with a grenade. Okay. When I last played Half-Life 2, I streamed it, or I recorded a Let's Play of it back in like 2016. Beyond that, 2007. Uh, so yeah. When, when, it, when this came out? It, yeah. So it's, yeah, it's been a while. 
But yeah, if you've never seen a stream before, I actually encourage, like, if I don't know what I'm doing, please just tell me. Like, we're all producing the show together. Like, I have no problem with it. Like I said, you guys, if you guys were in the room with me, you'd be like, Frank, pull the plug. Oh, okay. Like, yeah, I, I don't mind. So that's the other thing, too, with, like, and I don't know if everyone realizes this, but when you're streaming, I'm playing games differently than when I'm playing by myself. Like, it's so much harder to keep everything in my head. Because I'm talking, I'm constantly looking yeah. at the chat, too. So it's like, I'm not, yeah, like, I'm not playing. That's why I'm playing God of War. When I don't stream exactly. God of War because I want to appreciate every fucking detail and pre-process and think about it and like look at like the cinematography of it as it's being developed. Yeah. Hell yeah, uh, Tahiti and man goes Arthur has the Xbox port of Half Life, which I never oh, wow. played because I, or you know, it's a it was a console port of a 2004 PC game. Yeah, like, but hey, if you played it that way and enjoy, enjoyed it, then that's cool. Oh God, the cross was so cool. Oh, someone else shot a rocket. Okay. Oh, nice. I don't know if Half-Life Half 2 was on PS2. I know it was on Xbox, and I'm sure... I don't know if... but Half-Life 1 was on PS2, yeah. I don't know if 2 was on PS2. I don't I don't know. I don't think PS2 was strong enough to, to uh, handle it. But I know they made it on Xbox. Well, it looks like... They did. No, because the video is what if. Oh, uh, okay. Let me see, wait. Yeah, no, it wasn't, yeah. Okay. But, th but that's how I played Half-Life 1, it was on it was on PS2. Yeah, Half-Life 1 on PS2. And, and that's why it was a big deal, because yeah, it came to Xbox, because Xbox was the only game powerful, was, was powerful enough to run it, but it, it couldn't run on a PS2. Wow. Always get it on Xbox 360 or PS3. And I don't know if the servers are still up, but the crazy thing about Orange Box is the Team Fortress copy on there uh, is like the original because they 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 changed Team Fortress 2 oh, like years yeah. ago and add all the fucking hat. Oh, sorry, bro, and add all the hats and stupid shit on it. But the, the original like Team Fortress as is exists on the 360. Yeah, and that was the first time you could play Team Fortress on like any of these games on a fucking yeah console. So this was like so big. Wow, yeah, I forgot about that. Mm -hmm. And then, yeah, In Between Jobs is right, is they stopped updating it because uh, after a certain number of updates, Microsoft charged developers to patch their games. Really? Yeah. That's so they so, so they were stupid. like, oh, we're not doing this anymore. Yeah, which was fucking so weird. But and also back then, when Xbox Live Arcade first started, games had to be limited to like 250 megabytes or something like that. I remember I think oh, even... Oh, yeah. I think I remember even Dan Paladin talking about like it, how impossible it was to like make games back then because it's like, how the fuck, you know... And since then, that was broken. But yeah, that was such a weird requirement. Uh, and wow. again, the marketplace is different now. We outgrew that, but yeah, it's so weird. It's so weird. Yeah. Why isn't this box breaking? It sucks not having a crowbar. Microsoft was weird back then. Hey, it's me. D-Man the goes Arthur. Halo. I'm not even gonna tell you to shut New up. England clam chowder. Red or the white? Scarface 13. Pen 15. Oh. Damn, dude. The password is password. Hell yeah. He's saying everyone should procreate because humanity is on the verge of extinction. Alright. I always love doing that. You can, like, disconnect the TVs. Yeah. Oh, this is, like... This is shit I would do as, like, a kid. Just break everything in the Yeah, room. and just throw it at the NPCs. Oh, yeah, Anamusha is coming out. Fuck, this, like, in a week. Uh, the remaster. Ivory State in the chat, I think, said a large part of the size for uh, for the like for the file size of Red Dead 2 was the audio. Wow. I wonder what that ratio is, just because I'm into that kind yeah. of shit. Oh my god, I'm stuck. <clears throat> oh, I'm stuck. 
Jacques Fay, thanks for joining us. That's a new Jacques name. Jacques Fay. Craig Ooh. the Pyro as well. Or Craig. Craig, Craig the Pyro. Craig. That's, I, I like all these new names. New names. Love to see new names. Freeman's mind was the shit. Yeah, Freeman's a genius. Yeah. Oh, Is she dead? Can she be dead? Oh, it's like oh. the very beginning of Half-Life 2 when you're going to the apartments. Except now you're fighting zombies. A half to... Wow, three quarters of all AAA games are audio. Wow. Oh, because it's lossless, yeah. 7.1, yeah. yeah. Oh my god. Oh, come on. F oh, shit. Freeman's mind. There's like Freeman's mind audio? Is that some mod that somebody made? I've never heard of that. Thank you, Tahiti, for enjoying our stream. No, yeah, these are the themes I talk about ever since I started making, like, video game content with Neighborhood Game Club. I, I, I care very much about people's context and how they play video games. Like, not mm -hmm. just so much the video game itself. Like, mm -hmm. con I love context. It's a part of our culture, so it's very, it's very important to know the context. Yeah. <laughs> RK Smith brings up a very good point. Orange Box was the first time I played an FPS aside from Doom and Quake. Whoa. Up to that point, I used to think all FPS games were just Call of Duty style yep. war stuff anymore and um, was blown away to see stories telling <clears throat> blown away by the storytelling mm -hmm. Valve pulled off. Yeah, For yeah, me it was Bioshock. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. When I played Bioshock after not playing anything since Doom I'm like, or Goldeneye, yeah. I'm like, whoa, this yep. narrative. Yep. Before that, I hated yeah. first person shooters. Dude! That was, that was some Van Damme shit. She yeah. kicked him in the head. Yeah, Orange Box was like a budget title on release, which is nuts. It was awesome. Would you play kind of play Bioshock on Last Game Standing? No, my kind of thing is like, unless it's like a, a, a small indie game, or like, if it's a game I've played recently, no, I, I feel like... If it's a game that's already been talked to death, I have no interest in playing it. Yeah. Bioshock, I have no, I have no unique perspective on Bioshock. Aside from like maybe where they drew from in film. No, or no like... but even yeah, even that, I feel like that stuff is so obvious. I, I, yeah. It's just like not a game like I'd rather play that. You know, like I feel like Bioshock is a game that's been talked to death. I also didn't play Bioshock at the time of its release. I played it way later. It's still pretty fresh in my mind. I just, it's a gorgeous game. It's a game everyone should play, but. I just have no incentive to go back and play it. Yeah. I think I went back and played it when it was remastered like two years ago, so I think I, I kind of freshly played that. It's a great game, but yeah, it's, it's just, I have nothing unique to say about it. Um, but it's great. Doesn't mean it's not good. It's an awesome game, but yeah. Barney's back. Barney. Mm -hmm. Oh, that thing's there. And then, yeah, with Fear, uh, I love Fear. I played it for the first time, like, two years ago, so it's still fresh. I don't want to play it, but I'll, I'll gladly play Fear 2, because uh, that'll be interesting to see. I did not play Pyre. Did you? No, a lot of people oh, missed sure. out. A lot of people missed out on that game. I loved uh, Transistor and uh, Bastion, but I didn't play Pyre. Um, but Daniel Dwyer is doing a documentary series on their new game as it's being developed, which is pretty cool. Mm -hmm. Uh, you streamed uh, Hotline Miami already, right? No. I thought I thought you had. Nope, never streamed it. Okay. Um, I played Hotline Miami one. I've never played Hotline Miami two, so I'd be happy to stream Hotline Miami two. That'd be fun. Yeah. No, because I feel like Hotline Miami two was a game that a lot of people were like didn't play. Like I didn't play because it it, yeah, it just came out and then like it was it was yeah. just kind of like swept under. Yeah, but I'd be happy to play that again. Mm-hmm. Oh! oh! About fucking time. Yeah, give it. Look how excited Gordon. Oh, fuck yeah. Oh, yeah, oh, take his dick off. Oh, oh, and I can break shit. Oh, you turned around fast. Yeah, dude. Fuck yeah. Oh, I'm so excited. See? Oh, fuck yeah. Oh my god, it feels so good. It feels so good. Get out of the way. <laughs> I like his face. Oh my god. Home improvement time. So excited. Uh, 
Uh, I don't think Half Life specifically inspired Children Men. I think just dystopian science fiction in yeah. general inspired like 1984. Like both both pull from 1984. Uh, like, but yeah, I mean you can definitely see the similarities, which is cool. Oh, oh, how am I gonna get past through this? Mm -hmm. Like I don't even care about any. Like God damn it. Fuck yeah. Oh, it's so exciting. See, I don't give a fuck about these headcrabs anymore. Let's go. Good shooting. Don't care. Good shooting. Do you have turbo Thank on? You. No. I'm just holding down mouse. Oh, this. This crowbar noise is peak ASMR. All right, I'll let Alex kill. Him. Iron from the hip. I love this sound effect. Yeah, dude, it's good. Oh, who's shooting me, dude? Oh, what? Oh, shoot, he threw a grenade! Alex, you're blocking the effing way! Any, any other jokers out here? No? Alright. Yeah, why is Alex with me the whole time? Oh, bro, who put a plank here? Actually, can I shoot the plank out? Yeah, that's cool. That's cool. The crowbar is actually a gun just shooting a bullet with small range. That's <laughs> true. That's why the holes look like bullets. Hell yeah. Oh, like wow. how it's programmed? I bet, yeah. That's fucking cool. I thought you were just joking. Oh, no, yeah, 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 yeah. How it's programmed. Dude, that's so cool to learn just like design scenes. Oh like, yeah. Like that's probably where it's cool to have like Javier here yep, to like yep. really elaborate yeah. on like, yeah, so we just piggyback this off of that or we structure this yeah. on this other thing. Yeah, Daniel Dwyer like retweets and shares that kind of shit all the time. So he's always like uncovering that. Yeah, what, what game were you telling me where basically like the way it's built is so intricate that they can't like rebuild it because they would have to like rewrite it. I think that's like most game. I, yeah, but they kind of talk about with Doom when they made the first demo demo of like Doom 2016. Is when they finished it, it was like, okay, let's not touch anything else because we don't want to fuck it up. Like that's how that happens a lot with QA stuff where it's like, okay, they fix more, you fix one bug and you add 20 other. Yeah. Like so, games are just like, yeah, it's a. Uh, oh shit! Don't forget you can alt fire your shotgun. That's a good recommendation, thank you. Thank you so much. Damn, this is a new environment. Oh, toilets. Can't flush it though. Ooh, that was a nice toilet. Ooh. Drink some water, do I? Oh, you know what? Thank you. Yeah, Firewatch is great. Someone was talking about locking simulators earlier. Well, uh, Firewatch is all. I love Firewatch. Oh, it's like the tyrant battle. Whoa! -ho -ho! He just got killed! That's awesome. Oh, this is actually really cool. Uh, Alan Wake, I think they restored. There was like something where I think they restored it, or they're restoring it. Uh, but you, if you if you don't have Alan Wake already, you can buy a 360 copy and play it on like a 360 or Xbox One X. Or honestly, you can track down a third party website selling Steam keys. Uh, Alan Wake runs incredible on PC, so I recommend playing it. It's a it's an awesome game. It was oh. only a Microsoft game, right? It was originally yeah, it was developed as like Remedy made it, but yeah, it was like an exclusive. Uh, and then they eventually put it on Steam. See, this is like, I'm scared to shoot this, because, like, 
You gotta wait for him to blow up more shit. Is there a way to get back up? Okay, yeah, there is. Jordan Jones clarifies they removed the game to sell because they lost the rights to the music. The music was never removed from the game. Yeah. So you can buy it again. They sell it too. Thank you, Jordan Jones, for always having that in the yeah. Uh, There's DLC for the game, but I did not like the DLC. Like, it's... Uh, the DLC is like... It's called American Nightmare, and it is like a dream, but you, you repeat the same sequence four times, and it's like... Don't it, need that. It, it was so frustrating. Uh, like, I couldn't believe that... that yeah, I was really annoyed. I was really like annoyed with it. I, I, yeah, I remember just beating it and feeling like I wasted my time. But the game itself is good. But yeah, the DLC, like, uh, I don't know. Oh, fuck. I remember this fight. And again, yeah, like playing a first-person shooter on a PC, it makes aiming and everything so easy. So much easier. Is that it? Got it. Go see if you can grab him. Oh, oh, hello, friends. Hell yeah, it looks like a big-ass squid. Wow. I mean, oh, was... Ever played Diablo 2? I didn't. I only played one. No, I didn't play two. I played three. But no, I was too young for two. Like, I wasn't... I didn't have a gaming PC, a good gaming PC, until, like, way later. Yeah. So I, I missed the boat, too. Physics! Woo! That's, like... Stupid ass mines. Rum Squall, yeah, buy God of War on eBay for 28 bucks. Are you serious? That's a good price. Yeah. They might even have it for that much or less. On, no, yeah, uh, I feel like PS it. I feel like yeah, it goes on sale for 30 bucks. But yeah, if you have it, yeah, it's it's great. 28 bucks, yeah. If you it, yeah, check PlayStation the online store because I'm pretty sure they have it there. But yeah, it's a it's a good game. Get it. And also, like, if you've never played any of the God of Wars, it's fine. Like they made it as a standalone game. Yes. Uh, it's it's very good. All right, and then real fast, I'm just gonna check. Yeah, let me see. Let me see. Okay, cool. I just want to make sure we weren't literally at the very end. So there, there's still some more gameplay. So I'm gonna pause it here. Okay. Um. Oh, that was fun. Again, I was able to stream for long because I really like this game. That was awesome. I'm gonna. So every every time I do PC games, I always do like a quick save, but then I always just. Always. I always like making like a manual save. Dude, that is that that was the way. Remember, like. That's why you like to do that, because yeah. you always did a quick save and yeah. a manual save. And then video games started to do that, where you would have the auto save, Ooh. but then they would still make you do a regular save. I love that there's developer commentary. That's so cool. That is cool. Look at his old ass achievement. Yeah, that's, that's what Steam had. Like They actually had like developer commentary and shit mm -hmm. like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, fuck, I'll save. Oh my god, I gotta stretch after this, y'all. Oh, don't vote yet. All right. Camp? I know. All right. Guys, we went for three and a half hours. We beat Lester the Unlikely. Incredible. Incredible. Mm -hmm. Um, Hill Cloner, yeah, if you, uh, if you are on the pulse for Nintendo games, they do go down in price. Just, uh, just go. Their shop online is so much better than you remember. So All right, we're gonna. We, usually, we go. We have our polls be three minutes. I'm gonna make this one a little bit shorter. Uh, get ready and vote. Oh wait. Oh, I, you can't vote with one option. Shit. All right. Uh, option number two. Um, That's a good one. But shit. Well, actually, I need to add a second option. Let me let me find. Let me think of something. Hold on. Uh, half life episode one, and then let's see. Um, all right. People are suggesting Katamari. <laughs> all right. 
Oh, wait, actually, I, I put the title wrong. Oh, I should game like this. I'm fucking chilling back like this. Hold on, Half-Life 2. I'm gonna add a bunch of options, hold on. Alright, guys. We're going. Vote what you want. You can vote for Half Life 2, uh, Episode 1, Half Life 2, Episode 1, or Half Life 2, Episode 1. Uh, let me make the little voting guide. It's, it's live, so, you know, vote what you want. Let's see what's gonna win. Oh, I gotta, I gotta tweak this so the, the actual votes are in. Alright. Yeah, that's not rigged. Alright, ooh, a lot of people voting for Half Life 2, Episode 1. Interesting. Okay. Interesting, wow. Split. Oh, it's wow. Okay, let's see. Okay. Mm, interesting. Oh no, I don't know because oh. Half Life Two Episode One is pulling ahead. Damn. Now. All right, Half Life One Episode One. Let's see what's gonna win. You know what? I'm gonna vote for the underdog. I, I I'm gonna go. Yeah. Oh, Kevin, thank you for the, the A thousand bits. bits. Thank you so much. Wow. Good shit. Wow, Half-Life 2 Episode 1 might win. Oh, that was a short poll today. Half-Life 2 Episode 1 won. That's incredible. Very cool. Very cool. All right. Uh, all right, hold on. Uh, we're gonna do one more poll for everyone. Okay. Yeah. You're doing what I think you're doing. I'll Wait, leave. hold on. I will. I will leave. No, hold on. Okay, we're gonna have we're gonna have a surprise poll, everyone. I need everyone help. Let's see. All right, we're gonna have another quick poll. Everyone, get ready. We're gonna vote. Vote. Should Brian dab? I, I need people to vote. Uh, should Brian dab? Yes or no? Let's let's get the let's get the vote going. Should people? Let's see. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna throw in my vote also. Wow. A lot right. of people are voting yes. A lot, lot of people are voting yes, people. Jordan Jones, this has been Lucky Sir Kevin, M. Beesom. Uh, my favorite Street Fighter character is M. Beesom. M. Beesom. M. Beesom is here. Hero Pat, wow. A lot of people. United, unite, unfitted Dorka, Zetsu, he, oh, he's disagreeing. He's, he's, he's screaming anarchy. Wow. Woke up dead 400, says, oh, wow. A lot, lot, you know, your vote matters. Yeah, your vote matters. Your vote matters. To Frank. There you go. Wow, M. Beeson. Mark the champ. Boom. Dude, Ben Lucky threw some pancake stacks. It's awesome. Big dogs, some Jared Thorbond dogs. Hell yeah. All right, Brian. Go uh, for it. I have dyslexia, man. That so. Go, Brian. You gotta do it. So no. Brian, right? you have to do it. Brian, you have no. to do it. No, no, don't, no funny they tricks. They won 21. Brian, you gotta dab. Go for it. Okay. Well, how did it, what was it? I created this on the big dog? No, do the official dab. No, I want to do my do the official dab. dab. Do it. Do the, do a real dab. No half no okay. halfsies. Alright. Go for it. I go by the name of Dane Jones. Hold on. I'm with my crew. Do it for real. No, Brian, that's not no. That's not. Do it real. Do it for real. Okay. Do it for real. Okay. Do it for real. No, I'm also, you do, oh, don't, I want to see you on camera, almost, come on, Brian, do it for real. Brian, do it for real. Okay. Do it for real. Okay. Okay, Brian. Yeah, do it for real. Okay. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna move the chat. Alright, go for it. Dab. Oh, Just do it. No, Brian. Yeah, you saw it. Clip it. Brian dabbed. He did it. On them tackies like I just don't care. What going to your girl? And she asking me to share. Oh. Oh. I'm hungry, wait, them They say biting like wet mosquitoes. Oh, point like an elbow. Hands up on elbow. That's where I said, hell ma'am, I go ham at the grocery store. All right, I like this fucked up camera angle. Um, thanks again for watching. Uh, I'm gonna put some cute ass music at the end. 
you freeze this shit? No. Oh yeah, I need- oh wait, what is this one? Wait, oh, I thought I had the music. Let me see. Oh! No. So much music, guys, let me just- I just want- Yeah, okay, I'm, I'm okay with that. Alright, I'm good with that. Alright! <laughs> let me find- Oh! It's all high energy music. All right, that's a good song to close out the show with. All right, thank you so much. Thanks everyone for watching. I appreciate everyone tuning in. Every Friday, you can catch my stream. Wednesdays, you can catch Brian with PPS with Garrett. Um, yeah, you know what? I'm just gonna post all my social media shit, flooding the chat. Follow me oh. on Twitter, Instagram, Letterbox, etc. Follow me on Twitch. I do streamings on there. Also, uh, we're gonna finish up Modern Warfare 2 very soon. Uh, follow Brian. Let me f is it King O Lord Brian or just King Lord Brian? There. Oh, dude. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> all good, all good. There you oh, go. That one has it in. Oh, okay. Yeah. No. Follow Brian and everything. And then again, thanks so much for uh, bits, subs, YouTube subs, YouTube likes, whatever. Uh, you can buy merch on makesixpore.com, Patreon, makesixpore.com. Guys, Instagram is where it's at, Mega64 Official. Uh, Twitter slash Mega64.com. Podcast this Sunday, and then uh, it's back to work for year of 2019. Uh, this is fun. We'll beat Half Life to episode one. Uh, I really like streaming. Thank you so much for the support. It's really fun. We're gonna do more of it. I'm gonna be reading more Punisher. Uh, yeah, we'll do Half Life episode one, maybe episode two in the future. Thanks again. Uh, if you watched on YouTube, leave a comment. I like knowing. We'll see you guys around. Oh, and then lastly, uh, keep the conversation going. If you want, um, where the fuck, where's that Discord link at? Do we have uh, it in here? No, you didn't have it in here, so I just uh, grabbed it from Discord. Give me a second, give me a second, dog. Shout I'm out. gonna create an invite to, to the PPS Discord. The whole episode, I was wearing this shirt when people talked about Wrestle Kingdom. Is that Shout what that out is? to Shibata, yeah. one of my favorite wrestlers out there. Nah, I, he, he was wrestling. I don't know if he's cleared yet, but he's, uh... Boom. He was there's, the, there's the PPS Discord, so you can be alerted for our Twitch streams and everything. Uh, and then, yeah, that's it. Let me see also. Yeah, I'll do it another time. I was gonna see if any of my friends are on. I've never raided anybody before. One one of these days, I wanna raid somebody. Yeah, who we? None of my friends are on. Yeah, we'll, we'll do it another time. Oh. All right, thanks again. We'll see you guys later. Um, I'm gonna chill and read comic books tonight. Have a good time. Enjoy them video games, enjoy God of War. If you have ever any questions, mess you can message me. I check Twitter the most, I like Twitter. Again, thanks for your support. Uh, we'll see you guys later. We'll see you Sunday for the podcast. It'll be a good time. Mm. Kisses.